kicking like Dolomite. Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like Dolomite. Hey, one time, Last you ready? Copyright. Yeah. Last one got oh. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for When it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. It ain't no capping around here. Cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon wheel Look, look, look. King of the castle, like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead, talk to him real quick. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one lays. We hey, stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco yeah, Lost was cute. Hey, and yeah, it served its purpose, but I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these again before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jacking the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak diss and that's the stuff that get you banned. Last time we told your hair was squad up, you turned telling me. Go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30. The game turned me, the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Hey. 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 Developers, Dust developers, developers. Uh, 40 clips, kicking like Dolomite. Hey, hey. 40 clips. Aim at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip, any time you like it, wanna fight. Body guns and body counts, that's, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What huh. they say, huh? Hey, what, what I say? Hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss it, get hurt, no face, no case. Mess up like a Jiggy merch shirt. Hey. Sliding in that vent, I'm gonna get back. Time to pay that debt. Weapon Wonder what weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. What weapon well we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy your style. BG, Black Bond, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blandrew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watching, they copy our every move. And they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying, you hop off the roof. Long branch, no scope, yeah, I'ma shoot. Cause I can wanna play games, no David Blaine, but I'll make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black master gonna step out your lane. Every week it's us on your screen. Every week and we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Trace to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG my dog, he told me let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our move, they copy your style. We got the guns on deck, no fire car, but you know I came with a tech. Yeah. Since 2015, been stepping on the seat, putting foot on next. Yeah. Set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up. Shooting out the Yeah, we catching up. We got the game. Watch how we move, they copy and steal. We- weapon will hit the light, show us just how you feel.
What? Weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What? Weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. What? Weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What? Weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, weapon well, watch out and show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch out and show you my weapon well. What? Weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What? Weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. Yo, yo, Mike. Is, is it time? It's time, but it's not that time. Oh, well, yeah. let me know when it's that time. No, uh, no, that time. I, I will give you your cue, sir. I will, I will definitely let you know. Chat, what's up? Let me know if y'all can hear us good. Mic check, mic check. Man, I said five words. Man, talking about I sound depressed. Dog, I barely said a sentence yet. Barely. Would you, would you buy depressed? Would you buy an Xbox? Oh, you starting? You starting already? It's too early. It's too no, early. Man, I'm just sir. saying. All right, audio's good. Audio's good. Uh, where's um, where's Alex? Where's Smooth? Where's Uni? Him too. Um, he said he was coming on. I checked on checked on him earlier. Said uh, he said he was gonna definitely be on because uh, no. he got he got caught up watching Wardell uh, last time. That light skin nigga. Yep. They down two one in the series now, so he ain't too happy. But uh, at least. At least somebody on Smooth's camp's winning. Mm -hmm. uh, Smooth, um, his uh, what does he say? His 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 power supply in his PC, um, uh -huh. stop working or something like that. So he's gonna be joining. He's gonna be trying to join from uh, from his phone or or his um, or his or Trash. his Xbox. Trash box. I I've never seen. I'm gonna be real with you. Smooth should never. Smooth. Bro, he sh should never get on a PC. Never. Yeah, like never. Like I I know I know like you know PC gamers like you know have the bad reputation of when you tell them oh you run into a problem they try to blame you for it. All that shit is Smooth's fault. I don't know whatever S Smooth has going on as far as issue wise with the, with his PC is absolutely his fault. Like I've. The type of shit that Smooth is it has run into issue wise, I don't even know. Like a, a malfunctioning power supply, you know how like hard it is to like do that. Like how rare, like your RAM, your RAM just malfunctioning for whatever reason is is more common than that. Your your power supply just randomly failing, like that that shit doesn't happen. Huh. Never happened to me. Trash must be contagious. Like. Smooth literally just needs a. He needs to not game on a PC. He needs to like just play play games on a console and just use the basic functions of a PC. Bro, can we can we just call it for it is nigga get a PlayStation? Call it a day. Well, he's got that. Uh, let's let's not make this shit more complicated than it needs to be. Well, Jack, <sighs> how you doing, sir? Doing all right. How you doing? Okay, you got a little bit of a background Sad. noise when you speak. I don't know if that's your. Do I? What I don't the know fuck? if you're on. I don't know if you're on your wrong mic. Oh goddamn! I don't know what my mic on. Let me see. Yeah, it's like you, I can hear the fan in your room or the air in your room when you speak. But uh, oh, niggas is late. Oh, oh I'm on, I, I'm on time. Yeah. Shit. Appreciate that, good sir. Everybody had a good week? Oh, fucking mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. You know, I was just cruising around in my new Urban Twister XT $340 inline rollerblades. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a nice 70 degrees. Me and Lay went, went out, you know, yesterday around 2 o'clock. Hung out oh, in town, man. enjoying, like, you know, some Riverside dinners and brunch and drinks and shit. 
Sixers hoping to pull out that dub tonight. And you know, my man, the ever reliable, the new that man. Oh, we're going to have content for days. Oh, Bills. man. Who's Bills the new Spencer. one? Spencer. Oh, not, not not to mention I got like my physical, all my blood work done. Like I'm there's like average, good, great, and perfect. For anybody who hates me, health is in perfect condition. So you gonna be listening to me for a long ass time. So you're not dying? No, Damn. not even close. Damn it. They they don't even believe they they, they said I like, what are you like twenty two? I'm like, no, nah, I'm thirty seven. I said, What the fuck? <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, sorry Xbox guys. Like, I'm gonna outlast Phil. Hey man, it is, um, it is what it is. Uh, what's his? Uh, Uni said he'll 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 be here in ten minutes. Um, will it, will it, will he really? Yeah, he said he's he's on. Yeah, he's gonna come. He said he, he'll be here. Are you sure, 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 he's not lying. Uh no, I, I I believe him. He's a he's a he's a stand up guy, stand up Xbox guy. Yeah, my mic still fucked up. No, you're good now. Uh, All right, I mean, cool, cool, cool. You you might be right. You know, the Xbox dudes, they they can't sit down. Ass all hurting and shit. Wow. They got no they got no choice but to stay. <laughs> Jazz. Oh man, I got jokes today, people. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, Bon, is it possible you could be, you know, fair to Xbox? You know, it, it, it's been it's been rough. Be fair to Xbox fans. Let's let's be I, harsh but fair. Will, I will be as fair as Phil Spencer has been to them. Uh, I'm I not tried, fair man. at all. I mean, I mean, look, like, it, I can't treat you better than your daddy. Then that makes me that makes me your daddy. Nobody wants that. Um, so while uh, we wait for people to, um, you know, roll in, uh, Jack, where's your, where's your boyfriend Alex at? I don't I don't refer to him as that, and I don't know where he's at. Okay, sir. My bad. I, I thought you you know had tabs on him. No, I, I don't actually. But uh, thanks for asking. Okay. Appreciate that. My bad. I just heard uh, he was talking about you know stealing nintendo games and shit you know if 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 you notice uh-huh. any if you notice anybody around you loved ones family friends anybody you know acquaintances they just up and disappeared ask them if they were trying to steal nintendo games and nintendo went and got them sent them ninjas <laughs> yes sir like like these these dudes online like look i'm a firm believer if Microsoft really wanted to, you know, secure the CMA, right? They should have cut Nintendo a blank check and be like, yeah, let's borrow your lawyers for a couple weeks. Nintendo's lawyers would have got that shit done. They are incredible. Um, I don't want to, you know, let's let's do these intros because, uh, you know, I don't want to waste no time. And uh, we can just tackle a couple of uh, topics while we wait for people to, you know, roll in here. This is Weapon Will Podcast, episode 364. Been a been a very interesting week. Uh, we are on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. I got an, I'm getting an echo from Bond a little bit. I'm getting a little echo Me? from you. I don't yeah, a little echo from you. Uh, we're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. If you want to support the channel, um, you know you can go to our Patreon, patreoncom slash Podcast. Uh, you know, some perks on there. If you uh, support us, you'll get After Dark, which is hours of of a, of a lot more content. Um, it's pretty much damn near another podcast. You could submit questions uh, to our uh, to the Patreon during the week, and we a- we answer it during our After Dark, and we post it on Mondays. You'll get access to the Discord. Great, you know, just upstanding people in in the Discord, full of entertainment, and uh, you know, check out all our other tiers that we that we got on there. Hit the like button, support the channel. If you want to, uh, you know, submit a video to be featured during, uh, to be featured um, during the podcast, link is in the description for that. You can just drag and drop your gameplay. We appreciate any gameplay that is submitted. You know, we use it weekly. And um, yeah, intros real quick. Bond. Okay, I think it's fixed. Let me turn my shit up. 
I don't even need no fucking introduction because y'all don't know me. You're all about to know me after today's episode. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it, BG. Oh. What, what the game from what happened yesterday? Uh-oh. The BG, uh... No, I'm here. I'm here. I said uh, my intro is done, sir. Oh, okay. Um, Jazzy, since you're also in here? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm here as the uh, you know, Nintendo fan representative since Blandrew can't make it since he decided to, uh, Wanted to be an Xbox fan all of a sudden. So, yeah, let's get it. All right. Jack? Hello. Okay. Uh, so, let me see. What, to- what topics can we tackle before everybody gets in and get the small stuff out the way? Actually, let me, uh, let's do some um, stuff from the Patreon, stuff submitted from the Patreon. Let me read a few comments and questions uh, from the Weapon Wheel Question Crew Tear. Jason Quaid, he said, uh, praise Jigga, as usual. He said, (laughs) even in this new age of gaming, Jedi Survivor still comes out a broken mess on PC. Are bad PC ports just going to be a thing forever or what? I feel like they've always been a thing. Great question. It's, it's, It's always, like I said, PC gaming is always a roller coaster. There's times... And peri- periods of times where you'll get great ports, and then you'll get the worst port ever, and then you'll get like a a port that's kind of buggy. That's that's always how it's been for like forever. And then th- you know a whole bunch of ports will come out, and that they'll be fine again. It's it's a whole cycle. So I don't think you'll ever get to this point of where PC games, you know, PC ports will just like kind of like uh you know like it'll just be all of them will be fine every single time it comes out because there's just too many factors. You know, there's too many configurations. Um, PC is often never, never necessarily the priority. It's always like, you know, console. So no, I don't, I don't think we'll ever get to that, ever, ever get to that point. It's, it's always going to be that chance where the PC, you know, port you get is, is bad. There'll always be that, that chance. I like how BG just completely absolves Respawn Entertainment, the so-called top-tier developer, the so-called developer that's made making better games than they ever had on e- by EA. It is their fault. I'm yeah. not saying it's not. I mean, it's just two games in a row that they've just been absolute fucking niggas, but okay. What's their... What was the previous one before Jedi? Which one are you talking about? Survivor. Fallen or whatever the last one was. Oh, you mean the previous... Oh, no, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that's just the way it is, man. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just a risk that comes with playing, playing on PC. I mean, like, thank, I guess, thank, thank God now that you have people who, you know, do the research and talk about, you know, if the PC ports are, are good or not, because like I said before, it, it was kind of like playing Russian roulette. It was a guess, it was a guessing game and it was hard to get refunds back in the day. Well, now you can let's, easily get let's a refund. Talk. I mean, I still think it's a it's a moderate risk, maybe a less than moderate risk. I mean, I'd rather have a small risk in PC gaming than a high risk in owning a console that doesn't have any gaming. You just can't wait to throw the shots. Uh, I mean, you, you got you got to pick your battles here, man. I know. Can't, can't. I know. The, the the hail mary pass doesn't work every time. Yeah. Uh, let me read this super chat. Um, this most recent one, thumbs thumb 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 said, "Fuck Xbox." Have a great rest of your Sunday, fellas. Wow, I I hundred percent agree with this dude. Fuck <laughs> Xbox. Fuck Phil Spencer. Fuck Sarah Bond. Fuck Master Chief. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, hey now, Bond. Fuck Cortana. You lucky you need out of here right now. What what he gonna say? What he gonna do? Because you mentioned because you mentioned Sarah Bond. What she do besides steal names? I don't. I don't. What, what, I, sing that intro to Weapon Wheel. What has it go again? I don't even know what her job is to be honest. Um, she's because she's not. I don't. She I'm over not Game really, Pass, ain't she? She over Game Pass. Is she? Okay. Yeah. I have I honestly had no idea because it's not really something that's relevant to to me. So I have no idea. Yeah, anybody that actually games, yes, I know. 
No, yeah, we can't so. tear that sister down, man. But yeah, I don't think she's done uh, anything wrong. So think, yeah, what are you talking about? What she done wrong? She's working for Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, I I don't think that's there's anything she's wrong to, with that. She's trying to get a paycheck, Bond. That's all. I mean, at the cost of like working for a shithole company that can't do anything. I mean, if she was in a different division, that'd be one thing. But you like, wouldn't work for you wouldn't work for Xbox. I mean, I would try to leverage that shit and get out as soon as I can to get over to Nintendo or Sony. Because once this whole, once this whole regime goes down, everybody that's working under Phil is going to be unhirable. I would I would easily work for for Xbox as long as I'm not like uh, a face that people can attach to the brand. Like I would be like that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. Like if, if you got me in a position that's behind the scenes and I'm getting paid well, as long as nobody knows my name, like as a household name associated with Xbox, yeah, I'll work for them. Uh, yeah, that's exactly the point I'm making. Because let's be real, right? After all these jabronis get fired and let go and Microsoft hopefully reshuffles the deck, imagine somebody submitting an application to Nintendo or Sony. Hold on. And, no, and then... And then you see on their uh, resume, work for Microsoft under like the Phil Spencer ad. They probably laugh their asses off and rip up your application. Hold up, y'all don't want, y'all wouldn't want to proudly work for Xbox. You don't want to be part of the team that saves it. No, y'all only want to be on the y'all only want to be on a winning team. You don't want to be the the remedy. Do you want to be the Do you want to be the dude that's that saves the girl from being a hoe? Not, I don't exactly. Like, let's let's be real. The Xbox brand is done. Like, like, uh, like I, I, I've been saying this, like. Do you ever think there'll be a time when Mario as a brand will be dead? Will be dead? I, I got a question. No. Would y'all well, a- a- answer that question real quick? Do you think we'll ever be in a time of gaming where Mario is dead? No. Uh, no. no. Well, guess what? Master Chief is dead. I got a question. Would you or would you or Bond uh, right now, if Cardi B or Rihanna said, "Hey, would you like to get married and have kids?" Would y'all do it? No. Cardi B. You or wouldn't. Rihanna? The billionaire that is yeah. Rihanna. The multi-millionaire that Cardi B says, guys, I, you know, you're, you're a great guy. I want to get married and have kids. I want to settle down. You'd say, eh, sorry, you were a hoe once. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to be dealing with hood boogers and crazy ass exes oh, and niggas with guns and rappers and crazy motherfuckers and Nick Cannon okay, or okay. Chris Brown. I, like, I'm good. Like, I, like, I like a quiet, peaceful, simple life. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to be on TMZ. I'm not trying to be on Instagram. I'm not trying to have people follow my entire life. Oh, this nigga's kid is light skin. Oh, this nigga's kid is I, fucking. I think you're taking it too literal. Oh, yeah. right. I, right. oh, right. I think you're taking it too literal. All right. We, 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 got, we, got, we got other stuff to get to. So. What, yeah. what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is if you, if you Wait, have the all the said, remedies right? of all that Xbox yeah. has to do, you wouldn't want to be the shining light to say, "Nigga, no. let me let me Alex, tell you what Alex, you stop, nope. stop, nope. stop, po- stop getting Bond started. We got shit to get to. <laughs> exactly. We okay, th- we are not you. making this man thank give us like an extra hour of content, making this shit four hours. You, I know you. I know you do it shit on purpose to get him started. Um, other, let me get to some other super chats. Um, Cody Bishop said we should all want Xbox to succeed. Competition is good for consumers. Monopolies harm consumer choice and lead to stag- uh, stagnation and price increases yeah. well here, here's the problem we all do want xbox to succeed there's only one group of niggas that don't want xbox to succeed the xbox fans themselves okay i'm, I'm gonna give you your, your, tw- your 20 minutes by the way well not 20 minutes but i'm gonna give you your time oh. later to go off when you uh, when you're we'll, ready we'll do, we'll do it around like eight o'clock seven forty five. All, right, all right cool i'm still i'm still compiling my like you know all right, yeah. uh, hey, Jay Barry. It's gonna be like, go ahead. It's gonna be like back to back, isn't it? Because of Redfall and then this Phil Fencer interview. Yeah, those are the last two topics we're gonna cover, pretty much. Oh, wanna thank God. Want to get everything oh, else out the way? Y'all did intros already, BG. Yeah. Um. Nobody cares about you, Alex. Oh, yeah. I'm joking. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Peace. I'll see y'all uh, after dark. No, nah, they, they 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 love you guys. They love you, man. Great guy. Love him to death. Uh, what up, Uni? <laughs> What to do, my what to do, my guys? Hey, what's up? What okay, hear me, you okay, hear me good. What it, yeah, what we it hear do, you. bro. Yeah, you talk of the town, right, everybody? What it do, bro? Talk of the town. Doctor yes, Umar in the flesh. Let's go. Wait, wait I'm not Doctor Umar. Don't don't do that. No. And, uh, <laughs> you'd rather be Doctor Umar than the other doctor. I, I don't know, Doctor Umar. Let's not get into that. But, yeah, yeah, let's not. <laughs> um, all right. 
Jay yeah. Bari said, uh, when are we getting a WWP co-stream of, of Redfall? BG, go play for Spoken. What are you scared of? Kid Smooth, did you apologize for your stupid tweet yet? Kid Smooth did not apologize for that stupid tweet because he doesn't believe he did anything wrong. Um, no, I'm on his neck about that, though. Where is he? Uh, I don't know. He's... Because I'm on his neck about that because I remember this man apologized to Marlies for calling her feet big, but now you're not gonna apologize <laughs> for that. This, this is what you doing alone? Remember that shit? He did apologize man, to think... that woman for saying her feet was big. Yeah, yeah like you know, you don't want to be that type of monster. I'm like, okay, cool, but now xenophobia. You like, nah, I ain't gonna apologize for this though. No, that's because okay. his wife made him apologize to that. Uh, well, why his wife didn't make him apologize movie. this time? I don't know. He he probably blocked her, so she ain't gonna see the shit now. Uni, <laughs> uni. After Smooth has lost three grand plus, she probably just feels like it's better not to look on Twitter and YouTube. All right. Uh, <laughs> she probably. Cy- I don't even want to see nothing. Cyber turn on, get angry. Cyber said, "I gotta watch the rest of the pod at work, but I can't wait for another one of Bond's legendary Xbox rants." Mm-hmm. Alex PSX. Phil Spencer needs to be held accountable for his crimes, and that Iron Lord article was atrocious. Uh, also, I hope Rand gets through it with, through it uh, well with fam. Um, yeah, I think uh, what his grandfather had passed away. Shout out to Rand. Um, condolences. Uh, I'm not sure which Iron Lord article uh, Alex is talking about, but shout out to the Iron Lords. The Bald Lords, shout out. Yeah, shout out to them boys. They they they, they, them, they the guys. All right, um, let's let's do trivia, some trivia real quick. Um, submitted by Sean Artis as a perk, um, as one of the tiers of the Weapon Will Patreon. Um, okay, Jack, you gotta go. You gotta go last on this because I'm pretty sure you, you'll get this right. List the following PS4 games in order of their Metacritic score from. Oh fuck! So he says highest to lowest, but I think I think y'all should do it from lowest to highest. I think y'all should do it from lowest to highest. Um, okay. Spider Man, Ghost of Tsushima, Bloodborne, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Last Last of Us Part Two. No googling, Damn, of course. Damn, that's a lot of games. What the fuck? Uh, no googling. Yeah, Sam again. So I can yeah, talk about. Yeah, yeah. Just just write them down real quick. Spider Man, right. Ghost of Tsushima, All right. Bloodborne, All right. God of War. Right. Which Horizon? God of War? Which God of War? Twenty eighteen. Uh, Horizon. Which one? Which Horizon? The first one. First Horizon and Last All of Us right, Part cool. Two. Um, All right, cool. Alex, you on the spot? Uh, uh, let me see your list, uh, Jack. <laughs> I'll, show you the pat- I'll show you the Patreon. I actually just read. I'm gonna make, the list I'm gonna make it the- public. I'll make it public okay, right okay. now. Hold on, hold on. I'll make it public right now. Uh, uh shit. Nigga said, uh, what would you rate? Uh, Rabbity Scabbard uh, or Rabbity Scabbard? Nigga, new, he gave us like 20 games. New rule, multiple choice and shit can only be four things. Like, Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Um, actually, I'm going to put it in the, uh, in the Discord. So okay, thank can... God. I'll go there. Yeah. Oh, and, and we're ranking, Deontay. We're ranking worst to best? Deontay just, uh, yeah, worst to okay. best. I, I, got, mm. I, got, I, got, I got I got my list. We're doing worst to right, best, go ahead. right? Yeah, go ahead, Bond. Bond, you go first. All right. For, it's going to be Ghosts at the bottom, then Horizon, then Bloodborne, then God of War, and number one will be The Last of Us Part Two. Okay. Um, uh, Alex, you want to do yours? Oh, I didn't play Ghost of Tsushima. Um, it's Metacritic scores. You need to play nothing. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put uh, Bloodborne at the top. Last of Us after that, Spider Man, then God of War, then Horizon Zero Dawn, and then Ghost of Shima last. Okay, um, Uni, you wanna you wanna try this? No. Okay. Um, try what? What, what are we doing? What are we doing though? Never mind. We were, uh, we were doing a trivia. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. well, we were doing a trivia question. Um, Jack. The trivia. Jack. Tell me the question, will you? Jack, go ahead. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get back uh, to you. Jack, Jack, go ahead. I don't know what Bloodborne got on Metacritic, but if I had to guess, I would say the lowest scoring game was Ghost of Tsushima, then Spider Man, then Horizon, then I'm oh. gonna say, then I'm gonna say Bloodborne, God of War, and Last of Us Part Two. Hold on, BG, BG, I forgot to put in Spider Man. Okay. Sp- you know, Spider Man will be after Horizon. So it would be Ghost, Horizon, Spider-Man, Bloodborne, God of War, the Lad. Damn, why give us so many fucking options? 
Uh, yeah, actually, all of y'all got it wrong. Jack, you were closest. Damn. Yeah. But yeah, because I, I, like, didn't, I didn't know what Bloodborne had. I didn't know what Bloodborne had. Yeah, Bloodborne think, is a is a ninety two. So yeah, you you put you put Last of Us Part Two at the top. But so I did. Yeah. God of War. God of War has a ninety four. Last of Us Part Two has a ninety three. See, it dropped down. It was a 95 at one point. Actually, was You're right, it was. 96. I knew, yeah, it was I knew Ghost of Shima was going to be at the bottom, though. Either that or Horizon. Damn. Yeah, so from, so from worst to best, Metacritic is Ghost, Spider-Man, Horizon, Bloodborne, uh, Last of Us, God, uh, God of War. So that's best. That's last. That's worst to best. Damn. Last of Us yeah. went down three points, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. No, y'all would have y'all hated my list if it said, which, what do you rank it? Y'all would have hated my list, boy. Yeah. All right. Um, let's get to these is daily topics now. Is that smooth? No, that man AFK don't know what happened to him. <laughs> he 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 picked the right week for his P his uh power supply to be dead, <laughs> didn't he? Uh, okay. First topic we gonna touch on. Um, get this out the way. The, the there's a new there's a new Xbox uh okay. home um dashboard. Right, y'all got it. Y'all got a new one, right, Uni? Oh my God, bro! Can I interrupt yeah, for a second? It, it's, what? Why? It's not that bad. We, nigga, we talking about dashboards? Yes, Bond. <laughs> yes, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> get to like, shit to seriously? shit on them all you want. Yes, Let's they've been talking. This this is Xbox news. Yes, Bond. D- the dashboard is very important. They've Holy been waiting for a new fuck. one for a while. <laughs> Let's go, Bond. Hey, you, I got you, a question about the dashboard. Didn't they have like a legacy one where they still had the blades a few years ago? Or am I tripping? I thought that was an option. To have what do you What again. do you think about the new dashboard, Uni? I mean, I think it, it, it's an improvement, but it still, to me, has too much clutter. They still want to get their ads, their ads in your face and shit. I think they need to just have one line, or at least have the option to minimize minimize it, or like put like you know, it have two bars down there. They need to have just one line kind of like the playstation but different or they could put it in the side i don't give a fuck just let people see their goddamn um you know the themes and shit like what's the point of having dynamic backgrounds if you can't see the shit right mm-hmm. and that, that's so, like actually... I said, but it's a step in the right direction like like with microsoft you have to be man you have to be happy with any crumbs that they throw at you because it's like i say it's fucking ridiculous like nice. this is a software company, a two trillion dollar company, and all I've been hearing all week is coping and reasons why this two trillion dollar company with all the money in the fucking world can't do shit. That shit getting on my fucking well, nerves. Well, hold on, Uni. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Uni. PlayStation do not have dynamic themes. People want that on place. That's something y'all got on them. Jack, you want dynamic themes? You've been you you've been I, saying I, that right? I actually I actually don't. Oh, they oh, don't no. have them though. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. I, but I like the dynamic, dynamic themes. I, I want the it. PS3 themes on. There's no, it's nowhere to put them on PS5. I like it as long as you can see it. Yeah, it worked best when you had. It worked best when you had all the icons and shit on this one. The only icons would be when you press the PS button. Yeah, at the it's, it's, the, it's the whole game on. That's the theme right there. Or I mean, but the, even the PS4 themes, it still had like a nice background. My right nigga, smooth. Yeah, on oh, PS4 yeah. you can see them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was good, smooth. All right, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, you're you good. Sound you're good. good. Yeah. Sound good. All right, all right. Yeah. Now I just put this I, I can PC barely hear you through the my... cancellation. I, I put this PC. Uh, I had to uh, replace my power supply, so I got finished doing that. It took me longer than I thought it would. All right, we were talking about the Xbox new, the new Xbox dashboard. Lori, what are your thoughts on it? I think it's awesome. It looks uh, like uh, similar to some of the mockups that people were trying to make. It, it looked like they took some inspiration from that. Uh, bringing down the the icons, you're allowed to have a lot more games like on your um, home screen, and um, you get a lot more real estate left to see the wallpaper. Uh, they move some icons around uh, with the like the Game Pass, my games, and I think it's something else at the top. Um, it's been it's been good um, for me. I liked it. I think it was a it's a good change. It finally looks like a that I'm playing on a new console or a new platform um, from Xbox. Um, I definitely I, I can't wait till it rolls out for everybody else. So I think you know everybody will enjoy it. But it is a, a vast improvement um, from what we've had. Um, it does like I, I think the major complaint we had when we first got the Xbox Series consoles compared to the PlayStation is like when you turned on the PlayStation and you felt like you were on a new new gen system, a new system overall. 
even though they took away some features on the PlayStation side, that kind of upset people, but you could tell you were playing on something different from the PS4, whereas on the Xbox, um, it, it wasn't so apparent, and the only difference was that you had the ability to get dynamic uh, themes, which was cool, but it wasn't uh, different enough. I feel like this was enough of a change uh, to make me feel like I'm playing on, you know, you know, another platform, a better platform. Um, so, good job. I'm happy that they responded. I just wish they did this, like, you know, two years ago. So, okay. that, that, was your, that was your first major complaint of the console? It wasn't my first major complaint, but it wasn't. It was a complaint. It's like, well, you know, this doesn't feel too different, you know? I remember but, uh, that conversation, too, when it first came out. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know what conversation I remembered? Which one? Bond. I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, oh, let, 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 let them live. It's going to be a good week. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. No. Uh, there was also, um, they also announced the Game Pass friend referral program. So according, <laughs> according to their blog, it says that we know that gaming is best. Uh, we know that gaming is best with friends. So today we're introducing the Xbox Game Pass friend referral offer, which lets Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and PC Game Pass members give up to five friends a free 14-day PC Game Pass trial. Invited friends must be new to Game Pass to redeem the new free trial. So another, you know, part of Game Pass being expanded, friend referral program. Any thoughts? Uh, it's awesome. cool. I think anything they can do to um, get more access um, it, to me, for me, doesn't do much. I mean, it's, it's for PC Game Pass. So I think that's I think um, like I, I think if you're going to do it, do it overall. Uh, do it for PC, do it for console, do it for cloud. Um, it should be like an all thing. Don't don't segment it. Don't separate it. So I think it's to me, it's a, a half ass, you know, attempt. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm mad at it. It's another promotional material. Um, I think they'll have you know, a bigger impact, better impact once they introduce the um, the family plan properly in North America. Um, I think that's what's more so what it's leading to. But this, like I said, it's a good attempt, but it's just one of those things where it's just like, man, this is not it's not uniform um, because it's only, you know, you know, dedicated to those um, butt munchers on PC. But wow. <laughs> what the um, hell? Wow. Hey, Smooth, I got a, Smooth, I got a question about Game Pass. Um, What's up? As you know, I don't play Xbox. With PlayStation, they have like a Ubisoft collection. Mm -hmm. um, I think they have an EA. I don't know what they have, but does Game Pass have like specific developers where you got pretty much all their mainstay games only on Game Pass? Or do y'all also have like a Ubisoft collection? Don't they have Ubisoft Plus on the Game Pass? They, they Ubisoft, Plus is, Ubisoft has a select uh, 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 a grouping of games on Game Pass. It's like Pass called that. Classics or something, right? Yeah. Um, it's not even Classics because they've had like day and day. They had like, you know, the Rainbow Six game. They just got, you know, the, obviously the Far Cry games. No. Uh, Far Cry 5 is on there. So it's not like exactly what, what PlayStation had because I think PlayStation had like a curated version of Ubisoft Plus within it. And I think it was just a classic Ubisoft games. Xbox was getting, you know, um, like just select um, titles. Uh, publishers that are like constantly, consistently in um, Xbox are, I would say, um, uh, Anna Perner and uh, am I saying Anna, Anna Perna, and Jack yeah. would know that yeah Anna Perna um, you know the games that they do that are traditionally multiply are usually you know found in Game Pass all their titles are um, found in Game, um, game Pass there's the other one um, uh, man uh, Coco Cumber uh, huh? Thunderbolt huh? oh Balls. It's like Coco Cumber, the people that just did uh, Ravenlock. They did Ravenlock. Oh, okay. they did Ravenlock and they did Echo, Echo Generation. That's not, that's not like an illegal move. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, illegal. <laughs> Definitely illegal. I gotta, I gotta look this name up, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey go on, on, hey, go on Incognito before you search it, Jack. That sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the FBI seeing you find that. Coco Cucumber. That's their name. Yeah, oh, that's Cucumber. nuts. Cucumber. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so there's, they, they got a lot of those double A uh, independent publishers like they they do a lot of things with like um uh man was it who's it i don't want it's not tiny it's tiny build up uh bro that shit sounds worse than when Bosch Baron got hit by the stump puller yeah, they do a, a, a lot of things with um the the indie those indie publishers that like just right and where all their games t typically come um but um but yeah, I would say yeah, they have like a PlayStation has more of a, a curated list of classics. I think Xbox just have select Ubisoft games. 
Okay. Uh, Muni, any comments on friend referral program? You care? It's a dog shit. Wow. <laughs> because it's not on game. It's not actually on Xbox because it's only on PC. I'm guessing that's why. You- well, well, that too. Like I said, just another notch in the belt of them disrespecting the Xbox fans. And the saddest part is niggas with Xbox consoles who don't even play on PC is defending this shit. I'm like, y'all niggas are are stupid. Like, y'all literally defending them literally fucking over you. Like, I don't understand. Bro, we gotta get into this shit. We gotta get into this shit. Tell them niggas. I I, I was under the pretense, right, that quote-unquote certain Xbox niggas was quote-unquote not the same as the ponies that they cry about all the time. Whereas, no matter what shit sandwich Sony uh, drive down their throat, they say, well, because the games are good, it doesn't matter. Right? But then with Xbox... I'm like, bro, Xbox not even giving you good games. And y'all think like, it doesn't matter because of the Hi-Fi Rush. I'm like, nigga, if you play Hi-Fi Rush in January, we're in fucking May. It's an eight-hour right. game. What the fuck? Like, like you, you right. think that's acceptable? Hallelujah. All right, pull up, Uni. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up breaks. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. I know. I know. I know. You know what, B- you know what BG? I'm going to be able to take a week off and let this man handle my light work. Pull up. We're we going to get to it. Gonna get- early, but h- yeah. Here's my opinion on this, right? What we're is, gonna have to get to it because wait, 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 let's just skip to this, man. Because we gotta no, go. No, 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 because y'all <laughs> let me get through hey, other stuff this. first. Hey, ain't just a shit, BG. You see this, bro? So, let, uh, let us get through other stuff first. As far as this Game Pass thing goes, I didn't want to talk about that Phil Spencer shit, too. We're gonna get to it soon. I promise. We're gonna get to it. My whole thing about this is, is um, so let me let's get this straight. They're doing this for what you know, word of mouth, spread word of mouth to get more people to play growth. Yeah, yeah. You know what the best way to have word of mouth on a video game console is? What's that? Have games? Uh, no, because apparently having good games wouldn't change anything. Oh, but man. no, you're right. Fucking games. Continue. Okay. All right. I promise we're going to get to it soon. I'm, I'm, I'm flying through this stuff. All right. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm marinating. I'm still, wor- I'm still wor- compiling my shit. They're, they're yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Uh, PlayStation shut down P- Pixel Opus. Um, if you didn't know... <laughs> I, you know what's crazy? I've listened to a bunch of shows this week, and like, there's legit people who had no idea who the hell Pixel P- Pixel Opus was. So Pixel Opus, that, they made is they like made STD. No, sir. So Pixel Opus was a Sony uh, first party studio. They made two games, Intertwined, I think in 2015, and most recently, uh, Concrete Genie in like 2020. They were Send a studio. Back. They were a studio of 10, 10 to 15 people. So they, it was their, their smallest studio, like you know by far they were really like an almost like an still at like indie status almost uh media molecule is their next smallest studio ne- next up and they have like 50 employees um they were also working on a game mm-hmm. in collaboration with like sony pictures so it was like supposed to be this this game i get i think similar to like kana bridge of spirits something along in, in that vein but that's obviously canceled now since the studio is shutting down PlayStation has not made a comment about it yet. It just came out officially from the uh, from their um, the the Pixel Opus Twitter Twitter account. Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never played a Pixel Opus game. I mean, they only got two, so I've I, I've never played one. I'm not shocked by this. Like their their games, the only sales data I could find on Concrete Genie was was in was like UK sales, UK launch sales. And like UK, the charts go up to like, they go up to like top 40 and it debuted at like name number 35. So it didn't like really sell, sell well. And yeah, so it's, it's, that's, that's the situation. They shut it down. Um, didn't Jack maybe because they weren't the, producing. Uh, I did. Yeah, he did. How do you did, feel about it, Jack? Did anybody in this room play Concrete Genie besides Jack? No. I played a little bit of it. I okay. think I have the game, but I never uh, played it. Well, there we go. But Jack, what what are your thoughts on it? Because you're honestly probably the only one who really um, cared. Well, I played both of their games. I played uh, Intertwine when it came out. It was like a shock drop at E3 one year. It was all right. I wasn't too you know enamored with that. But um, you know, I played Concrete. Full disclosure, right? I actually didn't even buy that game. You know how I got that game? I was playing Dishonored one day, and somebody DM me a, a code on PSN. And it was the whole game, like right when it came out. So shout out to mm. that person. I f- forgot your name. But um, Concrete Genie, man, it was a very dope game. And I feel like I'm not surprised by this news, but I feel like that uh, Pixel Opus could have carved out a real uh, a, a niche that 
Sony desperately needs right now. We need those, uh, you know, double A ish type, almost indie uh, centric games, right? We need those type games. Those would be great games to put on services like PS Plus, or you know, since people yeah. not buying them. I mean, they could have easily funded another game by this developer. It ain't like they made shitty. They made good games, right? How much? This is my this is my issue with the situation, right? How much does it truly cost to have a dev team of ten people? Like, Nothing. was that you can put you can put them in fucking Naughty Dog Studios or any other you know develop you know you can close down their whole situation and put them in another building? Like, was well, they really loud. wasting that much money, bro? I don't I don't think so. Don't say that too loud. I have the same opinions about Media Molecule. You see how that went? Yeah, that's that's what I'm upset about. Y'all know I've been saying for years Media Molecule needs to be like taken taken around the barn and, and put down, shotgun to the back of the head. Right. Like, I, I just don't know why, how they like, I think like their track record yeah, is, yeah. is, is less impressive. Like, yeah, they, they've only, they, Media Molecule has made, I don't know, seven, eight games. And, and the seven, eight games are just, to me, is, is just very unimpressive. Right. The, this studio has only made two games and they're like cadence of putting out a game. They put, they put out two games in a decade. That's, that's not great. It, and I understand you're an indie studio. But it still shouldn't take you that that long. I mean, because like Conquer Genie you're, is like a four hour game, you know. You're not rock. You're not rock star. You can't be putting out two games a yeah a, a decade. And and also like concrete. I don't think that the excuse that you're a, you're like an indie um caliber studio flies anymore when it comes to sales because there are indie games that are literally selling two three million copies now. Sifu sold two City million copies. Skyline. Oh God. What? See, well, you know, but Sifu is literally a very small team. Uh, Slow Clap is a very small team. Sifu sold oh, so, two oh, million oh, copies. Their, their name is Slow Clap. Yes. Right. Jesus. And um, yeah, they're a small team. They the game so that was their Ooh. second game, I think, ever, and it sold two million. So the you know the whole oh we're a small team oh so we're only gonna sell you know twenty thousand copies. I don't I don't think that shit flies no more. Like nah, bro, people are they out here doing it so. I don't think that's going to fly anymore. Um, and also, listen, I think it, it points to PlayStation fans do not care about this like artsy fartsy creative shit. Y'all y'all don't, right? Because some a lot of them like to act like they're bothered by this shutdown, and, and some some of them are like you know Jay Barry, you know um, I actually you know he plays all these PlayStation games. He's he's into that that there's a like there's a certain um older tear of playstation game gamers who like the you know the japanese the, the you know like uh, japan studios and like the older style of playstation games but that's not yep, what playstation well, gamers are buying no more Here, you know? here's yeah. the problem with media molecule i don't think there's anything wrong with media molecule i just think they're making games for the wrong platform i feel like if they were on a nintendo console or yeah. put their games on pc i think they would find much more success i just don't think that kind of game will lend itself to a PlayStation or e or even Xbox gamers. Yeah, Concrete Genie yeah. and both Dreams would have would have done way better on on a, on a Switch. But listen, PlayStation here, here, gamers don't care about that game no more. That type nope. of game no more. They don't. I'm sorry. Here's also the main issue. I mean, I I have no stats or data or anything to prove this. It's just my assumption, right? The reason why these games would succeed more on Switch is because Switch has more kids and kids have more time to be fucking creative, play Legos, Roblox, Minecraft. Like ki kids like building shit. Can we agree? Yes. Uh yes. When when you're yes. an when you're an when you're an, when you're an adult, right? You you work, you come home like you're not trying to build shit, you're just trying to play shit. Well, I don't got, I don't got time to be building shit. I got to my dreams. As far as Pixel Opus, um and you can honestly say dreams as well. Sony don't market these fucking games, bro. They don't. If you're not one of they big, they don't market these games. The games have horrible visibility on the store. You got to go through 15 fucking submenus to find their smaller titles. It's not the game's fault. It's not the develop. It's PlayStation fault. They don't promote shit, bro. If it's yeah. not a big budgeted AAA game, it's not getting no shine nowhere. On Jack, the ten, on Nintendo, the they would, would promote like that Xbox show. guy. You're, you're sounding like an Xbox. Guy. Hey, the yeah. truth is the truth. They don't, they, 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 they don't promote it. I mean, they don't. They don't promote their games at but, all. But I think they, that's because they don't yeah. care about it. That no, because be true, it's though. not going to... I mean, you're not going to expect, like, PlayStation to market, like, a country guinea on the same level as, like, a Horizon or a Spider-Man. Or maybe because the game didn't cost that much to make or the studio doesn't 
sink that much money, why spend millions and millions of dollars on uh, marketing if it didn't? How, 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 yeah. how about how about spending nothing and putting it on the front page of the store when somebody boot up the store? Yeah, but I I it's still don't smart. feel like a lot of these PlayStation games and majority would even. Like I said, they, they don't even touch games like this to this extent, especially Country Genie is a lot smaller compared to some like Kana or even like Sifu, which is a lot more PlayStation dudes like showed up for. So it's just yeah. the nature of the beast. Yeah, like, listen, I, I, I can't be mad. I didn't buy the game. Um, Most most people didn't buy the game. Is Listen, and I like games like, you know, Gravity Rush and people were crying and mad when Japan Studios got shut down. I'm like, bro, niggas did what? not buy uh fucking gravity rush <laughs> like when you don't support yep. games they the studio gets shut down that that's that's across all genres across all s- studios doesn't matter who you are and playstation has clearly made it clear like listen if if you're not selling we don't care if it, if if it costs like a few thousand dollars to maintain you we're getting you the fuck out of here we don't care we- these are lies. BG is saying sales matter when they clearly do not. I've been told by fanboys all across the internet. So, I mean, I, I do agree that they need st- like two studios that make double A, you know, double A type games. I, I absolutely agree with you, Jack. Um, that can come out like every three years because they don't have any any anything like that. But and also they, you need that for, to for these big gaps. People talking about. The Spider-Man being the last big Sony, you know, exclusive this year. You need shit to fill up the gaps, yeah. bro. It's about to be but, a dry yeah. summer. But this Here, is here's, like, here's, a, here's the pro- problem that Sony has with double A games. Like the problem they have with double A games is they're really not forced to make them, to go after them, or to prioritize them. Because those fringe double A games that are out there almost by default go to PlayStation because they're not going to put these games on xbox and then the switch is not going to be powerful enough for them to get their game onto the switch so that's why you get a lot of these like fringe games that these double a games like oh playstation pc or whatever like that so it's like it's not even something it's unfortunately sad like it's not even worth them going money now let's say nintendo puts out a more powerful system right then maybe you see the Final Fantasies, the Tekkens, the fighting games, all these Japanese games that they've had the luxury of getting because the Switch is too weak and Microsoft is completely non-existent. Now Sony's got to make moves because they're pressured to make moves. But the problem is, is like N- Nintendo and Sony are in two such completely different lanes now in regards to gaming. Like they just they're they're competing, but they're not really competing. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because like what? Nintendo's handhelds and the home console were like separate, but now with the Switch, they basically got both of them now. So that's why their output becomes appears to be a lot larger than it really has been compared to like Sony or even Microsoft, because those smaller type of games will have appeared to, on any other handheld, but they're coming to the Switch. Yeah. And here's another thing while we're on this topic, because we, we're always here. Is, is the emulation a topic today, BJ? Um, uh, I had I had Nintendo issuing a DMCA takedown for a homebrew project as the topic. I'm not sure if you're talking about that. I'll I'll talk about about this for a quick two minutes then. There's a lot of people that are saying Nintendo needs to put their games on PC. You know, they want to be digital terrorists and digital colonizers flying the Mayflower and all those other boats across the ocean to colonize Japan's whatever, whatever. Nintendo's not going to do that because they're selling record hardware and record software. If Nintendo were to put their games on PC, they've literally made their entire business model irrelevant because anybody can go get that Asus ROG or anybody can go get a Steam Deck or anybody could do, you know know what I'm saying? Like, legitimately, there's so many options on the PC. You could get these, and Nintendo's games aren't exactly demanding. You'd be able to get these shits to run on phones. Like, like they would like them natively putting their games on PC. They would literally destroy their whole hardware and software in seconds. Mm-hmm. I think it would be disastrous. Yep, uh, I, I agree with that. Okay, so yeah, we can move on. That Pixel Opus is gone. Um, that shit yeah. sounds like a disease. Like you got Pixel Opus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people don't value creativity and all that uh, artsy stuff as much as they they claim. So. Let's move on. Well, the problem with creativity, BG, is 
what's really creative now? Like, like you said, like you got to be really crazy to be creative now because everything's been done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll probably get a concrete genie movie down the line. Oh, brother. Fuck that. Uh, All right. Uh, Okay. So um, there's a report that PS5 Pro dev kits will be going to first party developers within the next couple of months. We had the conversation, you know, like I think that was back in February. Uh, you know, the debate we had about whether these pro, the pro consoles, uh, I think should exist or whether y'all agree with them or not. We're not getting back into that, you know, um, but they're, they're going out to, it's clearly real. And, you know, their first party, uh, you know, developers are going to be get, getting them soon. Like I said, I stand with, I, I pers- I'm personally glad that it exists. And I think, yeah, right now. It's not it's not justified by a whole bunch of games that you need it, but I think we've seen one or two games that ha- that really have utilized the the place the you know the power of the PlayStation, and um, it's those even chug and struggle a little bit. And in the next two years, which is when this thing is going to come out, there's going to be more games that validate its, its existence. That's my thoughts on it. So let me get this straight, DG. We need a whole fucking new machine for one or two games. Uh, you need a whole new machine for the future. Uh, it doesn't make sense to to put out a a pro console. So, wait for when the game starts struggling. You put it out before the game starts struggling. So he, here's the thing that y'all all tried to hate on me when I said a while ago. Y'all used to say that games get better as the generation goes in forward. I said that uh, that happens up to a point. Games start to look better, run better, but it gets to a point where the hardware is tapped and shit starts lagging and you you, you you get a pool. Your pool starts halfway full. Then, you know, you figure out you can fill the pool more as you get the learner. But at, at a certain point, the pool starts overflowing. You can't put, fit water into the pool. So y'all got to tell me which one is it. Is it developers learning hardware and being able to optimize? Or is it just now we all got to brute force everything? A little bit of both. How about that? I think I, this is um I, I'm I'm not against it. I'm just against it in the manner that it's happening, right? So still think like we're still deep into cross generation. We we haven't have a healthy dose of next gen games. I just feel like if you want to do this, this should be uh an option like day one. You should have an option of like, you know, I want the pro or I want the regular uh day one. I that, I think that's how they should have done it. Because buying the ps uh five i now feel shafted because it's the, i don't think we're in a situation that we were in last gen where like you know the you know the ps4 and xbox one were like you know severely you know under underpowered where it's like okay we need four those tvs were coming yeah um it's like a situation now it's like all right what is this what's the purpose of this console uh because of the ps the ps5 and you know the xbox series x were supposed to be able to do you know 4k 60 they both advertised 120 hell they advertised 8k so what exactly is the pro 4 um it just it just to me it just says like you probably should have had both options um day one i i disagree with that because if you have if you have both options there day one then both both of them well what the 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 base console when you release that we already know that's like those get obsolete and kind of outdated pretty fast but you're then you're going to have a pro console that gets obsolete and outdated not as quick so, but pretty soon after right but now, this got- this is my question though this is my question about this whole situation right i understand what y'all are saying but we ne- we we still haven't seen a game fully ut- according to these developers. We still haven't seen a game fully utilize the current PS5 that we got. <laughs> so it's like this this is gonna be the first console, and I've said this before, and people got mad at it. This is the first PlayStation console that don't really got any standout exclusive experiences. You're telling me that this console been out for three years? It only got a handful of PS5 only games, and they ain't too impressive to begin with. So you finna bring out a pro console, like, uh, you know well, what, keep in mind, the way, the, the way they've been marketing is that this is uh, from the power of the PS5, like Ratchet and Clank, you know, so for the general public, they right. just saying, oh, this, this, I couldn't play this on the PS4, and it's not available in there, so I need the PS5 to play this, but 
general public ain't worried about that. Mm-hmm. Like and I said, I, you know, is, yeah. I mean, it, every we we have our different opinions of, of it. Um, I'm not. Think, I'm not against. Yeah. I'm not against it. I'm just against the fact that I feel I, I'm with smooth. I feel like I bought this motherfucker for no reason. I really, I really, truly feel like that. Besides, just, besides, um, loan times, like. What the f- I mean, I just feel like if you, if you, if you're, well, maybe you're not, but I just feel like if you've satisfied with the performance it's been giving you so far, then. I don't I mean, have, I don't be. have, I don't have an issue with it personally. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> and I, I just wanted to um, mention um, my my thoughts on Hogwarts because I did start H- Hogwarts on PC um this this past week and this game is uh i'm not a harry potter fan i've i keep telling y'all and this game is very enjoyable this this is very good jack i keep telling you you i understand you're not interested in these ips but this this year is lacking for you but you need to oh you need to you know give these this shit a chance i think you would like hogwarts um i don't think you would and I, th- I think he would. I, this is this is very much in line yeah, with the type of shit Jack plays. This is very much like this is this is, is also, no this is no different from also, the type of shit Jack plays. No, Jack different. is also the epitome of if I don't like the source material, why would I play the game about it? Yeah, like with Star Wars. I pl- I've okay. actually played Harry Potter games before. I never beat none. I mean, no. I mean, I, I don't like the I don't like the subject matter either. But the but the gameplay is good. Like I you don't, don't like the subject. You don't like the subject matter, but you saw what house you were in on Twitter before the game came out. I heard a lot of disparaging. I just, I just did that just to Harry just Potter to see. Fans. I, I don't. I don't know just, what none of that shit means. Like you should be in a groupie. Okay. Now that was him no, was being slowly converted to play this game. That's all that mm. was. Oh, so I did it four months okay, ago yeah. to sl- be slowly converted. Man, anyway. But, but no, like, Chris, I'm like, I'm like, I don't be like, I don't give a fuck about Harry Potter, but I think I'm Slytherin, nigga. Do you know how? how I didn't say that. Is? I took that they they have a thing online where they sort you. You just you just press some buttons and they and they sort you. That's it. For a nigga that and don't I care about Hogwarts, I would have not got sorted. I mean, uh, bruh, there's there's plenty of there's I've beat several games where I don't care about the IP or I don't like the IP. To me, that's not to me that's not really that important. Yeah. Like to me, it, it's it, as long as the gameplay is enjoyable, I could really give a fuck about the subject Yo. matter. I'm trying to remember the last game I. Um, BG, what is this trash on the screen right now? Oh, that's a what are you talking about? That's a great game. That's Titanfall 2, sir. Oh, never mind. I was behind. I was watching some other games, some clowns. Oh, Kingdom game. Hearts 3. Oh, yeah, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts, yeah. But my um, but by, by the way, Hogwarts, they just came out, it, it just came out on PS4 and um, X, Xbox uh, One, and uh, uh it's, 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 on there. it's now uh, generated a billion dollars in retail sales. Uh, so just my quick impressions the combat is fun and i was i was surprised by this because making wand combat fun is i don't think that's the easiest thing to do and it doesn't looking at it looks absolutely boring like i'll say that when you look at somebody play like oh this shit does not look fun because literally all you're doing is just waving a wand around i'm like uh, i don't know but playing is a whole different story so the combat anyone, it's like it's it's kind of like you know you you can pull off strings and, and combos um and shit like that because you have different spells and you know you're and you're juggling enemies and you like i said pulling off these combos so it's very fun because like you just it's visually satisfying and the, and the sound design and all that shit so the combat is actually really good um, did anybody play this on ps5 in here no i have it on pc um, and but that's but that's one of the things I was going to bring up on PS5. This is one of the games that kind of kind of struggles, right? And I can tell I playing on PC, I can see why this shit would struggle on consoles. Like the, bro, this shit looks, de, this shit is demanding. Like the world they designed and crafted, Hogwarts. This shit is mad detailed. Like the so des, the, the level design, p- very badly. Um, the level design of Hogwarts, bro. This sh- I, like I said, I'm not a fan. I don't I don't know exactly how this shit is supposed to look, but I know it's very fucking impressive. Like just the detail and the craftsmanship of this in- entire school. And then even outside of even outside of the school, I think people sa- have said, like, you know, outside of school is less impressive. But the school itself, this sh- I know this shit literally took damn near years to design just the school itself. Forget like all the other parts of the game, just the design of the school. The dialogue is really cool, even though I said, like, I'm not completely into it like i'm listening to it and i'm like i'm not bothered by this and they don't like 
waste your time too much with having a billion, you know, damn lines of dialogue talking too much. They get these characters, they have their dialogue, they get straight to the point. They don't have you sitting there having like, you know, too long conversations with them. And y'all know I hate games where you have to, where they put you in classrooms. Y'all know this. This is like my biggest problem with like games like Persona and any game where they put you in a classroom. I hate it. That these these class these classroom parts where you you're learning spells, this should be like two three minutes, literally, like two three minutes. Get out, and you learn. They teach you how to use the spell. They you know you learn the spell. They ter- they teach you how to use it. Um, demonstrate it. Get out. That's it. That's that. That's how it should be. Don't keep me in this classroom like I'm an actual real life student, and you want me to spend like a whole damn period until the bell rings. So I appreciate that. They they don't. Try to like you know waste your god waste your goddamn time. Um, the targeting system when there's too many damn enemies on screen that could be a problem. Like it doesn't know what the fuck it's doing. Sometimes it trips over itself. I have and a yeah, question the, about that. Yeah, I don't understand why game developers, whether it's a Souls game, this or many other games, like I, I thought we had Z targeting down with like N64 Ocarina of Time. Like why is this still an issue? And it's, yeah. a, it's an issue with a lot of games. A yeah, lot of times so, it's the camera angle. So with, with Hogwarts, it's weird because, okay, so they have the, 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 um, the, the, you know, the free targeting, and then they have the lock-on targeting, right? The lock-on targeting, you're, it, it makes you feel too stuck, right? You, so that you don't want to use that. The problem with the free targeting is like, okay, it's, it's pretty much, they, it's, that, they, uh, it's like guessing who you're aiming at by like who you're looking at. But it does it very poorly. Like you could be looking all the way to your left, and they're highlighting the character in the right corner. Like, bro, what the? Like, what are you doing? I'm not even looking at this dude. So it could get wonky like that. But yeah, I don't really have any um, really any other like complaints about it. It's 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 good, man. Um, I'm glad you like it, PG. Yeah. But I don't support that game for obvious reasons. No, oh, brother. Political oh, reasons I will that I will not get into. You don't care. Oh, you're not trying to you're not trying to get the LGBT go after you. Yeah. Who? But <laughs> don't don't start up kids move. Oh man. But real real quick, I was gonna say this is one of the games on console that chug, and I think this ju- I think this this should alone. This is an example of something that could justify a, a pro console. There's not many examples of this, but you know, I'm just saying. No, I think an update, a custom more optimization could, you know, they can get it right, dude. I but they released, the game they released several, op- like they, they released several patches for this though, like that are that was already supposed to do it. And I mean, they can utilize crunch and uh, <laughs> send off more utilize crunch. Nah, like, have you played it smooth? Yeah, yeah, I didn't beat it because I'm um, like I'm, at the middle of the game, I, the Wolong came out and I stopped started playing that, but I got to resume it. Yeah, I don't. I, I was enjoying I, it. I have no issue with the game. I think it's great. Yeah. I don't think there's really, aside from doing some dynamic resolution shit and dropping the resolution to make the frame rate better. I don't know if you you could really like. I don't think it's an optimization problem. I think there's just, the world is just so goddamn demanding in that in that game. The only thing I will say is like this: people didn't give this game enough shit for it. It, it has Ubisoft style design, where it's like mad collectathony. And I didn't hear a lot of that smoke. People seem to be very selective with what game they, they want to call a, a Ubisoft type game. And Is collectathony a word? Yeah. No, but I made it one. You know what it means, right? Okay, it's a word then. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of collectathon. Oh, do, do these trials and, fi- and, and find 10, 15 mirrors and, and, and 10 chests and all, all this just mad collectathon shit. That sounds like a uh, rareware game. What was the last collector gun, uh, game y'all liked? I mean, I tolerate that didn't, them. That didn't would, feel annoying. But... That didn't feel like, oh my god, I gotta sit there and collect all this shit. I tolerate I them. Too. Y'all didn't like Ratchet and Clank? Collecting shit? No. I mean, I, I got the platinum, but I hated all that collecting shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, well, we can move on. Um, just wanted to give y'all my thoughts on Hogwarts. Um, is it time? Is it no, time? No, it's it's still early. We gonna get to it soon. It's not that much left. Not that much left. Uh, I don't know if anybody cares. This is this is not the right cast. Um, I don't think any of us are qualified to talk about this because I don't think none of us play or care about Destiny. But I'm not so uh, much. In, oh, 
We get one. Uh, get uh, get B- game Bun- in here. <laughs> Bunge, uh, Bungie increased the, the the price for the Destiny Two uh, season pass. I don't play. Now, Destiny. why did why did why did they why did they do More that? Contact? No or? idea, Jack. I don't play Destiny. I couldn't care less. I don't know. Anybody anybody have any thoughts? Nope. Um, I love the topic. Too much to play I don't want to know if it was if it was justified. That's what I want to know. Maybe uh, is their ranking system still built upon light and armor level? Yo, you asking some questions I don't know nothing about, bro. <laughs> That's what I don't maybe think none of us do. It. I don't think none of us. Okay, let me let me move on. I just wanted to put it out there. Uh, uh. Oh, new Gran Turismo trailer came out. Well, the first one. Uh, this is the first official trailer came out. We saw a teaser trailer, and listen. So this looks to be the like the kind of typical underdog story in Gran Turismo about a gamer who plays Gran Turismo and then he's on the path to become an actual uh, racer and you know all the shit he goes through the training and all that stuff but visually and story wise it actually looks this this trailer looked good and I'm not I don't care about Gran Turismo I didn't have any expectations for this I don't think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see this in theaters or nothing I'll probably when it comes out on streaming or some shit, I'll I'll, I'll watch it. But it de- definitely don't look bad at all. Alex, movie guy. I'm gonna say that for the movie guys podcast. Tap in. Nah, I'm trying to steal I, my show. I'm trying to steal the show. I need I need I need your thoughts though. Stop trying to steal the show. I need you. I need your thoughts. Hey, give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. I said I don't Told think me. it looks bad. I'm not watching. I find it funny that you don't you don't care about streaming when it comes to. Sony move on stuff. What? Oh. I said I find it funny that when it comes to now you keep, now you don't mind subscriptions, huh? Uh, it's a subscriptions movie, when it comes to movies. Uh, yeah, I have oh, Netflix, so, 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 HBO whoa, whoa, Max, whoa, whoa. all of that stuff. So, but that's my point. That's my point. Why is subscriptions only good when it comes to? Uh, they're both forms of entertainment, right? Yeah. Right. I don't believe that. And, uh, the I'm, entry, I'm, the entry point. Less, for, the movies. entry point. The entry point's Way not five hundred dollars. That's why. On top, on top of that, it's a movie. You buy it at Best Buy. I, I, I just don't believe in the subscription model when it comes to gaming. That's it. I believe it works why, for movies, why, why music. Why so, so I, hold on, hold on. I got, let me let me answer. Let me answer Uni. Let me let me answer Uni. Uh, when it's you Uni. when you fuck uh, me. Uh, yes, Doctor Umar. So when you when you watch a movie, do they do they charge you per chapter or per or per scene or per effect or do they charge you after you buy the movie? You call my name right. Sp- okay. Say the man's you, name get, right. Say his name, char- Alex. When you watch a movie, do you get charged while you're watching it, or furthermore, after you made that initial purchase? Stop comparing shit to games. Then what the fuck? Next question. That, 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 that didn't make any sense. Answer the question, nigga. It's not hard. Answer you shit, nigga. Fuck you. This is Darcy looking ass nigga getting in his feelings. I'm answering the question. What's the difference from subscription from games and movies? Games is a perpetual service that you can pay for on top of the subscription within the game. Fuck. That's the issue. Not only that is we ass, ne- not only that is we've never seen really a successful subscription service in gaming of any high quality. You yeah. think you think twenty five million isn't isn't um isn't are, are isn't you subscription? are you are you paying are you getting quality games on Game Pass? No, no, that's not that's not what I asked you. You said you have never no, seen that, a successful that, that's that, that's my. Game. That's my argument, though. We've never seen a successful game. I can make the argument. Okay, I can make the argument. You have never that seen gives us anything. quality games. Okay, okay. Here, let me let me let me get you this. I remember when Netflix first started, and it was just a bunch of B tier trash movies on that bitch, and they had to go ahead and and get shit like The Office and other type of shit like they had to get the Marvel stuff and stuff just to fill it out because it was just full of a B B tier bullshit. And then over years, like decades. They built it out with their now original content and that shit came down. And then look at them now. They have 200 million plus things. It's not going to happen overnight, obviously, especially when you're the first people to do it. So for you to say that, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like I said, video games are far more profitable than, than TV shows and movies could ever be. Okay, you know so, what? You need so your more right. expensive I, too. argument. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I can make the you're argument right. that it's a lot easier to make money from the video game subscription than the than the movie subscription because the movies don't get DLCs. The movies no. you can't charge early access. The I movies disagree. don't have microtransactions. The movies don't have what? How do you disagree? What am I saying? Because that's wrong. Movies appeal to more people than video games. 
My uh, mom no, will go out. Okay, my okay, mom that, has a Netflix game? account. My okay. mom will go out and get a Netflix account. Your mom also has Candy Crush. My mom? No, she doesn't. Hey, Bond, there's a reason why your mom would watch Last of Us but not play the game. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Okay, but here's my point. Here's my point. So why is it that, that video games make more money than the movie and the music industry combined? You want to know why? Because okay. two, of the three, two of the three companies actually put out bangers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You well, just a stupid shit. Now, games kind of also cost significantly like, more than music. And, and, and it comes well, with hardware. But they also make significantly more. Like you just said, Rockstar made one game 10 years ago, and they're still making money off that bitch. Yes, because they have DLC. They have perpetual things. That's my like, point. How yeah. many movies do you know that, that, that came out 10 years ago they're still making money off of? I how mean, look, look, how many movies have made as much as Avatar did in that short of time? How many games, I mean? I'm not sure. Like, like, like I said, um, I know um, no. Grand Theft Auto 6 will. The fuck? Look, all, I'm, all, I, all my thing is I don't get into all of that. I just don't like subscription services for gaming because you're paying for a backlog, which I'm not going to play. Like, I feel I'm, like you would like it if it was PlayStation. No. PlayStation no, has a we, subscription service. I, I don't use it. No, but it don't. Every, everybody said that we don't want Sony to do it because then it will lower the quality of games to get dog shit like y'all playing. Well, he's talking. Well, that's day day one. No, but, but, I, but I don't know. I don't know if PlayStation. Was, according to people like you, the quality of game for Xbox was already low before Game Pass. And I don't know. If, blaming it on I, I don't know it's if lower, uh, it's lower now. So it's it's lower than when they didn't have any games at all. Yo, you cannot make it. Let me formulate this so you can understand. Yeah, yeah, please. The quality because of games... Because y'all told me Xbox has no games the last generation. The right? quality of games that Microsoft and Xbox has right now is lower than it's ever been in the history of the brand. That's cap. When was it lower? That's super cap. Because just in 2021, they won Metacritic Publisher of the Year. That's stupid. I don't give a fuck what Metacritic Publisher of the Year you, is. You only care oh, when it's PlayStation. When PlayStation like, yeah, yo, I, I don't give a fuck, give a fuck when, when, I don't give a fuck when Sony or Nintendo I'm makes it. I'm going to play Psychonauts 2. I ain't playing that no, no, trash. No, no, no. Wait, 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 shut the fuck up. Psychonauts 2. Get the fuck out of here. The fucking game is good enough. Yo, you're just here well, talking well, dumb shit well, because well, you, well, you haven't played well, the fucking game. But you're here well, telling me that how the game is trash. Have you played Fire Emblem? No, but I'm not here telling you fine. Have, 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 have you played Xenoblade 2? Yes, motherfucker. Have you, have you played Xenoblade 3? <laughs> no, I haven't. Like, Actually, like, I haven't played it yet, but I have. Like, so like, like, have like, like, these are the points. The like, there's so about. many, there's so what many does that have better. To do with what we're talking about? My point is, there's so many better alternatives. I would not lower myself to play Fire Emblem. Better according to you, you dumb fuck. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's the thing, Uni. It's not according to me. It's according to the industry. Nigga, how do you know Psychonauts 2 is not a better game than Nigga, you know, let, you let, me, let me finish. It's not according to me. It's according to the industry. Because if the industry agreed with you, then Xbox wouldn't be getting laughed and laughed and laughed in sales. But now you care about what the industry says. So, uh, so, so. That's the whole point. I don't care about what the critics say when it comes oh to Oh my god. Look, I don't look, care look. about what the, critics say. About what the critics say. Now you're telling me what you care what the industry says. So who, who's in the industry? Bro, that you're no, talking about? Nobody's talking about Psychonauts talk. I mean, nobody who's in the nobody ever talked about, talking psychonauts. about the shit was, the shit psychonauts. Psychonauts. Do we even ever talk about Psychonauts on Weapon Wheel Podcast? Probably when not, because yes. nobody gives a fuck about we, we I think did. his move song when he goes Psycho Nets. I look, 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 like I said, it's not about PlayStation or Xbox. You know, you know I'm not doing a subscription service yeah. for, for, for nothing. It, e, EA, EA has one. Ubisoft has one. I'm not do, like, like, listen, I've like, look, I could have gotten like Battlefield games for, uh, you know, because, you know, they do the trial or whatever. You could play it for for free or whatever. And listen, with 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 how bad 2042 is, I could have just paid their little subscription and save money. I bought like the hundred dollar edition. I don't care. I just don't like subscription services. You get, you definitely got slutted out for that. Game. Yeah, I did. I did. But you know what? I still even even with that even with that I'm still not I'm still not doing a subscription that, service. Come on. I just find it funny how people all I keep hearing is about frauds that talk about video games that they haven't played. Yet here go this motherfucker here telling you about all Bro, the Xbox games that they've never been, played. 
But now it's okay. I've been, I've, I've been, playing, game. I've been playing games. So now now he depends on the industry to tell him what his Xbox oh game is. Or not. But then when bro, I tell him about you, Metroid, then he says, don't care about bro, Metroid. You need to shut up, first of all. I've been playing games for 30 fucking years. I've been playing games for 34 fucking years. I don't give a fuck. I don't to move on. Psychonauts is such a good game. Microsoft basically had to buy them up because they couldn't get the funding to fucking make a second game because nobody gave a fuck about the first game. The fuck out of here. In a land where Nintendo and Sony and so many other developers are actually making bangers and quality games, my ultimate point is this. Psychonauts 2 ain't moving the needle. You want to talk about a subscription service? Fine. Show me the subscription service that's coming out with Xenoblade, that's coming out with Fire Emblem, that's coming out with None. Zelda, that's coming out with God of War, that's coming out with Spider-Man, that's coming out with Ghost Show me that subscription service. It does not exist. Did Xenoblade sell 20 million copies? No, but I bet you it sold more than Psychonauts. But my whole, my, 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 my whole point is this. If you want to say subscription ser- services, bring quality games, fine. Show me a subscription ser- service that gives you games on that level or close to the games I just listed. What is like not do a, what yeah, like not do a Kickstarter game? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was a Kickstarter game. It was Kickstarter. a Kickstarter. You know, all these games that you talk about, they're bangers all on a fucking subscription, you dumbass. They, are, are you dumb? They went. What do you mean, I'm not dumb? If they're, they're not oh on the subscription. What do you call it? Bro. They, 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 what do you call they, that? They went to the subscription service. They weren't created. But, my point, but they're on there, right? They won. They're on there. All these Xbox games never hit retail. Really, they go straight. You're talking about into Xbox games, but you haven't fast. fucking played. You oh. haven't played them. You're a fucking <laughs> fraud. Are, are, are you? Are you listening? You are, are you? Are you are you watch them on YouTube? Oh my God! What are you talking about? Did you play TV? You are, not, you are not from St. Thomas. You are a disgraced island. Get the fuck I've never out. Played it. Get, <laughs> out. Get, played shit. get out. Get out. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. I'm going to call, 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 call my uncle. I'm calling my uncle right now to find you, and they're going to deport you off the island. No. Ratchet and oh, Clank dude. did not. What the Ratchet, fuck? Ratchet and Clank get did out. not launch on get any out. subscription <laughs> service. Get out. Ratchet and none of those games I hey, listed. Like a dump, so launch, you know, they did not launch on no AJ. subscription service. Was, y'all, you think, you, y'all always want to talk about these subscription services. This day, nobody really cares. You think yeah. Bond Thumb touched the top of his ass when he said "get out"? Let me know when y'all ready to move on. BG, my fuck? BG, my la- my last point on this overall is if someone if, if Game Pass was so good and everybody yeah. wanted Game Pass, they wouldn't be trying to give this shit away every way fucking possible. Um, they, 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 but they, it they, is that good. They discount Game Pass more than a fucking cheap OnlyFans ho. This, this, by the way, this, wait, wait, this, wait, wait, this, what this, you say about Krispy Kreme donuts? And anytime you take a survey, you get a free dozen. Oh, I'm just disgusting. Know, Krispy Kreme is nasty. That's besides I'm the point. Krispy Kreme nah, to Game Pass? You be in BG? Krispy Kreme is good. Krispy Kreme is disgusting. When they compare Netflix to Game Pass, he might I don't, do But I don't like donuts in general. Yeah. I think donuts are gross. But that's I'm true. about to say, for you to say Krispy Kreme is disgusting, I don't know what donuts you eat. And I don't like donuts in general, so I'm biased. is way better than Krispy Kreme's. Bro, if you eat donuts, Man. period, you got issues. I think, uh, listen, I, I'm not the healthiest guy, no. but I think donuts are like the the probably probably one of the worst things you could possibly eat on planet Earth. Like, we we saw your stomach on that Creed stream. Next topic. Yeah, oh, you want to see my nuts too, nigga? Oh, 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 oh yeah, what? yeah, throw you off, yeah. Hey, Reba, that's, that's, yeah. that's what they call that's what they call it. All right. Um, like, all right. Box tail, you beat me, free game. All right, so that originally, by the way, started with a as as a Gran Turismo trailer. Um, you gotta let but, people argue, man. What's wrong? With I you? mean, I did, I did. I let I'm, them go. I'm not satisfied. I think they had some more in the tub. Oh, you're not speak, satisfied? Speak, okay. Speaking of the Gran Turismo trailer, I heard uh, Sony's making a um, Twisted Metal series. Well, yeah, that was established Ooh, a while that was ago. Topic last so, uh, week. Yeah, we spoke about that last week. And you know, uh, Nintendo is about to rank in a cool billion with the Mario. I mean, what is Sony? Make? I mean, what is uh, Microsoft making besides right, shit ass? All right, Bond, we're gonna get oh, to man. it soon. Let's 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 move on. Okay, uh, those, so those are my thoughts. Your mom, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need to know, nigga. Where did this animosity come from? 
the the animosity. You were the one up there acting. Where's Microsoft? Like fuck your mom, nigga. Oh, so I know you got no. Hold dick, on, right? hold on. I know it's your you, mom that they. You, fuck. you, you were you literally me. up. You were literally up in the spaces, out, acting like Malcolm X, bot. And he's talking about Malcolm X, bot. That was my. You was the one to talk about. You the one to talk about. Malcolm X, bot. You talking about Malcolm X? That's crazy. Can't hear anybody. One at a time. Yo, did you uh, see that video that Tony uploaded on you? Oh Are you God. going crazy and going psychotic? Going why doesn't he care what you say? Why does he care what I say? I mean, exactly. he's the, he's so the one exactly. that... He's, all of these hours that you be on this podcast and nobody give a fuck he's what the you one, say. He's the one, one that agrees with me. Agree with me. I mean... I mean, my my last video made eight thousand, made eight thousand, five thousand. So people from, definitely from, have to from, agree with me. Where's that? Where's your? Where's your? Where's your? Where's your? At the end of the day, nobody. I've never heard one person say, "Man, I'm going to weapons with the listen to Bob." Yo, oh, you did? Oh, you did? Oh, you did? 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 Why don't, why don't you try it on your own? And see? Why don't I'm the you least. From the, I'm the least. I'm, I'm the least important person on this podcast. I just want to say that I'm the least important. person. Why? Look at me just trying to fish for compliments. I'm not cute. I'm not cute. I'm the least important person on this podcast. I know that. I'm fine with that though. Look at BG. this nigga, bro. BG, why, why are you bringing a liar into the podcast? Because the super oh, chats God. before the show said that they were ready to hear my opinion, but apparently mm. this. Apparently, this clown from the down can't can't accept <laughs> facts. A, 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 clown a clown down. A clown down. A clown down. I mean, come on, bro. Don't be coming up here lying when what people are fuck? in the chats and people are in the super chats paying to come see this shit. When people are in the comment sections. Oh, Bond's rants are fire. I can't wait for Bond. This is going to be a great episode. Ah, Bond, ah, what, what, yeah. What is your YouTube? From the, what, what is your YouTube? <laughs> Where's your get... podcast? Yeah, yeah, we on epi- we on episode. Now we get we get a BG file back. Yeah, we, oh, on we, episode, we on we. episode three sixty four here. What episode we. are you on on your we, YouTube channel? You didn't start channel. shit, nigga. You just got invited here. Oh, nigga, I, 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 the fuck guess are you what? talking about? I've been, here since, I've, been, like anything, uh, I've been here since episode one. I restored peace in the Discord. I'm the one that helps make big decisions here. A, a lot of this shit decision. happens because of me. Now, like just, because, down. just because <laughs> nobody cares about you and nobody wants you to make a YouTube channel and nobody listens to you outside of wanting to laugh at you, you little Malcolm Xbox hey, fans, yeah, yeah, don't yeah, be yeah, upset listen, about listen, me. You're the, one, listen, you, I'm not I'm not, you're the one complaining about you're Phil Spencer. You don't need to. I I, like I'm, you. I'm a coon. You think you, you hold up? Shut you the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm a coon, but you be licking the, the ass. Up, you know, yeah, I know it hurts. Right, it hurts. The two hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hey, does you hurt. You got no games. Hey, Uni, you what's, no your game? what's your game? What's your gamer tag, Uni? Yeah, well, yo, he won't show you. He won't show you. Can we get to games now? Shut up, man. He won't show you his gamer tags. I don't play games because I don't play games with fuck niggas. Yo, you don't play games. I'm a coon. Oh, you don't play games. I am a weirdo. You be licking a white man's ass. You be loving Phil Spencer. All right, all right, kill. Let's get to games now. All right, let's get to games. Let's get to games. Let's get to games. Let's get to games. Why don't you cuck and sit more for Saturday? Can we get to games? Why don't we hold on? Games. That's why you yeah, I'm a weirdo. I mean, it hurts. That's why that's why you got a weirdo, oh, nigga. Poker, right? Yeah, that's why you games. got oh, my black one, cool, nigga. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right, yeah. all right, games. Yeah. All right. Right. Jack, stop being toxic. You're like you're like Emperor Palpatine right now, Jack. What is wrong with you? Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Simmer down. These men in here talking, they they said they were Jack is definitely Emperor you a beautiful black queen, Mocha. Yeah, she ain't give a fuck about that clown. She ain't give a fuck about that clown. Please don't tell Bond to do that. Please don't tell Bond to do that. These are some premium clowns we hear. This is some premium clowns we hear. Can we please get to gaming now? Please. Listen. Hey, PG, I'm going to knock you out on Creed again. Shut up, bro. We trying to hear it, bro. PG, I would like to get in the game, but these niggas got gaming platforms that don't got games. All right. I mean... 
I mean, Uni, Uni did say he would reveal his gamer tag once uh, MGB would reveal his PSN. Who gives account. a fuck about MGB? And, and, and what about his gender? Crazy, That's what I'm right? Exactly. It's, 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 it's crazy, right? It's, it's, it's the funny thing is to me is how upset this man gets, and he's, he's talking about you got a company that don't get as if you dissing Xbox somehow hurts my feelings. I don't give a fuck. You were like, crying weirdo. all week on Twitter. I was you crying, crying all week on Twitter. All week on Twitter. Look, if I like go to your Twitter right now and I scroll down it, I can find all your tweets. When you're being mad and upset. Y'all were just agreeing about everything before. Y'all was Y'all was agreeing about everything before. What happened? He got, pride pride because, because, you know, uh, he got his pride hurt. You know, because he got his pride hurt over Psycho Trash. Mm. Ain't nobody and give it, a fuck about that game. This shit was lit. Really you you want to read? Some I mean, that was this shit was lit. That game was his Abby for the longest time. All right, I got to yeah. read some super chats. That's now y'all have to be quiet because the the payers, the payers the are payers. speaking. The payers are speaking. Oh yeah. I, I'm I'm a lot I'm of like these dudes are fans of used uni. I'm I'm like PlayStation. I listen to the payers. Okay. So let's the get payers. to them. the PlayStation for the payers. Yes, sir. Um, for the payers of players. Thank, thank you for that spirited, uh, civilized, you know, argument, gentlemen. You, you, you man, you men are men of men of class. Uh, I'd you know, say. You know l- love both of y'all to death. Okay. Oh, gosh, damn. So, god damn. See, so y'all see two niggas fighting, and the y'all goes just go crazy with the super chats. I see. Okay. All right. Of course. Do you know that was gonna happen when you invite you on the podcast? No, I didn't. Uh, that's not. Yo, BG, niggas spend fifty dollars to tell you kick me out, and it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it happened last niggas. time he was here. Yeah, yeah like these niggas were all the same. Like, hey, spend, spend, spend BG all the money. Tell BG to do whatever. Go ahead, knock him, knock yourself out. Knock all right. yourself out. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm I'm finding where I where I left off. Okay, got it. All right, uh, shot red five five five. Let the man bond cook with the extra content, okay? Mm. D- DJ Smith, Jack move. This man BG has been using that love him to death into the ground, bro. Hey man, they they use every they abuse everything else in here. Hey man, get me say take him out, DJ man. Shit crazy. Jack is uh, Jack is definitely a trendsetter when it comes to sayings in the community. He, hey, started, man, uh, like he started brother. He started uh, what else? He I, started? St- I, I started get, love him to death. I don't get my flowers, man. But Google. Jack, did you start corporate slaves? No, sir. Mm. No, sorry. Anyway, D okay, DC Gaming. Uni about to get those bars off. Today people will be surprised. Okay. Uh last said it took two years for a new dashboard. Um Andrew Wilkins said Xbox Uni isn't the stereotypical black Xbox fan anymore. Smooth, uh, why did Smooth, why did you buy cookie? Why did you buy a cookie from Destin? That guy looks unsanitary. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good question. Oh, wow. But I was hungry as shit when I was saw like, were, they, were, they, were they good? Yeah, they were pretty good. Okay. Did you have a weird bump on your tongue when you woke up the next morning? Ew, what? Wow. 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 No, I didn't. Thank you. Oh, what'd you do with the birthday money I sent you, Smooth? Uh, it's still sitting there. Damn, okay. This, 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 this little... All right, uh, are you black? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Smooth, I, I ask him that every. I ask him that every Sunday. He just want to make sure boy call you a nigga. Oh yeah. Oh my god. He said him up. He on his podcast every week with you. He like, yo, what? What are you? Like, sent me three fucking dollars. <laughs> hey, that's, hey, that's more than it. He could have sent you nothing. Hey, 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 Bond taking. Can't afford to send three dollars to myself. This the crazy part. Bond taking money from you. I put some in your pocket and I'm and I'm ostracized. You got it, bro. You got I'm a I'm gonna throw a little bit more money. Uh, I, um, my, I'm gonna put my personal money in the in the Patreon money that I send you uh, tomorrow's move. So I, that'll be for your birthday. Smooth, make sure. Smooth, you smooth, make sure. See, move. Make sure I get my money from tomorrow, please. You just said you weren't going to. What are you being an Indian giver? No, I said you had to publicly denounce your sugar daddy, Phil Spencer. Smooth, I, smooth. I don't know if you can say Indian giver with uh, your recent comments. I don't know if you can say that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh what was yeah. that? <sighs> it, it might be I racist. Was... I don't know. It might. Are you going to publicly denounce your sugar daddy, Phil Spencer? Smooth. I, for me to do that, I would have to admit that he's a sugar daddy, and I'm not willing to do that. Okay, so do what you right, well, send by this fucking game, then, man. Simple. All right, uh, septic sauce, which is that's gas, I believe it is. He said, "Have faith in in Phyllis Maximus Spencer." 
<laughs> Appreciate that. Um, uh, Marius o- Ovidu said, yo, this is my first dono. Been watching since E3 2022. And I got to say, you guys are the funniest gaming podcast on all of YouTube. BG, the realest on the podcast, though. Oh, appreciate that. Mm. Hey, man, keep them donations to yourself, brother. <laughs> Let that be the uh, first and last, motherfucker. All right. Roy said, I will watch the pod later. Spending quality time with my black queen. Fire. Just wanted, just wanted to let uh, the world know that Xbox Uni is the best new Xbox personality. Hashtag my goat. See, Xbox, Uni got fans. So why the fuck they not praising Bond? Bond been here since oh, Xbox One. Hey, well, here we go. Why did I hear for you? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. Why did I hear for you, you fucking weirdo? This you man did goon? not. I know you get mad because he just said people are a black queen, and I pissed you the fuck off. So at the end yeah. of the day, I'm going to let you know me off that you're a social you know, reject version. You just and mad that my uncle's the fucking governor of the islands and your shit family's doing nothing. Mm. What? Uh-oh. Man, you fucking what? heard me. Let's not talk yeah, about families. When's your dad, when's your, when's your fucking family become the governor? When's your fucking yeah, family on the islands? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, yeah, it. that's what, right. What islands? What islands are you talking about, motherfucker? Nigga, the one? governor of the governor is the Virgin Islands. That's Croy, Thomas, and John. The Virgin Islands. Ooh. Oh my God. You fucking. That, that, that would be the U.S. Virgin Islands. Y'all who shouldn't be talking. To... Who, 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 oh, who like, like Buster Rounds more? Who like Buster Rounds more? Y'all shouldn't be talking to each other like this. Y'all could be cousins. And... We could be. Fucking climb up in the This nigga, this nigga's mad as fuck because he gets. I'm not mad, nigga. Nigga, you try to simp. You try to simp online for all these girls. You got pussy today, really? really? You exactly. bragged about hey. pussy? Cool. Oh, 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 oh you uh, bragged about you bragged about Phil Spencer. Mm, yeah, hmm. my girl. My girl. You bragging about? My, 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 so girlfriend, even, my girlfriend left her out today, but that's cool by you. I gotta read the super chat. I gotta read the super chat. I gotta read the super chats. You fucking heard me. I got. I gotta read the super chats. BG, read them. Stand down. Stand down. Jeff D said, trust the process. OBJ Jr. Thank you, Jeff D. Uh, OBJ Jr. said, smooth. Jay Bari said, you are going to apologize to Khan. Smooth. Are you, have you come to your senses this week? Probably not, right? You're not, you're not taking anything uh-huh. back. No. I, okay. <laughs> all right. Just, all right. I was going to apologize. All right. All right. Let me move on. I don't want to, I want to linger on that. Um, uni had a question about that too, though, smooth. Oh, Lord. Okay. So uni, did you want to say something about smooth about his comments about Lena Khan? I just want to know why you could um, apologize to, to the catfish more at least for telling her a foot big, but you can't apologize for this. Oh, my God. Which one is more, you know, those hands? Oh, that, oh that, no, because here's the care. thing. Before, be, be, all right, no, I'll explain. I, that's easy to explain. So before my um, wife um, found out what was going on, my wife didn't like what I said. So she was the one to, to tell me like I should apologize. And then word came out that, you know, she was catfishing. So that's why the apology came out. Now, I didn't apologize after she was catfish. I apologized, you know, maybe I think maybe 18 hours after uh, saying she had big feet or elephant feet or something <laughs> like that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that was because my wife said it. My wife didn't ask me to apologize to Lena Khan because she didn't think what I said was wrong. I asked a, you know, a sincere question. So your wife saw her nose too and was like, well, baby, you got a point. Well, shout out to your wife. Uh, let's I'll move leave on. that woman alone. Yeah, let's move on. Um, let's see, where was I? Okay, DJ, no, actually Thumb Thumb said, at this point, <laughs> rooting, Thumb Thumbs said, uh, at this point, rooting for Xbox is like rooting for the Titanic to make a comeback. Oh, man. Facts. Uh, v- Vernon Houston, I agree with Thumbs. Uh, DJ Smith, BG and the Broken Monitor by J.K. Rowland. Oh, brother. Oh, I uh, like that. <laughs> OB- OBJ Jr., Harry Potter game, just like for Spoken, and BG gives for Spoken no chance. BG is a r- racist against his own kind. Bruh, for Spoken's mm. garbage. Stop this. <laughs> Uh, can, we, can, we, can we get over for spoken and especially Returnal? Like these games are not hitting like y'all yeah, be saying they are. Yeah, yeah, y'all gotta stop dying on this island for those uh for those games. Uh, JoJo, movies aren't 40 hours like games. That was going back to y'all little argument. We're not gonna get back into that though. Uh Dope is J. Uni calling Bond a fraud is ironic when he hides his gamer tag. Stop the cap, get this panhandler out of here. Why y'all start? Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, shit. Sorry. Uni, I'm, a, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm gonna give you. You can respond because that's only fair. How do I have my gamer tag and I do community nights? 
I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Eunice Gamer Tab before. Yeah, you did like, like, but this is the weirdos that y'all have in this fucking man. Yo, man, you like a picture of like, like a, a picture show, of like a Sasquatch, like, like a whole clown show. Like, why am I giving my fucking gamer tag to a bitch like Bon who not who I don't want to play or do Ooh. anything with? Ooh, Fuck man. that nigga. <laughs> you probably trash it any all games anyway. Mm. But I you're more it. than welcome. You're more than welcome to come see me in Street Fighter Six when it comes out. Oh, brother. Okay. Um, and you imagine every bitch, nigga. My ima- oh, you mean my girlfriend? Oh, that's right. Where's your girlfriend? Oh, that's hey. right. You bra- you bragging about ass, but you ain't got no girlfriend. Quite a lot about it. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Oh, come on, bro. You bragging about ass? Can, come on, come on, can, bro. Please. Can, can, can I? Please I, stop, I can please, please stop, bro. I gotta read. I gotta read. Um, what the? Uh, oh, bruh, Vernon, Vernon, bro, Vernon bro, Houston. Bro. Vernon Houston. How does Bond come up with these names, bruh? <laughs> Uh, Miles, I don't know, man. Miles, shout out to the 1K viewers. Get them donations up. Yeah, shout out to the 1K viewers. Please hit the like button. Appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah. Um, Jeeves, Xbox exclusive excuses. Okay. Mm. Don Donnell Brown. Oh God damn, it's a lot of. Okay. Donnell Brown. If I get money, what the fuck? No, because we got we got we got to get to some Are you other shit. Fan? You fuck with these topics, man. Hey Jack, he'll be fanning himself with the money. Like, oh my Jack, god, it's so I, this is this is still a gaming podcast. Some of my be like, man, I'm getting too many donations. Man, y'all cut it out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we still got to get. I'm gonna shoot the fuck out, BG. I'm gonna read all of them. I'm gonna read all of them. Are you a general of the island? I'm gonna need to see the analytics on how much your donation spike when I come on this show. See, see, Uni can brag about that. Uni can brag about that. No, I'm not. Listen, I told you. I told Uni he could come on when Redfield comes on way before it got a bad score. I you actually thought it was going to You can't even say the right name, Redfield. You got it. What did I say? Oh, Redfield. 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 I, I oh, thought it was going to get a decent score. So I told him to come on way no, before I, this whole I, shit comes I, I, out. You said this nigga. I, I thought it was going to get like a 68 to 72. I literally put that. Because like I said, what I was hearing behind the scenes, the people who playing it, they was like, bro, this ain't it. I was like, you capping. He's like, nah. Like, my niggas was like, nah, this ain't it. Uh, this ain't it. Because like, yeah, you have frauds like Cole, Cole Eastwood, our people getting flown out, being dishonest. Donnell Brown hey, said, Donnell Brown said, I agree with everything Bond says in BG, let Bond cook. Hola, mm. mocha, hola mocha. He said, Uni, this isn't one of your Twitter spaces. Uh, R- RGT, 85 shots, RGT. He said, uh, let them cook. Facts. I'm, try- I'm trying to give y'all a little time to cook, but y- y'all can't cook, you know. The whole podcast, man. Rye Star ninety four. Uh, he said, "Get those likes up." And um, listen, I'm gonna get to the rest of these super chats soon. I, pro- I promise y'all. But I want to. Oh, I want to read through them real quick. Oh just my go. god. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll keep going. I'll, I'll keep going. Stuart uh, Stuart Stokes. Uni trying to find the button to mute Bond. This isn't one of your spaces where you pretend to be God. Mm. <sighs> y'all all um, know about my spaces, no bitch. I don't know who the fuck you are. Though. Fire okay. through, BG. Hola Mocha 17, BG, kick Uni out. He's toxic, X-Bot, no one wants to listen to him. Clearly that's not true. I mean, I'm just saying. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, clearly, obviously, obviously, they, they don't live in reality. They live in the same dimension that Bond lives in. Mm. The, the dimension of facts and video the games? Oh, what the fuck? Listen, the dimension I, of incels, bitch. A, a lot of incels. <laughs> listen. talking about getting ass, but calling me an incel. Let's go. Uh, uh, listen, a lot of y'all may not like well, Uni, man. but y'all are here. He has audience power. He has drawing power. I mean, y'all can't take that from the man. It's it's true. Y'all y'all be y'all here to hear him clearly. So, um, okay. TJ says PS Plus got more games than Game Pass. Make it make sense. Let Bond continue to cook. I don't know if that's true or not. I have no idea. Um, yeah, overall, it has more games, but it's like older games. Xbox Game Pass typically gets current games. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. These are the same people that told us that they don't buy PS5 for, for old games. Now they're bragging about the old and games. And these are also the same people that don't want game subscription services. So I'm, yeah, I'm surprised they even about know. PS5. Exactly. Like, he's weird, but man. The problem yeah, is, uh, if you look at the sales charts and the numbers, who's at the top? Okay. Um, Nintendo. There you go. I don't play sales. I play games. I'm just saying, if you want to talk about what people <laughs> care about, you got to go by actual metrics. Okay. 
Titan said, this is the content I pay for. Keep up the good work. All right. Uh, thank you. Oh, um, <laughs> ho, ho, that's that's what you pay for. Hustle and motivate. Shout out to you. Uh, Bond cooking right now. Okay. Um, CMD, CMD Chalupa Batman said, uh, let them cook. That's a crazy name. Miles said, streets need to hear OBJ versus, oh, versus Uni. That, that would be a screaming hey, match. That would be ridiculous. Sorry, it happened. Yo, oh, it did. Yeah, it, that yeah. would be a laugh. It happened in my half. spaces. Oh. It happened. It happened in my spaces yeah, like a year the, ago. Oh, really? It won about days gone. Yeah, that happened yeah. like a year ago. Um, another, hey, what happened that video, BG? I don't know. Okay, an another mid game days gone. Yeah. Uh, Sanu dot com. True. I hear somebody's background TV. I think that's smooth. Um, Sanu dot com. True story. Unis. Y'all gotta stop talking about people, parents, and family, bro. Huh? Uh, Uni's mom bought his ex. You got a lot of just, weirdos. Just skip it. Just, just skip it, then. Like, just skip it, BG. It, it, it. Like a, a full, you literally have a circus here, BG. You're a, you're a ringmaster in this bitch. Oh, man. But it's okay, though. You I see it. I, I can't control the audience, unfortunately. I mean, he, he actually, he didn't say nothing crazy about your mother. He just said your mother bought your Xbox by mistake. I don't think it's the worst. Um, okay. Techman seven seven one. I can't wait for Bond to cook once the Phil Spencer topic comes up. Uh, okay, oh, appreciate that. Really? Mafia they really want me to cook. Mafia Quad. I love Weapon Wheel Podcast. Viewmaster six one seven. Uni. You. He's at Uni. Are you in love with the Coco? Great song. <laughs> um. Thanks. Fair is the greatest motivator. Hey Bond. How do? You, how do I game? How do I game white women? <laughs> I've I bagged Asian and black, but white women are elusive. Any tips? This nigga's the great white woman catcher or something. The fuck? What the fuck? You just gotta put a bowl of milk outside your front door. They should lead a email. <laughs> so they fucking man. cats. He he would ask the coon that question. Here we go. What did Doctor Umar say? Uh, white puppies or whatever? Or don't, don't play know. in the milk. Don't play in the milk. Yeah, he said something wild that was funny as shit. Yeah. About the no bus driver girl. Oh, Ebony K. Williams, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm almost done. After this list is done, we're getting we're we're getting to the shits. Uh Eric did the most donation. Oh, for real? Um weapons we got all oh, yeah. I wonder why. Hmm. But then we got one more topic before that. Why? Because because you mean, I, no, the bond is here. You're right. That's what it is. Yeah, it happened because yeah, yeah. I changed the format three weeks ago. This instead, oh, did, instead huh? oh yes, I did. Instead of having all the super <laughs> chat, instead of having all the super <laughs> chats at the end, I said let's do it live in the show. Or did I not, Jack? You did. Thank oh yeah, you. that's what caused it. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, My bad. Go ahead. You're, 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 you're welcome, Jack. Oh, oh Thank God. You, um, Eric eighty three. How about them? How about them Lakers? Malcolm X Bot, aka Uni. Okay. Um, and Bandai ten eighty i. Those donations got BG stressing about reading. Oh, you're hilarious, brother. You know, good one. Good one. You you got me. You got that me. Was pretty good. That was King pretty good. Kiso, just donating because everyone else is. Hey, I can't hate. Hey, that's how it worked. That's how it worked. Don't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jack, you're welcome. Thank, um, thank you, Bob. Iman two five three seven. I couldn't be disrespected by a the emoji didn't show up. It's just a square by a square that. Oh, okay. It, it, yeah, on my screen it didn't show up by a by a ninja that uh, that rollerblades. He's talking about you, Bon. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> I mean, it's not it's not my fault. He can't afford a three hundred forty dollar pair. Oh, what is what's the model for those again? Oh, Which shut up, XP? Alex. He said uh, double twin boost. The cycle for 3,000. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Shit costs almost as much as your Xbox. Oh, God. Hola Mocha. I forgot Uni was coming. I came for Bond versus Move. Well, you might get that, mm. too. Um, Tarek Ahmed, Xbox Uni sounds like Scotty in four years. Who's Scotty? Come, come on, bro. Oh, whoa. Hey, that's From home the Discord? Business. That's home yeah. based business. Okay, I, I don't, I'm not, no, I don't get, no. Uh, Evan, Evan McGetrick, all Xbox needs is linear third-person adventure games because that's all PlayStation has, but Little Phil can't figure it out. Little Phil, that's what y'all name him now? That's crazy. Little Phil. 
AM one two three. I'm oiled up for this podcast. Well, huh? Well, that's one. That's one of your viewers, BG. That's one of your viewers. No, that's that. That's a bond fan. It might be. Nah. Okay. L last one. A uh, AK Game Star one three seven. I need uni universe bond one v one next episode. Oh lord. All right. So that's that's all of them for now. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get um right into well let's talk about Redfall. Here's here's how I want to do this. Okay, so we're gonna get into Redfall and then you know the Phil Spencer kind of funny interview. Um, I Bond, do you want to do a rant first because I have all the major no, uh, quotes uh, uh, that Phil I'm, Spencer I'm, I'm said gonna, and I want to go I'm, through them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go last. But okay, you'll one go thing last. I, one thing I had to do I have to say about Redfall, right? I find it funny how people say I don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't played a game even though I've been gaming for 30, 40 years, right? If my views and opinions were so outlandish, even on games I haven't played, how the fuck would I have robbed this nigga smooth of $3,080? What person can't be right that many times unless you literally know what you're talking about? Simple. Smooth as an idiot. No, no, disrespect, no disrespect. No offense. What'd you, what'd you say? <laughs> I said smooth as an idiot. No offense, oh, oh, well, yeah. no, this is, I mean, like, like, come on, like, BG even said this a while ago. We've been gaming so long now at this point. We've seen everything. We've done everything. Nothing can be called new, pretty much. There's no such thing as innovation. I mean, like, if somebody played Far Cry 6 for the first time, they might think it's amazing. After fucking five times playing it in all these Ubisoft games, we don't care. At this stage of the game, when you're this old and this much experience, you don't need to play every game. There's such thing as the eye test. BG, I want to, I want to take this time. Yeah, you definitely won. Okay. Psychonauts top of the charts. So real, real quick, Uni. Um, let me just. Uh, so Redfall came out. Game is by all, by most accounts, bad. Currently oh. sitting at a 59 on Metacritic, I believe now. <laughs> it, 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 it was at like a 64 for a while, but now it's at a 59. Uh yeah. Um, take go ahead, Uni. You you could go get get. First thing get, first. Get first thing off. first. We need to talk about first of all, niggas in RK need to be fired. That Harvey nigga, he needs to be out of here. He gotta go. He gotta go because there's so many things that wrong with this Redfall release. Like like let's start with the marketing. Sixty frame per second. They shoot that shit all the time. No, let's, let's go back. Let's, let's go back to 2021. They had the audacity, the nerve, the gumption. To end their fucking choking with Redfall as a one more thing. Think about that. They said one more thing for Redfall as if, like, when, when Nintendo says one more thing, they, they bring out Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They bring out um, the Tears of the Kingdom. When Sony says one more thing, they bring out fucking um, The Last of Us 2 or God of War Ragnarok. Microsoft said one more thing, they brought out a 59 Metacritic game. Think about how ridiculous that is. Like, like who, whoever is in charge, and like I said, this isn't the first time. With the Craig, the Craig debacle with the Halo Infinite, the first question was, who the fuck saw this and didn't, I thought this was acceptable to put out? The, all the popping, all the Craigs and, and the, the terrible um, textures and shit. So that obviously means either niggas at Microsoft are blind or they don't give a fuck. That's the only two options. Because they don't give a flying fuck. And that's why I'm, I, like I tell these niggas, these quote-unquote X-Bots. And it'd be funny when niggas call me an X-Bot because the X-Bots are calling me a opponent. Like, you can't even be a real nigga in, in, the, in these conversations because I'm supposed to lie and cap for a $2 trillion company. Ain't no motherfucking way. Phil Spencer, like I told them already, I'm going to let him slide, but it's Starfield in a masterpiece. He got to fucking go. It's been 10 fucking years. And I'm so sick of these dudes that, 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 that try to protect Microsoft more than they protect their own fucking kids. They worry about Phil Spencer more than they worry about their own fucking dad. And it's like, bro, Phil Spencer will be all right. He makes seven figures. That nigga said he's overpaid. That's the, the, that's the truest shit to me. That's the truest shit that nigga said all fucking day. He's, the mo he's overpaid. Because this nigga really tried to... Oh, no, we didn't get into that yet. Anyway, but with the Redfall, the problem that I have is that when you, get, when you play the game, right? So when you jump in the game, you see that this game looks like a, like a 360 game. Like an Xbox One game that came out in 2020, 2013. And they got the audacity to charge $70 for it. They didn't say, you know what, let's go charge $40 for it. Or let's go charge $50. They had the balls to charge $70 and got niggas for the $70, for the $100 bike back edition. And then they got on this bitch and they had the nerve to only send out the review code one day before the game dropped. On some sneaky shit. 
on some grindy shit. So mm-hmm. niggas who pre-order the shit don't have a chance to, to, to cancel those pre-orders. You can't. And that's why I told y'all, don't trust any of these fucking companies. And my point is, this is embarrassing. They let niggas wait for 18 months. Remember the last AAA game? And I don't give a fuck about any Xbox talk about, but look at Half of Rush. Half of Rush was a great game. It was eight hours long. It's an indie. Nobody buys consoles for indie. Matter of fact, the same niggas who talking about High Five Rush was calling PlayStation and PlayStation, the indie station, last generation, at the beginning of last generation. So indies was bad then, but now it's great now. And I, no, 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 no. Like, when you buy a, a console, you buy it for big games, blockbusters. When you go to the movies, you don't go to the movies to watch some shit and some nigga recorded on his phone. You doesn't go there to that, watch some... Doesn't that, like, literally contradict the whole thing you were talking about, Alex and Netflix and everything? No. That's not, no. Because here's my point. But just let him finish, man. Or with indie games and Psychonauts, where you said nobody buys consoles for small games, they want the big hitters? Again... Can I finish or you know, go ahead? Let, go yeah, ahead. just let him finish. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the fuck. Anyway, but my point is, like I said, nothing's wrong with having great indies or great third party games. But it's the cake, like I keep telling people, the cake is the first party AAA exclusive. That's the cake, and you can try to pretend that that's not, not the cake. But you know what? Women line, men line numbers though. The PlayStation is outselling for Xbox right now, four to one. That's not by mistake. That's not, that's not by that's by design. Because Phil Spencer's out here talking shit like you don't need good games. And the, the crazy part about it is, the audacity, they should have canceled this game. But no, they had it up in front talking about one more thing. And then they, they delayed it a whole year. And then I had the space last year where I was calling them out. And remember, all the Xbox went crazy. I lost hundreds of followers. I got kicked out of my uh, thing. They're like, oh, you, you being crazy. Oh, this is going to make the game better. What's wrong with them delaying the game to make the game better? It's a 59. They delayed it a whole year to bring it out like, as a 50 fucking nine. And there's still niggas on this app coping on Twitter, just coping, crying out. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? What? Now nah, it's a great game. It's fun. I'm like, y'all think fuck you want to get a little bit closer to your mic? You, you sound like you a little oh, echo bathroom. He threw his phone down the hallway. No, <laughs> is it better? Uh, yeah, there was just a little bit of echo. Yeah, yeah. no, I was saying these niggas are talking about first phone. Yeah, what's that noise? That's 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 um, mine. Yeah, I think so that's that's smooth. It's yeah, but me. no, I'm saying these niggas, like yeah, I said, these niggas were just making fun of for spoken. And this is the thing that really drives my gear. All the Xbox fans had no problem with Metacritic when Xbox was winning Metacritic publisher of the year. Then all the critics knew what they were talking about. Now, when the critics rightfully so called Redfall trash, now the critics are biased. Now they don't want it. I can't play these little stupid games with these fucking weirdos, these fucking fanboys. Like I tell niggas. If I'm an Xbox, I don't know what an Xbox is. Because I prefer Xbox, obviously. It's my main console. But I'm not going to lie. I don't only have an Xbox. I have a PS5. I have a Switch. Like, I'm not about to sit there and, and, and depend on Microsoft. Because Microsoft is undependable. Like, and like they, they are just ridiculous. And the fact that they, they even push this game out. The fact that they had the audacity to come out. And then Phil Spencer want to come out and, and talk like a beta male cuck on the fucking interview. And no disrespect to Phil, because I like Phil. But this is ridiculous. Like at the end of the day, you know what Sony's doing right now? We just got news today that Sony, um, they, they um, just called and said that Sony wants to secure the, the rights to Konami titles like Metal Gear and, uh, and, and Silent Hill and all of this shit for free. I'm like, why Microsoft couldn't do it? Come on, either. Like, the first thing they talk to do is cope and say, well, they're more interested in that position. Why can't they do both? Why is it that you are okay with them not giving you shit since Halo Infinite? Halo Infinite launched. Literally without forge and a half bait. Then they told you wait 18 months, a whole year and a half to get a new AAA exclusive, and it comes out at a 59, and y'all are coping, acting like that is okay. It's not okay. Phil Spencer is not like Phil Spencer is not Jesus Christ. Like the the, the, the worship, the the, the 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 plastic worship, the corporation worship is ridiculous. And and the, another thing, the bond actually made sense. One thing he made sense about today. Is when he said the influencers that got flued out like Instagram thoughts. Like, y'all got flued out like Instagram thoughts out there to preview this game, and y'all came back with nothing but positive intentions. Oh, it's positive. Oh, it's a great game. A month later, now it's a trash game. I don't know what, like, you see, you can't trust these fucking weirdos, bro. And that's why I keep telling y'all niggas, like, I don't But you were saying niggas. the same thing, though. How the fuck would I say that I got flued out? Look, I'm looking at some of your tweets. You saying the reason I have so much faith in Redfall is simply because Arcane Studios don't miss, period. I, I highly recommend it. it. Then you said, I, 
Then you said Redfall is going to be awesome. The golden age of Xbox begins shortly. Now you got another comment. Keep that same energy, Dreamcast guy. Hope to see Redfall get a brutally honest review. Score of 9.5. So, yeah, you were gassing this game up just as much as they were. Because I'm an RTM fan, you stupid fucking cuck. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You were gassing them up. Yeah, but you can't really blame them for speaking. You wait, 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 wait. You, 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 you can't do that. You can't penalize him for speaking on a game that hasn't released yet. Yes, I can. No, you can't. How, how do you have the foresight to say, "Oh, this is going to be garbage"? Like you, you can't predict. Oh, 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 smooth, smooth. Here, here, one one person question. at a time. One at a time, please. Smooth, smooth. You said, "How do I have the foresight?" You want to have an answer? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Smooth. Right. Uh, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you, are you, Uni, you gotta fix your mic. We can't hear you. Uni, fix your mic. But anyway, smooth. Back to your question. How do I have the foresight? You want to know how, smooth? How, sir? Is it better? Ask your yeah. back. Ask your so back. Listen, Insomniac, right? Is coming out with Spider Man Two. Everybody is um, rightfully excited for that game because of the track record. Turn down a bit. It's too loud. Oh. Uh, everybody's excited because of their track record, right? Because they made great games in the past, and you're like, hey, Spider-Man 2 is going to be great. Now, Spider-Man 2 turns out to be a debacle. How can you say, oh, uh, how could you How could you been hyped for Spider-Man 2 when they ha- they made great games before? Uh, D- Dishonored was great. Dishonored 2 was great. Prey was great. I even like Deathloop. So at the end of the day, for you to sit there and say, oh, well, you were hyping them up. Like, you're just, you're just a fucking clown, man. You bozo-ass okay. nigga. At the end of the day, I'm literally not a clown. You know how I'm not. You know how I'm not a clown, Uni. Just so you can, just so you can bitch and moan. It literally you're agreeing with me that the game is trash. You dog, you got, you got to fix your mic, dog. Like when you're breaking up. I'm saying, I I know they installed like new fiber optics in the islands a couple years ago, but you need to get on that. It's just because he was he was peaking. His mic was peaking. um, I think. And you gotta stop stop yelling, that man. If your mic is peaking, literally. At the end of the day, there you Arcane go. has a great had had a great track record. They never missed. Now they missed. But for you to sit there and say, "How could you be excited oh. from a game with a studio that made great games that you enjoyed before?" is asinine. And you know it because it, that's like saying, "How could you be excited for Insomniac's new game that's coming out?" Well, because they made great games before. You know how you I know you're wrong on this because people like me took one look at that game and could see the game was trash. People like BG, despite The Witcher 3 being the amazing game it is, even BG called it like, look, I'm looking at this game, I'm looking at it objectively. You were looking at that game with rose-tinted sunglasses, and then once it got to the finish line, then you started complaining. Once it came out, then you started complaining. My question is, how I can you be happy? I'm just saying, other people like me and BG can look at a game and be like, yeah, this don't look right. But you didn't, for some reason, didn't see it that way until the reviews started popping in. I said since day one, Redfall looked like trash. Everybody will tell you I was calling it Red Flop, Red Fail, Red Trash. Oh my God, it's our, I, look, I don't, I don't care if it's Nintendo behind a game. If the game they're making looks like trash, it's trash. All right, this is, that, all right, this is besides... Let's Name one point. Xbox game that you didn't say look like trash. See, so you don't have any um, objective. Gears of War. Gears of War? Like talking about a game that came out in Gears, Gears, Gears Tactics? Um, I, I mean, I played a lot of Xbox games, man. I, I own a PC. We can play all these games. All right, I beat both, beat both Ori games. Both Ori games were good. I can go ahead, man. I just, want to, focus, I just want to focus on Redfall, though. Like, you know, like, Uni, where you finish your, your thoughts on that? I tried, but this fuck nigga ain't gonna let me finish, so go ahead, bro. Um, go ahead, BG, because you're just being redundant. Okay. Uh, listen, I, I played it for about an hour and a half, and uh, yeah, it's like, I mean, there's the, every, everybody has said everything about it that you can really say. I mean, it's, it looks like very much an incomplete project. It graphically is, is not even, it's, it's, it's not even a last-gen game. Like, Usually when people say something looks like a 360 game, it's an, exa- it's an exaggeration. This, this is not an exaggeration this, this time, right? This is, this is like, it's, it's Vampire Crackdown. And I think, mm. and, and I was able to beat Crackdown, I beat Crackdown 3. And I, I wouldn't be able to beat this game. I'm gonna, I think I'm getting a little bit of echo from you, Bond. 
Um, I w- I wouldn't be able to beat this game. I think Crackdown Three is is actually the better get the better game. Like I, that game is at least playable and beatable. You know, like the the, the visuals look terrible. The the AI is stupid as hell. Um, the world. Vampire it, it, with it's, a on. Yeah, the world is like you can kind of see that this this game looks like now. Listen, I'm not trying to bail bail them out, right? But if if they wanted to use the the B team excuse, they could probably get away with it. I, I'm just because this is Arcane Austin, right? I'm not sure because this is not the exact people who who like made I guess Dishonored or uh or this Death is the Looper. people that did uh, Young Blood. Okay, well, th- th- yeah, there this you, isn't there even you. the main. This isn't even the main studio. So why is everybody saying Arcane doesn't miss? This isn't the A team. So they can actually get away with that excuse, I guess, for not for being for for, for being the B team, because it's funny because like when you play the game, it looks like a it, it looks like a child trying to mimic what their parent did. Like they seen their parent like make a drawing and they're like tracing the shit. It's just a poorly drawn like copy of it. Like and, and that's what's there. It's like you could see the um the arcane inspiration and the design, but somebody did like a it's it's the multi meal version of that, you know what I'm saying? It's it's the dollar store version of of arcane games, and yeah, I mean it's just it's just a bad game. I don't know, you know, what else there is to you know really say say about it. Everybody uh, has said it's as bad into the ground. Anybody who thought this game was gonna be good is fucking blind. Stevie Wonder could have seen this game was gonna be dog shit. This was the easiest sixty dollars I ever made off a of smooth. I I did say so. The first two trailers, I said the game looked good. It was yeah, and I put the game in my um, most anticipated games list. People want to make it seem like up until when when that when the third trailer came out, that's when I said this game doesn't look good, and that was in the end of January, that, that February. Was, that's when no. I said it. Huh? Wasn't it when um, the IGN gameplay shit where niggas like bruh? That's when a lot of people, yeah, made the, the shift over and like, oh, this looks bad. But when they released, they released another trailer before that, and I was like, yeah, this doesn't look good anymore. That's when I said it. Oh, yeah, um, in the developer direct, yeah. because they took a while, and it was like, yeah. uh, but I still was like, I wasn't against it. I was like, it just, it didn't hype me to the, to the levels that it should in the developer direct. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you're going to give it a chance. And then after the IGN debacle, it was like, nah. and then they come out and say, it's only going to be 30 frames a second. Yeah. yeah, and then they say it's gonna be always online. Yeah. And then they said, "Wait, you only get pro- progression for the host." And like, it's like, bro, it's like all of that shit came within the last couple months. Yes. So, like I said, anybody that that pretends that they don't they don't have faith in games based on the, the track record of the studio is just a lying bitch. But yeah. Uni, your tweets were hyping it as far as April. I think he was just hoping. Okay, I, he's hoping. Like, he's I didn't hoping. play the game. So what, what, what you're saying is, what you're saying is, it's more important that even though the game comes out and I'm literally calling it as it is, calling balls and strikes, your bitch ass is worrying about what the fuck I was doing in April. Why the fuck are you so concerned with what the fuck I was doing? You literally said. Why don't you get off my fucking dick and stop worrying about the fuck I'm doing? Why the fuck did you stop worrying about what the fuck I'm doing? Why the fuck up? Shut All right, relax. 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 You just only just mad. That's the only thing you need to worry about. I ain't mad at shit. You a bitch. Right, you can't make me mad, nigga. You a whole ass nigga. Yep. But you always concerned about what the fuck I'm saying or what the fuck I'm doing. You a fucking bitch. Why the fuck you worrying about me, nigga? You a fucking ass bitch, ass nigga. You in every one of my spaces. You in all of my tweets. You a hoe, nigga. I'm not my dick, nigga. I don't like men. I thought this was going to be nice. That's not going to be nice. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Look, you need to hold accountability accountability for hyping up dog shit games time and time again. Account your bitch, you fucking clown. I don't give a fuck. I don't need to account anything to you, you weirdo bitch. Like I don't need to do nothing for you. Yeah, you're doing a lot for me right I'm now. You're dancing real. like a bitch I'm ass I'm clown. Mad that I have to do All right, uh, Uni, calm yeah, down, brother. Mad. Calm, calm back, down, Uni. Back, 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 back to Red Bull, BJ. Nigga, back to you're Red Bull, BJ. Okay, clown, shut the fuck you, up. You don't like me, 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 you don't like me. All right, let's take it back to Red Bull. Let's take it back to Red Bull. Keep hiding your face online, clown. Let's get it back to Red Bull. 
Y'all are not enemies. Y'all are not enemies. This is about Redfall. This dude's a straight clown. He's just mad because Xbox is trash. Anyway, bro, I know Mike can stop being broke. All right, all right, relax. All right, Uni, relax, relax. Bro, your mic, your mic can't handle you deep, bro. Give him two minutes. Your mic can't handle you deep, bro, Nate. Take the mic out of your throat. Take the mic out of your throat, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can't no, understand no, y'all when y'all when y'all yelling and arguing over each other. Yeah, we can't I, hear. I can understand everything. I can understand. Yeah, oh, you, we up, just Jack. can't understand Uni. Uni's speaking. I don't know what the fuck he's speaking. He said anyway, you ain't got no bitches, man. I think that's what he said. <laughs> shut up, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Shut up. Just trying to relay the message, man. <laughs> anyway, B, any, anyway, BG, back to Redfall. How many? Um, oh, how do I call? How do I call this? Um, Left 4 Dead type games have we had that have failed? Maybe this is not a Left 4 Dead type game, it, though. No, it is. It is smooth. It is. No, no, it's not. It is smooth. I played plenty of Left 4 Dead type games. This is not a Left 4 Dead type game. I'm smooth. sorry. I, I'm, smooth. Like, I'm, 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 I'm being brutally honest. This is like... I mean, I don't know if that's just a go-to thing I, I, because it's like non-humans you're going against, or we're like, or it's because it has co-op, but it's not Left for Dead by any stretch of the imagination. Zombies, vampires, co-op, like it's pretty much in that stratosphere. And okay. I, 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 I don't know one of these games that's been good. Well, we had Back for Blood. We had a couple others. Like all these games end up trash. I was gonna ask him if he played Back for Blood. Yes, I have played Back for Blood. Did um, did it feel any did Redfall feel reminiscent of that at all, or was it not? Not a Back for Blood. No, Red, uh, Redfall feels reminiscent of like a, just a looter shooter. It oh, okay, uh, like okay. Bu- like Borderlands. Okay, no, but here's what here's what here. Remember, they pitched she had a fake Destiny, like they were trying to do Destiny, but then they stripped out a lot of the bullshit. I think they had a lot of microtransactions and different shit, but they didn't want to launch with that. I think that's what the whole delay was for. Uh, Arcane like to get claimed, rid of all of that shit. Yeah, Arcane claimed their words were they described it more as Far Cry. It's nothing like Far Cry. No way. Nothing like it. I'm sorry, smooth. I'm sorry. This is it, this no, is. No, I don't think it's anything like Far Cry either. Um, but I don't think it's nothing like Left 4 Dead either. It it it's, it's like I said. It feels like our Ar- Arcane, Arcane's um, slow child tried to <laughs> tried to make a drawing, or tried to make a a a copy of their game, and they. And they just made a uh, a, a Left 4 Dead type game. Arcane Slow Child made it made a Left 4 Dead type game. That's that's what it is. I think it it feels just like a Left 4 Dead Back for Blood, whatever other game in this vein. Yes, that's what it feels like I'm to me. You can tell me how it feels though, because you actually played it. Yeah, like that's that's just what it feels like to me, Smooth. It's it's still in that same vein, but um. Yeah. Uh, oh, on on the praying and hoping Starfield's actually good. Has anybody else played it? Yeah, I, I played it. I played oh, yeah, it. Smooth um, didn't talk yet. Go, yeah. Go smooth. What are your thoughts? Hold on, hold on. Let me get my background. Let's quiet down for a quick second. Hold on. Tell them to shut the. Mm. Up. Why do you hate kids, uh, BG? I love kids. Right. Love them to death. What are you talking about? Okay. So, can, you ha- can you have one? I mean, <laughs> the, the thing about this game is that I. Uh, like I, I wanted to, I want to like it. There, there's some things, there's some redeeming factors about the game. Um, you know, obviously the first impressions of it, you know, extremely turns me off. It graphically is not pretty by any, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. No matter if you're playing on PC at the highest possible settings, uh, whether you're playing on, you know, the Xbox um, Series um, X or S, it's just not a pretty looking. Can you tell game. them to turn down that TV in the back? Yeah, I think it's muted now. Hold on. It's not. It's not a. The, the character designs are. It seems very lazy, and like they kind of let the like some. Uh, what, what do you call it? interns do it? Because the character designs is not even pretty. I, I can't even blame the game's graphics on that arcane art style. I don't think it has any you know indication on what the the, the, the product um, looks like. So they they killed me there. Also, like the early you know points of the game when I first played the game is that. It was, I got disconnected like seven minutes into the game. Now I'm playing Dolo, solo. No one's with me. I know it's always online, but that's where it's like, all right, you guys don't typically make online games. So there's a mistake. I got, I want to say disconnected a couple times uh, playing it solo that way. 
um tried to obviously tried to you know take advantage uh, of higher frame rates by playing on pc uh this game literally sent my uh, pcu to an early grave um by pretty much killing it you know this was uh it shut down my um, pc like several um several times and it's never recovered um but as far as like the the core of the game like i could see the idea like they wanted to do like a loot uh, looter you get different like gear different ways to customize your characters different um uh character traits and how your character plays since you can literally play with like three or four of the same characters and they all play uh can technically play differently depending on how you um treat the skill tree um i the atmosphere of the game i there it, there is some redeeming factors like you know i like the atmosphere the environment and redfall itself like uh, the town and um but the laziness does show up the the flaws do show up with the rep uh, repetitive of the vampires of the standard AIs that's there. Um, the, the characters, like, I don't know how many, uh, like, dead, like, you know, they just put, like, body placements there, like, just to, like, throw bodies into the game, like, dead bodies on the floor. And I've seen, like, five or six of the same character, like, spread across in the same household. It, it was... Mm. It's weird. So they they really really went lazy, and and, it, and people should be disappointed that they did want to charge, you know, a hundred dollar bite back edition. There was times in the past where Xbox released a game or they partnered with a game, they got an exclusive, and they had like the foresight to appropriately price the game. I think of Record. They didn't launch that at you know uh, fifty sixty dollars. They launched it at thirty forty dollars. But even though when they first premiered the game, it looked we thought it would be. You know, a triple A AAA game, they say from the makers of Mega Man and stuff like that. You thought it was and then it was a surprise. Ah, forty dollars. And, you know, it, and it reviewed. Uh, I mean, I think it was better than what it reviewed, but they but they properly priced that same thing with Bleeding Edge Ninja Ninja Theories there. Uh, that game when they after they got acquired, uh, they released Bleeding Edge and they released it at like I think it was like 20 bucks, 20, 30 dollars. Um, and it was like okay so when they they have a, a product like redfall and they kind of know what's going on there hence the delay and hence everything um that's going on in the, the 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 response to it um they i don't think they should have that that game shouldn't have been like 70 dollars. i don't care about game pass in this instance you don't really you don't sell a pre-order like that you don't sell the game for 70 bucks this is not a 70 dollar game this is a product you will put right up there with like a record or bleeding edge in terms of of pricing and what redfall did for me is expose the bloated horrible review system of previous games that reviewed in the 50s and the 60s for no damn reason crackdown like i said bg you you finished the game crackdown was not a bad game it wasn't it, was, it wasn't broken it wasn't ugly it looked like it was it was a better looking version of the previous crackdown games so but it scored like a 50 something why don't know um obviously rise center Rome, all that other stuff like games that reviewed, oh, God, got reviewed right. harshly no there was a ton of games that came out during the early xbox one era that reviewed harshly and just so a game that actually deserved its score you compare them, it's like, okay, so what made these previous games that bad? Nothing. Just a, a bunch of saltiness. That's why I can't trust a lot of these journalists. And, you know, shout out to all the people that got flown out to L.A., New York. They had, you know, pizza and pineapples and whatever. Whatever they gave them to... Pineapple. <laughs> they, they, apparently, they played a different fucking game. You know, I'm hearing, yeah, you know, you know, 60 FPS, all oh, looks good. You know what I mean? Nobody so, wanted to admit it. They played it on PC. Nobody so, wanted to admit anything. But go you, ahead, know know, you know how I know Redfall is a really, really bad game? You, it, it got you thinking that Crackdown 3 was actually good. That's crazy. Crackdown 3 was actually good, though. No, you all know, right. you know how right. you know Red, Redfall <laughs> is, a, is a bad game because people, out of all the complaints this, this past week, the 30 frames was actually like the least thing talked about. <laughs> like that was the big. Not on my end. Th that was like the least thing people talked about. People were talking about everything else wrong with the game. The 30 frames thing barely came up on, on Xbox. So people didn't even talk about. Also, you know what's funny about the game? Like, listen, I could appreciate some like weird bugs. It's not even a bug. It's just like visual design. The, the NPCs in the game, their body proportions are, are out of whack. Like they have huge hands. And like small bodies, I don't yeah, know if y'all see these pictures. In their head and shit like that. Like, it's yeah, like, it, it, it's it, crazy. what's that? What's that character? Uh, Wreck It Ralph. Like his like his hands are like huge in proportion to his body. Like the characters are just sitting around looking weird. Like, what is this? 
That's that's crazy, bro. That's fun. Uh, um, listen, if if there's no other comments on Redfall, we can move into uh, you know, the Phil Spencer kind of funny interview. Anything else on Redfall? It's gonna go back to this, but no, nah, no. Nah. Okay. Trash, like I said, since day one. Keep it moving. Uh, uh there you go, Bari. Starting stuff. Listen, Bari. Both for spoken and Redfall are garbage. I'm sorry, sir. At least I can I, I can say both are garbage now. I tried I tried to have faith in Redfall. I did. I did. Once in a once in a, a while, the king is the king is wrong. Once in a while. All right. So why Phil's, would you? Why did you get Redfall the chance and not um for spoken, BG? Because the first, like I said, the first two trailers of Redfall, I believe, actually looked good. So for, but after for spoken, all we about never looked. Still gave it a chance though. For spoken, never looked good to me. But but I said but I said in January in February and there's the tweets are still up in February Jan, February around that time I said Redfall is looking bad that's when I said it was looking bad I then you I started I started all I know is you gave one of them a chance and you didn't get other one a chance man that's crazy. You, know, you, know, yeah, you know what's man. crazy you know what's crazy BG what's that you know you know what's crazy Jack Jack I was told that a certain man here was, you know, you know, gaming is better, <laughs> multiplayer was better, we got so oh, many brother. new IPs. They, 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 did, they did say that. They did say I did. That. Am, am, am I dreaming, Jack, or was that said to us? <laughs> that was it, said to us. It is. Uh, crazy. crazy. I could have right, sworn earlier in the podcast, I was talking about how, how great Hogwarts is, and Dead Island Hogwarts. 2 was good, and I've there's a bunch uh, of good games this year. Hogwarts is not a new IP, sir, and neither is oh, Dead Island. Oh my god, here you go. It's a new game. Oh yeah, there's plenty of new games. Zelda Tears right. of the Low Frame Rates is going to be a new game. No, That's brother. not a new IP. Anyway, let's get into Phil Spencer. Um, so I, I want to go through each one of oh. his his. <laughs> anyway, you you that was a good, that was a good catch. Um, I want to go through each one of his his uh, quotes in this um in this interview, right? Because and I want to be very clear. And I have all the all the all the quotes because you know people were saying you know this whole week oh people are misinterpreting and trying to spin Phil's words and everything like that. I'm gonna say exactly what what he said, and we're gonna analyze that. Um, but the man the man was not Phil was looking tired. You're, you're, of you're gonna say it with the context. You're gonna say it in the context. Yes, you know, yes, the full context, okay, yeah, the full okay. context, and all of that. Okay. But Phil was looking pretty damn tired. I've like I've watched like all of Phil's like interviews and stuff. And usually in like past interviews and, and things, like he's usually like kind of smiling and, you know, and, and just kind of like has this positive, you know, vibe about him. This one, the man was looking defeated. He was. So here's the first thing I, I want to bring up that he said. So they asked him, they asked him about Redfall. Paris did, I think, specifically about uh, Redfall and what what was like the impression they were getting um, from the from the inside uh, about Redfall. Um, he said, on the score, we do mock reviews for every game that we launch. And Redfall review scores were the final score. He's talking about the final Metacritic score where it ended up was double digits lower than what they thought it would be based on the internal mock reviews. So, you know, these companies, they have contractors who play the game and they just give them, OK, like a, a ballpark. Where do you think it's going to land? So. The mock reviewers told them it was it would be double digits higher than where it than where it was, which was at the time when they were speaking like a 64. Now, double digits like all we know is that that it, that means at least 10. It could be 15 higher than that, that they thought it would be. We don't know. The point is the, the mock reviewers were morons and they should never mock review a game ever again, because I don't know. I. There has to be some some type some type of disconnect because I really feel like any one of us who and I don't know what qualifies you to be a mock reviewer like what type of experience or education you need this I assume it's not that high but I feel like any of us could have played this game and told them this game will not score well at all based Phil on Spencer, playing it. Call me dog. I get all the review Metacritic scores right. I'll work for you. You actually want niggas that gonna play the game and not just look at it. And the funny thing is, the niggas that did play the game still got it wrong. So who, well, got, it well, right? who got it right? Touché. But Touché. 
Yeah, but mock reviewers, at least mock reviewers, I'm staying on their ass because they got, I assume they got to play way more of it than the people yeah. um, who got to, got to play like a vertical slice when they went, when they got flew out. So what, what do y'all think about the mock reviewers though? This, this. <laughs> They need to um they need to switch out the whole team, bro. Phil Spencer listen. need to go listen this week, right? Phil Spencer should be marching around that bitch looking like Gandendorf or whatever the case may be. They should be scared out their motherfucking mind. Everybody in Arcane should be quivering, hoping that they don't get their pink slip. Everybody in management should be quivering, like, my God, am I next? Like mm-hmm. Matt Booty chair need to be hotter than a bitch. Like <laughs> listen, Phil Spencer, I don't understand. How he could have the audacity and the temerity to come on to come on the uh, on Beyonce's internet and say that they thought it was going to be double digits higher. Wow. Hey, I, there that, was that, also that, something that he said though that did reveal a couple of things that I don't know if BG you're covering this in his quotes or not um, about Redfall is that when they acquired them and stuff like that, they also you know treated like Redfall like we like you know Arcane is Arcane like you're you're not gonna. They're not going to miss, right? So they didn't actually support, and he said this, they didn't know, obviously support them. They didn't come on until like, yeah, I got the quote. They went on, okay, all right. He said, said, I'll I'll read it now. I'll read it now. He said, we didn't do a good job early on engaging with uh, Arcane Austin to really help them understand what it meant to be a part of Xbox and part of First Party and use some of the internal resources that to uh, to help them and kind of move along the journey faster. We left them to work on the game. They're a very talented team and I love them and still do and you know totally bet on them to do another game. So Okay, let me let me let me ask you this. And this is why this don't make no fucking sense. They did a whole round table with Xbox and Bethesda saying that this deal was done to give great premium exclusive games to the Xbox and anywhere where Game Pass exists. That's what he said. To the Xbox console, exclusive games. Now they're saying, oh, well, they're not together. Um, they ain't got nothing to do with Xbox. We didn't even oversee. We didn't even see anything. I'm like, bro, wh- everybody, if that's not a lack of management or a bad management, what do you call it? How do you spend $7 billion and not look over the shit that you spent $7 billion on? Yeah, I'm looking over shit. They also acquired the entire, you know, Zenimax. So you, you, just to give you a heads up, Matt Booty doesn't oversee Bethesda. It's the same person. Never, who, who, who's oversees it? Is it P. Hines? Like, who? No, yeah. Listen, I, listen, I never called Matt Booty name. Matt Booty don't have shit to do with this. This is No, no, but I know some. I think you mentioned it, like, uh, in your rant. So, hold on, I got a question, though. So, when you acquire them, they don't show you a portfolio what they got in the tuck? Like, coming they, up? Yeah, like, they, 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 there, there is. There, I've heard some reports that they didn't like you know Redfall and um you know oh, they, the, the the internal studio uh, they weren't happy about you know obviously scrapping it and I also heard that remember that moment where Bethesda had this I guess range of games that they were releasing that were like subpar and young, young, when they wanted to go multi multiplayer and Young Blood was one of them uh, you know uh, Redfall I guess was a part of that you know batch of games that they were doing. <laughs> mm-hmm. That you know, that made it out, but you you also and, and it's believable because remember, Play, Bleeding believable. Edge got to come out and nobody was going to nobody wanted to put out Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge got to come out once they uh Xbox bought them, and I heard that was negotiated. Like let me tell right, you, not you gotta let us put this right? out because that happened. Bleeding Edge came out and that shit could have been scrapped. Well, let me tell you why it's not believable, my okay. guy, because when they first acquired um um Bethesda and Zenith, the whole of Zenimax. They put together a little show called the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase. And at the end of that showcase, Phil Spencer marched out there and said, one more thing. We have a team from Arcane. Da, 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 da. So how are you going to tell me now that he never looked over it? He never did anything. He didn't he bought it. He, didn't, he never knew. But they put it as the one more thing. But isn't that... When you do that, don't isn't that mean that you're very sure of the quality of this game? You're Man, very Xbox, sure of... Well, Xbox closed their show out with Anthem before, and that didn't turn out too great. That wasn't their game. Yeah, but it still closed their show with it, though it was important to close their show. That's, it was important that's, enough that EA didn't show it on their own thing so they can give it to Xbox to close it out. So that doesn't mean anything. Once how no, I look at it is once they decided once they decided that they were out the game, you can you can screw one more control. thing if you're gonna show a CGI. It seems no, like but, damage control because that's my yeah, point. Good, go ahead. My, my whole point with this is this. I don't want to hear no excuses that they they have Bethesda under them they, they, for two and a half years. This game got delayed an entire years, they've been year. Making PlayStation games. Oh my God, they delayed this game an entire year. 
They could have listen. Think about this for a second. If Phil Spencer never gave, came out on that stage and said one more thing, here goes Redfall, this arcane game, then he could have kept this thing to himself until it was ready to, to ship. And then if he saw this was in a terrible sh- shape, they could have canceled the game quietly. Nobody would have ever known about it. But they came out there pounding their chest that this game. That Redfall is amazing. And look, it's Red Arcane. You know, the, the, the creators of, 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 of Dishonored and stuff. People's favorite game. And they came out with that shit. And then they delayed it. To, and then people told me last year when I was mad, oh, you can't be mad because they want quality. They want to make sure to, to lean on the quality. Go back, my, my guy, um, BG, right now. Pull up the, the, um, the tweet from last year when Phil Spencer talked about delaying Redfall and talking about how hard it is on the team. And look at the last line that he said about quality and why they're doing it. And then he gave you a 64 or 59. So, like, I don't want to hear the damage control. I don't want to hear, oh, it wasn't really Microsoft, but it was, because everybody, and this is why I said Jez Corden pissed me the fuck off this week, because it's propaganda. Because he gave, he never said Hi-Fi Rush, Microsoft doesn't deserve any credit for my Hi-Fi Rush because it was in development before they got it. But now he's saying Microsoft doesn't deserve any blame for Redfall. So it's like, it, it can't be two things. So Hi-Fi Rush get, comes out great. You think if Redfall came out as a 90 Metacritic, he would have said that? He would have did an article saying that Microsoft shouldn't deserve any credit for this because they didn't, they didn't oversee it and they didn't look at it at all and Arkane did it by themselves? They would have never said that. It's propaganda. It's like, at the end of the day, there's a $2 trillion company. I'm not going to sell from them. The niggas have more money than ever. They make $18 billion in profit every three months. So it's not the money. It's not how much people they have. It's not the IP. It's not that they don't have enough studios. They have more studios than, than Nintendo and PlayStation. It's them. And I'm not going to, I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't want to hear, well, maybe, you know, if you think about, if you look at this, this quote from this side and this angle, if you twist your neck backwards and you see, nah, bro, fuck all of that shit, nigga. At the end of the day, like that, that type of attitude is why Microsoft will be getting away, getting away with this dumb shit for years. It's because every time somebody uh, they fuck up, so Spencer come out with the puppy dog eyes and tell it all, you know, we hear you and we're sorry, and then and then the, 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 the Xbox come out the defense force, the Xbox defense force come out and they say anybody who fuck you if you if you talk about Phil Spencer like that, that nigga has a job to do. He's not doing his fucking job. Period. Period. And if he can't do it, get somebody who can. I'm not even blaming Matt Booty because this is him. You you acquire. How do you want me to feel comfortable about you acquiring Activision Blizzard if you can't even over look over the the Bethesda deal that you already got? This makes no sense. So, so anyway, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. my rant is done. What, what I was gonna say is like honestly, when I when I read um the part where he he was like he kind of just like we left them to go work on the game like that honestly to me that sounds like when we uh, when we acquired them we didn't set up like a uh you know that that hierarchy you know what i'm saying like that chain of command of okay pete okay miss let's i guess pete hines is still in charge right of arcane or bethesda or whatever but okay who's Pete Hines reporting to the reporting the status of the game to and who from Xbox is coming to like check the progress to me it, it seems like it's just there was no there was no process or procedure established to figure out okay and let who's Nate liable the prison man that's what's going on yeah yeah that's it's like it's like who's what's the org chart Who's liable? Who's reporting into who? They, it sounds like they didn't establish that, right? Because even though Phil Spencer yeah. was taking full accountability for everything, I don't know if he actually knows. Like, it's like he's like, okay, well, who? It's like, what? he's like, he's like, he's saying, like, yo, who was supposed to be in charge of this? It's almost you like, yo, we crazy, don't know. Bro. At first, they was getting criticized for being too, like, involved with shit and that's why games is messed up so they was like we're gonna take an offhand approach but that didn't mean <laughs> literally not check in if that's really true literally not check in on what's going on bro like what the hell like, and it's, it. yeah it's like with with listen if if a if something goes wrong with play a playstation game like a, a game is bad we know exactly who to blame there's, there's no fucking mystery it's it, it before it was Sh- shuhei 
Um, now it's Herman Holst. If there was like a bad company decision made, we know it could have been Andrew House, Jack Trenton. We it's, we know the position to blame. The word with, you're looking for is curation. There's no curation. Nobody's there's no checks and balances. Nobody's yeah. holding nobody accountable. That's it. When, when Xbox, you know, when these Xbox fuck up happens, we're always left speculating. We never really know who to blame. Like, yeah, we always say Phil Spencer, but we never actually know who to blame. We're just like guessing. Not, and that's kind of crazy. No, you're absolutely right. Because after the, the latest Halo Infinite fuck up, I came out with my spaces, the spaces that some niggas pretend nobody listened to. But anyway, and I was like, nah, fair, um, what her name is? Um, Bonnie Ross got to go. Yeah. Matter of fact, how does Bonnie Ross stay? So how do you fuck up four projects in a row and still have a job? How, how is that possible? I, that, that's what I was asking. Like, does she have dirt on Phil? Does she sleep with not Satya? Like, what, what am I missing? Because how do you fuck up Halo, so Halo 4, Halo Master Chief Collection, Halo 5, the Halo TV show, and then the Halo Infinite and still have a job? That's I, Phil! That's Phil! Phil, a, Phil! You should have been her, Phil! I got a question. You told me Halo was coming back after Season 2. What happened? Oh, God. That state has ever been. It's gonna take time because they had to get rid of all of the dead weight at the top, all of the the, the studio heads and the shit. They had to get rid of all them fuck niggas. They gonna have to do that with Arcane too. They gonna have to do that at Bethesda too. Like whoever is in charge of curation at Bethesda, gotta go. Like you said, we know Matt Boot is in charge of Xbox Studios. Who's in charge of Bethesda? Why are they keeping them a secret? Bring this bitch ass out here. We need to see who or her. <laughs> We need to see who the fuck this is who thought Redfall was, was okay to steal, rob people's money. Because if you put a game out that's, that, that doesn't fucking work out. Look, the first day I went to play Redfall, it crashed my Xbox every time. I couldn't even get it to play. Well, so, let it be known, I said season two for Halo was still going to be trash, and it all was. Right. All right, here's, here's um, the next quote I have. We already did uh, you know, the one um, about Arcane Austin he, that he said, and he kind of left him alone. Um, and, uh, you know, the double digit mock reviews. Okay. Here's the next quote I had, right? Um, some people didn't find this one as important. I kind of did. So he said, uh, he said, we build games and this, this was him. The context was talking about like, uh, creative choice and creative freedom that they give the studios, right? He said, we build games that review in the high eighties and we build games that review in the sixties. He said, I mean, that's just a part of being uh, in gaming publishing. And if you're afraid of that, then you shouldn't be in the entertainment business. You shouldn't be in the gaming business. So that's why he's, you know, he's, he's once again, that's in relation to uh, creative freedom that they allow the studios to do what they wanna do. Um, you know, like, like Grounded and uh, Sea of Thieves, you know, all these projects that you didn't expect from those, from those studios. And he's saying landing in the 60s or getting an 80, that like, that, it's it's you know it comes with the territory that you could you could get either either one when being creative. That's true. But you should be striving. Listen, okay, that's true. You can't always hit on every game. That's true. But that doesn't have anything to do with it, with releasing a game that doesn't fucking work, right? Like like fuck the creativity part. Fuck whether the game is good or not, the game doesn't even fucking work. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's it's coming out at thirty frames per second on the world's most powerful console that they marketed. It's a shit show. It's literally a shit show. And at the end of the day, like I said, I prefer the Xbox ecosystem. I do. I, it's my main console. That's why I play most of my games. But I've been playing mostly third-party games for this whole generation because they haven't, like I said, they, they hit, some certain things hit. Like I like, I love Psychonauts. Um, you know, um, what do you call it? Hi-Fi Rush was great. Forza Horizon was great. There, there's been things, but the problem is there's been so, it's been too inconsistent not just in the the, the the quantity of releases but the quality of these releases as well and it's like they, it, it can't be that nintendo can do and i'm so happy that they can't use the covid excuse anymore Woo i was so happy knowing going into this interview that he can't use covid as the excuse anymore because they've been using covid for excuse for three straight years yeah and i'm like <clears throat> nintendo doesn't have that excuse why, how can Sony do this? How can Sony, how can Nintendo do it? How can EA do it? EA just did a great game. The game is was technically a mess, but we know once that shit gets back, the game is great. And it's like, why, can, why can't you do it, Microsoft? Phil, what the fuck are you doing there? Are y'all just having smoke sessions in Seattle? Are y'all just chilling? I don't, I, I don't I, understand. I think, um, 
I think my my issue with that quote is I think Phil is a little bit too okay and a little bit too lax about like the risk of low quality games. Because yes, Metacritic doesn't absolutely determine the quality of a game. But we we are taking a 60 as him meaning like, yeah, sometimes bad games are gonna come from being creative. I don't I don't I don't like that because it's like I think like regardless of who you are, like Nintendo, I think no matter how experimental Nintendo gets with a game, they are aiming for a very high quality, well reviewed nah. game. They don't they don't care how experimental it is. But like it, PlayStation is not gonna like e- even and we talked about like you know the the uh, you know the creative games like uh, Concrete Genie and Dreams. Even though I think. Yeah, I wish it's a creative game, right? Because it, it, you know it's a game, um, the the rhythm based game and stuff, shit that you don't normally see. But it was a great, the quality was there. It wasn't, it was running at sixty frames. It came out. It wasn't. There was no big glitch, um, game baking bugs and stuff like that. The story was good. The characters was great. The the the, the drawings was great. The, the 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 art style was great. So when you come to play um, Redfall and the people foot feet aren't even moving, they're just gliding over the fucking ground. <laughs> like, what the fuck? like, yeah, yo, I, I just think you can't. On? I just, I just think he has Man. way too. He has a too high tolerance for a game possibly not, being bad. Go ahead, it's Jack. not tolerance. You know what it is? He just don't give a fuck. I, this is what I, I hate and love this about Phil Spencer, bro. Every quote that you said so far. He really telling you how he feel for real, but he gonna sugarcoat it to make the shit seem like he's sad, he upset about it, bro. You only just said they make what? What you say? 18 million, 18 billion a quarter profit. They 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 got the top profit they've ever had, and not doing a goddamn thing. With, bro, not million, my guy. Build with a B. That okay? So, B. Look, so they make an 18 billion dollars, not giving y'all shit. You think he's gonna stop now? <laughs> you think he's gonna stop now? I would. <laughs> Phil Spencer I doing exactly what he what need to do. Let me Jack, tell you why. What did I call it last week, Jack? What is it? They got clowns out here who happy saying Microsoft is making more more gaming revenue than they ever have. I said that's the problem. They're not delivering shit and they're making more money than ever. That means niggas getting finessed. That means niggas getting finessed. If they're making more money than ever and they're releasing shit, dog shit. Like they haven't released a big AAA game in 18 months, that's and then crazy. the first time they did it, the first time they did it was a 59 overall. And now they got the nerve to be reward, rewarded with more revenue, and y'all are happy about that shit. Niggas are bragging about that shit. I said, I've never seen anything like it. It's like you bragging that you got the net. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your mic sounds a little bit close. Okay. Yeah. I said, I've never seen niggas brag about being finessed other than in the video game industry. Imagine if you buy a car. This is true. And you said, hey, Hey, this car didn't come with the AC is not working, the satellite radio is not working. This is not working, but they told me they'll they'll they'll, they'll add it six months later. Yeah, but they still need full price for it. What the fuck would brag about getting finesse like that at the car dealership? Let, let me let me know what you. What, uh, what did I call it last week? Uh, uh, white, you know, a white, a rich white guy's passion oh, project. Oh, oh yeah, you did. It's a hundred percent right. That's what it is. They don't give a fuck. Let, let me know what y'all think about this uh, quote. This is this one is was a little bit further in the interview. Um, we're gonna get to the other big one, but he said um, the console is the core of the Xbox brand. Um, a lot of people d- would disagree with that, but he said no doubt uh, we will stay focused on making sure that the console experience is awesome. And I, and I believe Paris's question was, um, you know, was about making sure that the the, the console players are are felt like uh, you know first party uh, you know citizens or whatever um so he said some people want us uh some people want to hold us up and believe uh we are the better green ver- the, well the green version of what the blue guys do they want them to be the the green the, the better green version of what the blue guys do and he said that that is not what their what their goal is they want to do their own thing we have to go off and, and do their own thing. Do you do y'all think that people like gamers actually want Xbox to just do like copy PlayStation, no. just their version of no, it? That, that, that's, that's a cop out what, what, because he said something else in that quote that that pissed me the fuck off when he's like, just even if we make great games, people aren't going to go and sell their PS5. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Why, yeah. Like, yeah. Wait, why do people <laughs> sell their PS5? 
Why no, can't they own I it? agree. No, 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 no. No, but no, no, no but no, I don't no, understand no. that. What what does selling PS5 have to do with anything? I didn't understand that part. Like, no, no, make good games that people will buy the Xbox. Period. Finish. Right there. They don't even have to buy the Xbox. They can get it on PC. They can get it on the cloud. The problem is without the games, the, the massive game. Because if you're already in the ecosystem and you're getting, you know, the little the little games that you like, you get a little Monster Hunter Rise here. You're gonna be ha- some people are happy with that, and that's fine. If you're happy, cool. But in order to bring more people into the ecosystem, so the fucking shit don't die like how the Dreamcast died, you gotta have big, marquee, amazing games that you can get nowhere else. And for him to pretend like that doesn't matter, or he's trying to say like, oh well, he they, 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 basically he's trying to say well we're we're trying to be beyond the console only, and that's fine. But the console is the linchpin because that's where. Most of your hardcore base is at, and you make money okay. on the console just smooth. based on people put, selling it on your console. But go ahead, smooth. Smooth. What you was gonna say? Nah, because the, the 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 thing he said. Because you you said that you don't think people want them to. Um, yeah, I'm asking you. Do you make, think people want them to to be the green version of yeah, a PlayStation? Makes the make like the, the, the kind of exact Every games time, just the Xbox every, version. T- Yep, every time a Last of Us or a God of War comes out, what do these people do? Ryan McCaffrey, anybody do? You know, Xbox need to make, you know, these type of games. Everybody tags fail. Oh, we know we want this game. We want this game. They want them to make a Last of Us. They want them to make a Horizon. They want them to make a God of War type game. So there is like legitimacy to that response um, because people tweet fail all the time, especially these toxic ass fanboys, but also these higher achieving uh, journalists and content creators where every time PlayStation has like a, you know, a cinematic game that scores like, you know, a 90 or whatever, the first people that gets tagged or hashtagged is, is Xbox because they don't have those games. That's the only thing in comparison, really, that X- Xbox doesn't have those PlayStation style games. And he mentioned, you know, situation, he mentioned that he gave that example before, like a couple of years ago. And, um, and I think, I think that's, I think that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with that sentiment. I'm not saying I'm not excusing that they shouldn't make any good games, but he's pretty much saying like they shouldn't have. To, they really they don't. They're not required to make a Xbox version of God of War. Or okay, Xbox let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Now, now, do they mean mirrored copy images, or do they just mean big budgeted games that come out and get critically acclaimed? Is that what they mean? Triple, or do they mean a. they no, want... I, I yeah, know, do because they... a lot of people want to... Uh, Xbox doesn't have like a lot of third-person action adventure games. You know what I mean? Their Xbox version of AAA big budgeted games are like the Forza Horizons, Halo, and Gears of War. So they're... Um, that's, they just want more action adventure games, right? Yeah. More, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sometimes but I have more action adventure games, right? I think... <laughs> what you're telling me is if Hellblade 2 comes out this year, you're not going to cherry it on. Because that's a cin- cinematic game that you claim only PlayStation should have, right? But Hellblade, I still think Hellblade is probably going to be vastly different from what you get from uh, those PlayStation games, though. You're telling me Hellblade is not going to be a third-person action-adventure cinematic game? Oh, um, I'm not saying that. I'm no, really not saying that at no. all. I'm just saying that he's every game that they release, all their developers, none of them are but, probably working on these PlayStation S type games. I think Hellblade is probably the closest thing you're going to get to that. Even though PlayStation is, like, yeah, different. Hellblade is exactly what that is. Just saying. but yeah, like, if they come out in this good, like Uni saying, that would scratch <laughs> that itch, though, right? That's what people are talking about. They want, you know what I mean? They want some. And, like and that. look, look, smooth. I don't think people are saying that. I don't. I really don't believe people want a a third person, you know, s- narrative triple uh, A game. Exactly. I think they are just saying it. Ha- it has to be triple A, and it has to be quality. That's what I think people are actually. They're, they're using those games as examples because there's no example of it on Xbox. So that yeah, besides, it's, it's just cool. gears. Like gears would be the last, the last one like that. Like, I, I, okay, you know, I'm gonna ask kids move this. Kids move, you're an Xbox fan. For the last, okay, when was the last time that you have a big budget AAA game, new IP from Xbox that 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 started a new franchise that you love? Uh, I mean, damn, you you putting like you making it very very specific. That I would probably say, uh, Gears of War would be that. Like, that, that, was- that I love. I'm trying to think what franchise came out after Gears that. It's just as big. I mean, I, I mean, Sea of Thieves is new, but I'm not in love with Sea of Thieves. So yeah, it would be, so, it would so be the, of War. Yeah, so Gears of War. But that was like 2008? 2006, but yeah. 
Shoo! Bro, I went 20, 20, yeah, but I, honestly, bro, like, the thing oh, is, like, I, I'm not, I don't think I, I don't, the, see, I don't put too much stock into it okay. being like new IP, like, you know what I mean? I, I, like, because Gears 2 was that much better than Gears 1 and Gears 3 was, you know, that much better. I don't put too much stock if it's a new IP or not. Just, is it a good, is it a good new, is it a, a good new game? Yeah, no, no, no. I understand what you say, right? Because AAA is not the only game that I play. I don't want people to think that, oh, AAA is the only game that matters, because it doesn't. But when it comes to a healthy platform, right? Because like I said, everybody here old enough to remember what happened to the Dreamcast, right? The Dreamcast had great games. I love that shit. They had even the new innovative uh, memory card with the screen and shit. Shit was amazing. And then because they didn't sell enough, the install base wasn't big enough, they had to just cancel the shit. So it's yeah. like, <clears throat> Game Pass is, is an expensive thing. If they don't, if in the next couple years they not seen the growth that they want, it's gonna come a point in time they're gonna cut that shit like like how they did Zoom, like how they did the Windows Phone. Y'all thinking that Microsoft is somehow in the business of charity of giving away games for the next 20, 30 years, no matter what? That's insanity. You Google Google set here and told y'all that Stadia ain't going nowhere, and then then it did. Right, so it's like it's like I'm keep. To, they tried to sell Xbox last gen. How can y'all tell me I'm paranoid when they literally have a documentary telling y'all they tried to they tried to sell it last generation? And so it's it's not like it's out of the, the it's out of the, the 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 realm of reality that they would talk about this stuff. Be honest, you know, like yo, bro, we couldn't get the Activision deal. This shit not selling. We might have to, you know, they like like that. And I I know they would do it, but they won't come out and tell you until they 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 ready to, to announce it or after the fact. So my point is, when people make excuses for Microsoft and try to act like if, because I understand everybody love an underdog story, right? And I love my Xbox or whatever, but but it comes a point in time where you can't just keep giving them the benefit of the doubt, the benefit of the doubt. Even Phil Spencer said himself, "Don't listen to nothing I say because he knows everything they said is bullshit." The next twelve months, this is the game we're gonna get bullshit. And I want to uh, explain something. Look, one last thing, bullshit. They, uh, everything they've been saying, bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, and if you're the biggest Xbox fan in the world and you don't like me saying facts, I don't know what to tell you, my nigga. Live in fantasy land. Go back to certain people. I ain't gonna call their name, but there's a lot of good people on YouTube who tell you all the propaganda and lies you wanna hear. Because they, I, I, listen, I went the other day to one of the Xbox podcasts, man. And it's, it's damn sure shameless. I'm like, and it's always black men too. I'd be like, oh my God, y'all are just, <laughs> why are y'all so embarrassing? Like, y'all are embarrassing <laughs> the are, black are people. They are they bald? Are they bald too? <laughs> but for real, like something with bald black men. Anyway, but and, right, I'm like, and the craziest part is, they are literally like in full cult mode, in full like AAA meeting mode, going around the corner with the, with the, with the spirit stick, talking about how oh they they don't give Phil a chance, and all oh, they're twisting his words and what he meant to say and what he really was trying to say. If you read between the lines, and then I'm like, bro. All so of that, just to say, this is a company. This is not your daddy. Y'all have more patience for Microsoft than y'all have for your five-year-old child. I, I need I want, I need to explain I, something, right? Because I've listened to, you know, the different shows and the different Xbox pod, uh, podcasts this week. And I need y'all to understand, it's all about the AAA games. Like, and I, let me, and, and give me like two minutes to, to explain this, right? Because they, <clears throat> because when, when people say, Xbox is inconsistent. They have no consistency. That's why shit don't work out for them. They're looking at all these small, you know, ex experimental, like passion projects that, that we talk about. And they're being like, look, what are you talking about? They're talking about the, the Pentiments, the Grounded. The Gears Tactics. Yeah, the Sea of Thieves. Let, let, me, let me make it clear to y'all. Nobody gives a shit about those. Nobody fucking cares. And let me explain to you, explain what, what I mean by that. I'm not saying, I'm not literally just trying to like remove the importance of those games. Indie games, indie games matter, double A games, games matter. But in the grand scheme of things, triple A games are what matter the most by a large margin. So every, every all of those quality games that y'all talking about Xbox has done, that y'all like, we don't know what people are talking about, look at these quality games. Those are smaller scale, almost 
indie style games. There is so no, BG. there has, there has never been no to go back to 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 get consistency in the triple A space with Xbox. You have to go all the way back to the 360 for triple A games. Though triple A games are what matters the most. I'm sorry, but that is fact. It it, it matters the most sure. on PlayStation. Xbox, N Nintendo. Look, look. We were just talking BG, about. Con hold wrong. on, real, real, real quick, real quick. We were just talking about like con concrete genie earlier, right? Or m a bunch of you, and you could apply this to a bunch of other indie games. Pentiment. Pentiment is the ninety on 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 Meta on Metacritic, right? Concrete genie is is rated highly, right? Doesn't fucking matter. Does not matter. BG, it's got to be the wrong. AAA games. Uh, BG, you're wrong. Game Pass fodder and Psychonauts 2 is what matters. But on a serious note, listen, it's got it's it's got to be the so AAA I games. Say what you're saying because it's, listen, I keep telling people like this: when it comes to gaming, if if we look at it like a wedding cake, the gate you cannot tell me grounded is not the cake. Grounded is the sprinkles on the icing of the cake. Exactly. Then, so, so it's like if you want people to go into, into the store. Invest in Xbox. Xbox is flourish so you can get keep getting more games and Game Pass and keep enjoying it because they're not going to keep doing it if they're losing money. I'm telling you right now, right? So notice how they have never came out in the last year and a half. They haven't told us how much Game Pass subs they have. We haven't heard shit since last January. Funny, right? But my point is, like what BG is saying, it's not that double A's don't matter. It's not that, that, that you can't enjoy your indies or whatever. I love indies. I love Hades. I love um, Hollow Knight 2. I can't wait for Hollow Knight Silk Song to come out. Like, so there's game, but nobody is going to go buy an Xbox Series X to play Hollow Knight. There's nobody picking up an Xbox Series X today. They're like, man, I'm going to spend this $500. I really need to play Pentiment. And man, yeah. I got to play that grounded. I got to go spend this $500. That doesn't happen. So it's like, for y'all to sit there and lie to yourself, it's one thing when you lie to me. What can lie to yourself? Most people, most adults, BG, you have a full-time job, and you do your, your, your weapons wheel and different things like that. I got a full-time job. Most people have a full-time job. You only have a certain amount of time every week you can dedicate the video game. And I am not... That's why when, when Jedi Survivor comes out, everybody put everything down. Yeah. When Final Fantasy 16 comes out, everybody put everything down. Street Fighter 6, everything... You don't have time... No, I'm not putting everything down for, for Pentiment. It's just not going to happen. And it's like, last year they, they, they delivered nothing but Pentiment and Grounded. And niggas are on my, my, uh, on my mentions every day telling me that's just fine. That's perfect for them. They have no and, problem with that. I'm and, like, wow. Like, and that is where the Xbox games struggle the most when it comes to delivering is in the triple A space. It's very clear. And hey, listen, if you don't think triple A games matter, matter the most... In the industry, not only to us, in the industry as a whole, look at the game awards. Any and I don't not not Jeff Keeley's. Look at almost any game award show. Look at the games that win the win the awards. Look at the games that are celebrated the most. They're triple A games. Indie games have their own category that they're awarded for. Overall, the ones that are winning the most awards, yeah, you'll get once in a while. Uh, 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 an uh, uh, indie game is is so special and it breaks out and it and it wins an award sh and it wins award like in in game of the year one of the bigger categories when it's going up against triple a games but for the most part it is the triple a games always has been always will be the most important that's it so um more i got some more quotes from him uh okay so he said that um this this was the this was the big one that a lot of people were talking about. I see commentary, and I'm a, I'm a, this this was the one everybody said like, oh, everybody's misinterpreting what he said, and I'm gonna read what he said exactly. I see commentary that if you just build great games, everything would turn around. It's just not true that if we if we go off and build great games, suddenly you will uh you're going to see console share shift in a dramatic way. So he's talking about market share here. We're not notice missing that said, context. Notice, notice he said if. He said if yeah, we go out yeah, and make if. If, if. if. So we understand he's talking about mar market share. He said the console share shift, it won't shift in a dramatic way. We lost the, mo we lost the worst generation to lose 
uh, in the Xbox One generation where everybody built their digital uh, library of games. So for more context, we understand the context. What he's saying is the last generation was the shift to people creating their digital library, and he's implying that the digital library is the anchor that keeps people in the ecosystem where they're at. So that's why it was like the worst generation to lose. Everybody understands that. Okay. Yes. Um, he said yep. the idea that if we just focused more on great games on our console, that somehow we're going to win the console race, I think, uh, I think doesn't relate to the reality of most people. I see a lot of pundits out there uh, and kind of go back back and forth. Um, you know, about he's talking about cartridges and, and like when shit was a, a new generation, like a clean slate. He said shit is not a clean slate no more. There he said, and finally he said there is no world uh, where if Starfield is an 11 out of 10, <laughs> uh, people will start to sell their PS5s. That well, was the whole thing. Can I speak on this? Yeah, First of all, not only is he 100% correct, and I agree with him, this is why Phil Spencer is the ultimate con man, is snake oil salesman, right? He turned talking about making great games into him saying, well, we're never going to win the generation. Those are two different separate arguments. People want good games. And he's right. Some certain systems like the Wii U. The Wii U had a lot of great games and the system didn't fucking sell. Then they re-released the games and the system sold, right? And them games sold. But the problem is, bro, he he he's alluding to since we're not gonna win, we might as well not even try. That's the fucking issue. I don't think he's wrong, but I think he's wrong in his approach. He sounded fucking defeated. Doesn't like doesn't matter if he wins the generation or not. You have exactly. people who want the console who you have an obligation to. And people who sign up for Game Pass as well as a month to month service, you have an obligation to 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 to, to get quality, great games on there. And it's just the mentality that people are talking about. Like it sounds like a loser mentality, like you're defeated, oh poor us, we can't do anything. The top two. You know what I told somebody the other day that made them laugh? I'm like, Phil Spencer is talking like imagine okay, let's just switch industries for a second. Imagine if somebody came to you and say, We're just in third place in the oil industry. Poor us. How could we ever do anything? We're third place in oil. And you'd be like, nigga, what? You're making billions of dollars. Life is good, right? And the same thing with Microsoft. It's like, you're talking about your third place in the in the gaming industry. I'm like, my nigga, you know how many people would die to be third place? Ask Google. Ask Amazon. Ask any of these other places if they wouldn't take Microsoft's spot in a heartbeat. So for you to sit there and try to act like we should have sympathy, poor, poor trillion dollar company. Oh my Lord. How could this trillion dollar company ever make it? Oh, I'm like, uh, they're doing bad deals because of us. I'm like, nigga, you got $69 billion, but you can't outbid Sony on a goddamn game? Stop it. Stop it right now. Here's the problem. I understand what you guys are saying, but Phil's job is not to make good games. Phil's job is to fucking make money. That's true, too. By making That's good true. games, you could do that. You could do not, both. Not He's he making more money making bad games. Most, he's been making more money making like like yeah, he's exactly. been complaining about. People are saying, "Look how much money they're making." Even Uni said, "Look how much money they're making." You, okay, they're making cool. More money making bad games. Okay, but use that logic. If they're making this much money making bad games, how much more would they make making good games? I don't know. Look at Who's the GameCube. Uh, good they, games they, cost they, money. Yeah, good games cost per, money. For Sean Layden, uh, that's who we said. Is it Sean Layden? They would, they would, they probably would make less okay. money. It's fucked up as a sound. They probably would. Now that I okay, think. so hold on, hold on. Like we, we, we seen the numbers that God of War, God, God of War Ragnarok was a was a very expensive game, but they made yep. their money back damn near instantly plus more. Here's the problem you have though, BG. Here, here's the issue. PlayStation is Ruth Chris. Xbox is McDonald's. It doesn't matter if you serve a steak at McDonald's. It really just don't make sense. You're just wasting your money. They, they have perpetually pinholed their fan base into being consumed by, is it on Game Pass? Is it on Game Pass? Anytime these developers announce a game, why is it on Game Pass? Oh, you should put it on Game Pass. Oh, I'll play it when it's on Game Pass. They don't want to, they've conditioned their fans to not even want to spend money on games. And so you know, at this point, it really doesn't make sense to make these games when they're just getting them for the cheap on Game Pass. And, and you know what the thing is? People debate about, you know, um, the, their interpretation of what, he, what he's saying, you know, all that shit. Can we agree that this is just something you shouldn't say at all? 
Like yep. this, this is not something that the the a VP, I mean, whatever his exact position is, an exact Reg you Reg should Fiesa not say, say you should not say this. Reggie Fiesa may say it some very similar years ago though. What what he said. Whole, the, the whole, he he came out and said that the Nintendo is a great secondary console and they can't compete with PlayStation and Xbox. So that was the whole blue ocean, red ocean strategy. He said, he said they in the, they in the blue ocean by themselves and Xbox and PlayStation gonna cannibalize each other. And that's but, the red. Uh, but he, that's the red. That, that, you know, you know, this, this reminds me of that 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 gaff where the dude said. If you don't have, if you can't get like stable internet, we got the console for you. It's called the 360. Something that stupid. Oh, how can goal. you? Right how, how can you, <laughs> after just dropping a 59 Metacritic game, sit there and say, we, we, if we made great games, it wouldn't really matter. So, what? <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no part of you that said, wait, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say this out loud. Maybe I should keep this to myself. Like because it's like I can't. I know where he was trying to go with it. He was trying to say, look, we can't compete with them console to console because they're, they're saying, we're trying to expand beyond the console. And I understand that. But in order to expand beyond the console, in order to do, do anything, you need amazing games. If if Microsoft had God of War Ragnarok and Last of Us and all of this shit instead of Sony, you know how much bigger the expansion to PC and stuff would be right now. And day one game that big. Exactly. And, and Jack, with the Nintendo, you know, the difference is, is they're, they may say, okay, we're going to go in our own pond. They recognize right? their value, too. They recognize they, they want Ex shit on Exactly. Product, like, exactly. Yeah. Like, Nintendo says, okay, we're, we can't compete with y'all in what y'all do, but we're going to be the best at what we do. Microsoft isn't the best at what they do. We don't even know what they do. We don't even what, know their what, identity. What do, what do they do? What do they do? We, like, listen, we, listen, here's the thing. Like, pl people may, people can point out the fact that there's like this PlayStation template, right? Okay, cool. It's it's this narrative, third person, yada, 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 right? But you know what they do and what they're known for and their identity. Not, not one person, I don't care how much of an Xbox fan you are, you cannot tell me what Xbox's identity is and what they're known for doing. It was, it was multiplayer game, but look at Redfall. Exactly. exactly. You, you can't tell, you can't, outside of they have a service called Game Pass, you cannot tell me what Xbox's identity is. Bro, Don't know. BG, all, no all idea. You're doing is, all you're doing is repeating what I've been saying for the last decade, but continue. <laughs> well, um, and I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you uh, do, do your uh, thing in a, in a minute, Bond. Uh, the, I think I got uh, one other quote. One more? Okay. Okay. I, yeah, and I don't... I, he he kind of said this like laugh, like joking wise, but he could be serious. It was kind of like, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think. He said, um, at some point, I will, I will have enough knocks against me that it's someone else here doing this. Like kind of joking about the fact that like, you know, he may not be in this position at some point because he has too, too many fuck ups. That's just, I, I try he not to read too I try not to read too much into that, but like I don't know why exactly you would put that out there and and, and say because, that. Uh, over the last forty eight hours, you had a bunch of bunt much dorks uh, calling for his job. That's so he, that, he, he alluded to that several times during that. He, he did. So y'all get on your knees and, and defend him. That's why he did that. So all for all we know, his boss was calling for his job, nigga, telling him one more fuck up. For all you know, he might have got the, the word from on high. Satya Nadella, that this is unacceptable. We spending seventy billion dollars. That deal is fucked up. Now y'all doing this shit. This not gonna happen anymore. Like, like maybe that's why he said that because he was just like, yo, bro, I've been hearing this internally and externally. So he looks tired. You know, like, he looks stressed. Exactly. He looks tired yeah. of getting get chewed out by the, by the by the board of Microsoft. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I, I know y'all like Phil, and Phil is a good guy. You know, he's a nice person. I'm not against him personally. It's just that this is a, a results based business. And if we can't get the results, you're going to have to get somebody new. I, it just is what it is, my nigga. I said the same thing with Bonnie Ross. I said the same thing with him. It's like, bro, if he can't get the right people in charge, then he needs to go. And, and look, I think Phil Spencer is, should, is great at Microsoft. But that his previous position and this position, I don't think he's the right person for that specifically. I think he, there's an absolute position for him. But I think the person at hair has to be very like games focused and kind of cutthroat well cutthroat in a, in a what in a way that, that, so i think he just they actually deserves have to, supervise to be somewhere shit is what you're saying they actually got to do something yeah i just think i just think he has to be somewhere somewhere else not like a not even like a demotion 
just some somebody so, who is like more hands on and like yeah, very so, super honest focused. Question. Honest question. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to throw. What does so I'm gonna ask Uni and Smooth. What the fuck does he do? Seriously, what does he do? If he ain't over supervising them the studios, what does this nigga do? S- strategy and decisions. I think make decisions. I guess. I, I guess. Yeah, he he is on. The, he's at the. He sits at. He's at the. He's at the highest tier. He's what he's at. My, he sits uh, right under Satya. He's right under Satya. Yeah, yeah. So it's technically like he really. I mean, and this is going to say he really shouldn't be talking to niggas. Yeah, like, so, so, I, so, I, I agree. He shouldn't be talking. Right? It should be Matt Booty. Phil, yeah, Phil Spencer Matt. should not be like at the, when you look at the actual position that Phil Spencer has. There's no way he should be talking to kind of funny. And I don't mean that in like a in like a condescending like he's too good. Nobody at that position should be talking to anybody. Like, like in, in that way, no, nobody, bro. He's way too high, way too high. Well, he don't have a choice, shit. nigga. He don't have a choice. Well, he the face like, of nigga, Xbox. I mean, he's he he like, a spokesperson. Like, he not, you see, he, he could, there's two, there's two ways to do this. You can do it the way Phil Spencer's doing it or do it the way Jim Ryan do it, where Jim Ryan came out and said, you know, we're going to make the games do the talking. I would, I would much prefer Phil Spencer to do that. than have to come out and do interviews every other, every other six months to apologize for something new. Like, if let he just ask- say, fuck it, we ain't gonna apologize for shit, we're gonna let the games talk for us. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time Nintendo's done any of these kind of interviews? Mm, they don't. Exactly. exactly. They don't. Never. Um, Never. Because you only do it out of necessity. You don't do it because you want yeah. to. Every Like, once a year, Jim Ryan picks one magazine, and it'll be some, it won't even be a gaming uh, publication. He'll go talk to GQ Give men or some wide, shit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like GQ, well, uh, sexiest man alive. Yeah, like bro, like, like Jim, why are you talking to GQ, dog? Like, what are you? But he don't care. He's like, I'm gonna talk to who I want to talk to. I can talk to like that's how he is. Like, and okay, the he also mentioned the you know the out consoling Sony thing, out consoling Nintendo thing. We, we kind of talked about that. Right, he exactly. said there's no great solution for a. Wi- and what I wanted to say about that is like. No, you don't need you don't need to get nobody to sell their PS5s. I don't like that's that's dumb. You don't need nobody to do that. You all you need to do, you don't got to get me to sell my PS5, but can you get me to want an Xbox? That that's all. Just get me to want it. Like N- Nintendo didn't get get didn't get me to sell my PS5, but they got me to buy a Switch. And also talking him talking about like kind of accepting that they're also going to be in always going to be in third place because of the scenario like playstation's a bigger brand and all that shit i feel like you can you can be in third place gracefully you know what i'm saying like you you there's a difference between like being in third place and being a lap behind somebody and being in third place and being two seconds behind somebody that's a tight race like y- y'all are not losing gracefully y'all are it's embarrassing if if you if it was close, like like, like, like look, if, if they were putting he out to blame good Sony, he tried yeah, to blame like, Sony with the deals and stuff, right? And I'm like, but bruh, Sony doesn't stop you. Sony had nothing to do with Redfall. Sony had nothing to do with you not delivering any game, AAA game for 18 months straight. Yeah. That's not Sony. That's you. So it's like if you handle your shit, if they handle their shit with the first party exclusive bangers, then more people are gonna come to the platform. And the, the ex- third party deals, exclusive deals, going to get a lot cheaper. But because they're not delivering on the first party stuff, then a lot of people not buying Xbox, which makes the third party deals more expensive to get. So it all revolves around making great games. And it's like, it's crazy because Phil was there through the 360 era. I'm like, Phil, you was there. You was there. Yeah, I, I think. And now you're trying to act like you don't know. Yeah, I, I think great games um, can be the solution for everything. It, it doesn't take one game. It doesn't take two or even three. You got to do it over a long period of time with several games. And I, I believe, and once again, you don't have to, even if you're quote unquote third place, you console, people are always going to console war. That, that's not going to change. But once again, if you put out good games that people appreciate and, and, and are acclaimed people are always going to console war but it's not like people can necessarily say oh all your games are are garbage or all, all the ones that matter are garbage they're just going to be like oh you're third place you and, and you could at least have that dignity that be like listen we're at least putting out we're still putting out good games we you can't know, touch we can't touch that brand but we're still putting out good games you know the you're problem not even though, doing that. If, if they were putting out decent games that people was fucking with 
all this you in this place that wouldn't even be no conversation niggas don't niggas would not be talking they would be like they got good games and they got good like motherfuckers really yeah. wouldn't care about that shit at the end of the day bro yeah because They'd technically be technically even though like the timing of the consoles where they're at and and even though they claim they're in different shit like technically playstation isn't is in second place if you count Nintendo, but nobody is like looking at PlayStation and, and Nintendo l- like they just like they just you know like one is worse than the other because you can't really you can't really shit on either one of them because they're both doing their thing they both got something to offer at the end of the day yeah yeah and and lastly um they did ask him about about Starfield uh whether it's gonna well they didn't ask him whether it's gonna be thirty frames or sixty frames they asked him if if, there, if there's gonna be a clear message. And he said, yes, there will be a clear message. Uh, I, it's like I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because he looked very, I, I guess, kind of confident. Mean, and I took that as, okay, maybe it's go- that means he's certain. He's certain of what it's going to be. Maybe he's certain it's going to be 60 frames. But I've, I'm like, I don't know if I can give you all the benefit of the doubt. But he's certain he knows what it's going to be. If y'all had to yeah, bet. Yeah. Uni, uni, it's going to be, be 30 frames, man. I think be 30, um, like, like, the best thing to do is just lower your expectations so you don't get, you know, like, like I think it's going to be 30. It's okay. Like I said, it's a big trip. Um, listen, man, listen, beggars can't be choosers now, man. I take anything that's great. <laughs> wow. Yeah, fuck it. Like, it, it is what it is. Like, I, my Xbox needs yeah. something great. Like, I, I, listen, I'll take it. <laughs> fuck it. Like, listen. Uh, yo, here's the thing, right? I'm being right. Yeah. I was will like me personally. I thought like I was willing to concede if Starfield was thirty um, FPS because I is just assume Redfall would be like sixty FPS or better. I, that's all I just assumed. So, but the fact and the thing is, uh, Starfield is going to be a more ambitious game. But also, Phil Spencer also let like kind of hinted in that interview that they had all their focus on Starfield. Like that's who was uh, they were helping Be- Be- uh, Bethesda, like the the internal uh, studios and other like assistants um, were all at the Starfield, and that they should have went to to get Redfall to where it needed to be. They were they were supposed to really like hit that like last fall, and they didn't. But yeah, um, is it time? Has uh, well, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out to Titan, um, because he gifted like thirty. Uh, well, twenty subs. Uh, appreciate Damn. that. Titan bit a, been, has been a big contributor to uh, you know the Discord and, yes, and the channel. Shout out to him. Shout out Titan. Shout um, out Titan. We, we, so, we go on overtime today. Yeah. Bond wants to do a rant, so we're gonna let him do an un, 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 yeah. uninterrupted, I guess, Xbox hate hateful rant. Y'all, y'all let him just do it, so we can you know get you know. We, are, we don't get it done in ten minutes because last. All right, BG. Yeah. Go ahead. I gotta go, bro. All right, man. Appreciate you. Um, All right, you're in. All right, man. I hate your guts, but we know. Uh, you know, rant away, rant, rant away, my nigga. We know. All right, um, all right, what's his name? Um, Jack, move. What's good, my nigga? Um, hey, smooth. Sir. Everything. All the people in the chat. All the fuck boys. Fuck y'all, niggas. But anybody that's cool, you know, fuck with me. You need to send say on Twitter, whatever the case may be. Yo, it is what uh, it is. I like war, warrior, warriors, and what? <laughs> warriors in six. Oh man. Warriors in six. They not gonna lose another game, my guy. Oh, I'm right. telling you right all now. Right. Okay. All right, bro. Okay, are we ready, everybody? Because the main event is here. Last time on Weapon Wheel Z, Xbox hardware sales down 30%. Sony first console, first console manufacturer sell 500 million. Xbox Five. version of Redfall capped at 30 frames per second. Microsoft raising prices of $70. UK blocks Microsoft's $69 billion deal. Microsoft has to pay a $3 billion breakup fee. Halo leadership exodus continues. Starfield delay breaks major promises. Critically acclaimed Hi-Fi Rush didn't make the money it wanted to make. Xbox Game Pass does decrease base game sales, and the CMA block merger also prohibits Microsoft from trying for another 10 years. But on today's episode, yo, Mm. I just got to say, I love the hypocrisy of people now trying to act self-righteous or trying to act Sane or trying to act like the voice of reason, let it be known right here. And as the Discord, shout out to y'all, has already shown, people's past tweets are forever. They don't go away because y'all been pulling them up and exposing them. And like I've been saying, 
for the last decade on Xbox because Xbox has not been good. It has been faltering since the last few years, the last few years of the 360. I have been right. Everyone else has been wrong. Your tweets last forever, and Xbox is dog shit. Redfall, mock internal review, rated it double digits higher, says Phil Spencer. You know, it's crazy to me how people say, oh, but did you play it? Oh, but did you play it? Oh, but did you play it? Did uh, Skip Bayless play basketball? I mean, he kind of did, Jack, but I guess he really didn't. Did uh, Stephen A. Smith play in the NBA? Did Stan and Sharp play any professional sport besides football? But now all of a sudden, pretty much the most experienced gamer in the space outside of maybe seventh level in hard eight. And I probably have more than hard eight just because he went to prison for eight years. Pause. It, it just is what it is. But now people that have beaten games like Mega Man and Mario Brothers between the ages of three and five don't have credibility. And now the eye test doesn't matter. There's a reason, people. Well, I have won over $3,000 against Kid Smooth. It's because I have the intelligence, the foresight, and the gaming experience to look at a game, to look at its mechanics, to look at its graphics, to look at its developer, to look at its history, and to discern that the game is going to be good or the game is going to be dog shit. I have not been wrong yet, and if somebody can prove or show me where I'm wrong, please let me know. Otherwise, put your money where Smooth's mouth is and bet me, because Balls. you will lose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out here making money. I have not bought a game since 2014. I think Damn. Smooth has legitimately bankrolled all my games. So I don't want to hear this crew, you have to play I don't need to play it. Just like nobody needs to play basketball to know Michael Jordan is the best of all time or LeBron is nice or you don't need to play. People have eyes. People can use them. As far as the mock internal reviews go, again, it's crazy. I can look at a game and tell you it's dog shit. These guys got people playing a game and can't. They're flying people over like Cole East where they've been over shaking their ass, twerking on Phil Spencer. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Yeah, Phil. It's going to be an 87, <laughs> Phil. It's going to be an 87. Nah, it's a 59. Shaking that like, Y'all need to stop. Mm. The whole Xbox fan base has been fraudulent forever. I mean, like, this is... I haven't seen a gaming fan base this bad since the uh, early PS3 days on YouTube when, like, the PS3 was absolute dog shit towards the end of the Wii and the whole duration of the Wii U. Like, this is like, 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 there are literally people on Twitter saying, Redfall is fun. Don't let people bully you. Like, don't, don't listen to these people. In fact, if somebody's even dumb enough to own and prefer an Xbox, their credibility in gaming, any thoughts, views, and opinions they have don't matter. Mm. Don't listen to anybody who games on an Xbox. That's like taking car advice from somebody that takes the bus. <laughs> Just don't do it. I'm sorry. Like another thing is, I don't think that a company should be having internal people doing a mock review. Shouldn't you bring in some outside party? They were contractors. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good then, because like I, I feel like you know. But then again, if they're contra I, I don't know how you do it, but I feel like the people that come in to do these mock reviews are probably pressured to give them better feedback than because they want to come back. I mean, I mean, come on, like, let, let's just say they hired me to go up and do these mock reviews and I come in here and spitting on them. You think they're going to have me back? I was Fuck wondering no. that as well, if it was going to be like if they were third party or if there was somebody just trying to, you know, get in their good graces and stay on the team type shit. Yeah, fuck and on, on how many even viewed the game was it 10 niggas or, or 50 75 exactly. you know what I mean? good point and you know alex was making some good points earlier which makes no sense what uni was saying uni is hyping up psychonauts uni is hyping up game pass uni is calling everybody hypocrites oh you psychonauts is it's so good you gotta play it on game pass you're a hypocrite only to later say that people don't go out and buy consoles for Game Pass and indie games, like which would be what Psychonauts is, a Kickstarter indie game, am I right? So like the whole time this dude was arguing with me, he would argue with me, get emotional, only to later go on diatrides, literally agreeing with me and Alex 
on points he was arguing against us earlier. How the hell does that make sense? How are you going to argue with me and Alex with points and then later agree with us with the really? very points you were arguing about? It's some you know real what? dirt, dirt you know activity. That's what it's saying. Pretty much, I just caught myself in a tongue twister. I almost, I called him, I almost called him Looney instead of Uni. But you know what? That's your new name, Xbox Looniversary, <laughs> because your shit is Looney Tunes. It don't make sense. I mean, we got more shit talking about we didn't do a good job early on engaging with Arcane Studios to really help them understand what it meant to be a first party game and to be useful. I mean. I look at this two ways. If I was a first party studio worth any salt and I went over to Xbox, I probably wouldn't want them bothering me either because I don't want their stench on my game. Cut me the check and I'll take care of business. On the other hand, they literally did say that we are going to contract developers and we are going to be hands off with them and give them the freedom and the resources to do what they want. I'm pretty right when I said that. Am I right? Can somebody chime in on that? Jack? Yes, yes. Somebody's mic is going crazy. I think Jack in the bathroom again. No, but yeah. So I I don't understand why Phil is saying, oh, we didn't do a good enough job. You really said you were hiring developers basically to give them the check and the resources and to be completely hands off. Now you were completely hands off in which that was your strategy. They fuck up. And now your argument is, oh, well, we weren't hands on enough. Well, are you hands off or you hands on? It's kind of like when BG says, you know, you got a talent like Kojima who's crazy, but he's talented, but he just needs like his little overseer or, you know, somebody like kind of guide coach because like, you know, his talent could just, you know, kind of get off the rails a bit. But like, all are a hundred percent right. in what you say about Phil Spencer is like the worst kind of leader. The things and the decisions he makes and does continuously contradict himself. Oh, we need to be hands off. Oh, we weren't hands on enough. Oh, we uh, want to make high quality games. Oh, we aim to make games between 60 and 90. I'm sorry. When you go to take a test, I mean, you're kind of aiming for like a 70 or above. You know, if you're kind of smart, 80 or above. If you're a genius, 90 above. Is anybody really aiming for anything in the 60s and anything in life? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like you're you're a trillion dollar company. Oh yeah, we're aiming between the si- like you. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, yeah, some games are going to end up in the 60s. It happens. But is anybody really going into something like hmm, we're aiming for a 60? Uh, like no, dog. Like come on. Like like their whole corporate structure is just absolutely incompetent, and they're brain dead goofy ass looney tunes fanboys uni is one of them because uni was out there gassing him up you remember how he was complaining about oh they were worried about microsoft's money didn't you just tell us they have a nice night like yeah, well, <laughs> the, 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 night, the, night, the night ain't over yet but well, what you know, i'm Bond always leave the door open for he's yeah, exactly. like have a great one bro like <laughs> yeah but a, a, anyway he was complaining about other Xbox fans, you know, propping up how much money they make, how what they make is irrelevant. But he's got tweets himself saying, oh, well, Xbox is making this. Microsoft is making that. Deal with it. So I don't understand how he hating on people that have done the same actions he's been doing. But like I said... Now the Xbox fans, they're up against the wall. They got nowhere to go. It's the fucking fourth quarter. They down by 20. They looking like Ben Simmons with the ball down by one point, trying to drive to the hoop, not getting fouled. They're desperate. You even heard what Uni said at the end. If it's 30 frames per second, it don't matter. Beggars can't be choosers. I'll be damned if a company pays. What do they pay for uh, Zenimax and Bethesda? Uh, damn, three, it was three seven billion? billion, seven oh, billion, okay. seven yeah. billion dollars for 30 frames per second. If you release in a game at 30 frames per second, it better be on the motherfucking switch. Absolutely crazy. I mean, we build games of the review in the 60s. You shouldn't be afraid. Well, Microsoft is very afraid because they buy all these studios. And what have we seen from any of these studios? And Phil Spencer says he's not trying to out console Sony or Nintendo. Okay, I kind of agree with that under the, this frame of reference. Like I said, Sony's got their niche, Nintendo's got their niche. I said Microsoft should get rid of the X and their niche should be welfare, EBT gaming, Series S only. 
I mean, if they're only going to put out these, you know, trashy ass subpar aim for the 60s game pass 59 69 games then why do you need high-end hardware just have a nice small 250 300 console game pass it up have that niche be done with it and if why he says great games alone don't change anything is absolutely asinine i mean you saw what happened with the ps3 versus the 360 the ps3 was getting stomped out the PS3 came back. We've seen it plenty of times that good games will always change things. The problem with Xbox and Microsoft is this. They will release one good game every five years. Like, see, it didn't change anything. You have to release a consistent freak of games. They're like a football team saying, oh, we're 0-16. Winning one game won't matter. Of course it won't. You got to win like 9, 10, 11. You, you got to make the playoffs. One game ain't going to do nothing. And to say that they lost the uh, the most important generation is a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit, and it's the biggest fucking cop out there is. And here's why. Everybody already has all their digital libraries already together. Game Pass, first of all, is the biggest digital library anybody can have, first of all. Nintendo had no digital library with the Wii U. That shit didn't even have a fucking hard drive. And Nintendo went from their least successful system in that generation to their most successful situation and console system, whatever platform, in the next generation. But Microsoft fails to realize that. So they didn't even lose the last generation. Nintendo lost the last generation. Nintendo had their worst... Yo, the Wii U barely outsold the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast was only on the market for two and a half years, dog. Like some of y'all don't understand how bad the Wii U was. But Nintendo came back and turned it around with you know proper support, online gameplay, consistent string of high quality games. But Microsoft, Phil Spencer, oh, um, we have to give up. We can't out console. And like, first of all, this is crazy, right? Imagine if you were a coach of any professional team. Oh, well, uh, I know it's a playoff game, uh, but we have no chance. Uh, yeah, we can't beat them. Uh, we can't outrun them. We can't out Like, this dude, this is the leader of your company, of a trillion-dollar organization, a billion-dollar brand. And he's acting like he's defeated. He's acting like some social reject virgin that got rejected at the bar. Mm. Oh, I can't get any better. Like, 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 first of all, as soon as the Redfall shit came out, that interview should have been scrapped. They should have made up some sickness. His dog died. His girlfriend got run over. Something. He did not need to be on that video. That, that video of that interview didn't do anything for him. And worst of all is... You think it's bad for gamers? Imagine if you're an investor and you watch that interview. You really confident in investing in Microsoft? I mean, like, you're a game company. Maybe you want to work with Microsoft. Maybe you want to sell to Microsoft. You looking at that interview, that conference, like, you really thinking you're you really being confident of selling your IP and your organization over to Microsoft? This is what I was saying earlier. BG is 100% right. If you want to work with Microsoft, you better hope your face isn't on any kind of literature or nothing because you work for Microsoft. Rest assured, everybody in this regime ain't ever getting another job with Nintendo, Sony, whoever again. This is it. They done. Done. I mean, at some point... Ah, you know what, guys? I, I hate to say it, but, you know, the move might just be for Microsoft to get the Dragon Balls and use them on that man, because he could probably do a better job than Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer needs to get that man. Phil Spencer is doing an awful job. And Starfield, a clear message, the, the, the clear message, 60 frames per second should be the only message. Mm. Did you just say they should reincarnate a dead man instead of having feels? <laughs> yes. Get the Dragon Ball, <laughs> yes, yes. Spine Ball, that's, Breeze, that's hilarious. whatever. Like, 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 oh, oh, that man is doing a better job running running brand than phil spencer he, ain't, he, he said nigga in hell doing saying please understand no no nah, nah, he ain't in hell he living up in heaven he's yeah, why he gotta okay. hell? Yeah, he's, oh, he's, just assume he's know. smoking blunts living the good life looking at all this dumbass like like this shit is crazy like watch for, yeah. all, for all for all the flack that people give nintendo you really think nintendo of all like see for better or for worse right 
Nintendo and Sony act like they've been there before. They act oh, like they're God. above the fuck shit. They act professional. These Xbox dudes, they want to be everybody's friend. Oh, we want to game Xbox together. Balls, oh, yeah. oh, we want to game together. We we believe in this. You're like, no. What y'all should believe in is putting out a high quality product and standing by your product. Not saying, oh, we can't do this. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, we can't compete. Like, I'm sorry. If you still have an Xbox at this point, and it's not like your kids, I mean, like BG said, if I, when we have kids, we get in a Series S, we get in Game Pass, we put it on a TV in the corner, leave me alone. But outside of that, if you're a grown ass adult that has your own job, pays your own bills, has your own money, files your own taxes, and you have an Xbox, like, I need you to see psychiatric help. This is absolutely insanity. This is a worse situation, in my opinion, than the Wii U. I mean, at least with Nintendo, like the dudes from Japan, but like, like they weren't showing up to kind of funny gaming and just being like, bro, he, Phil Spencer essentially waved the white flag. Rhetorically, metaphorically, analytically, and analogy, like he did. He waved the the white flag. He went on as far as to say that at some point I'll have enough knocks on me that somebody else will be here doing this. O- imagine if you went into your own job tomorrow, like they're like, "Yo, uh, BG, you're not doing a good job." And you're like, "Well, you know, at some point, you know, somebody else is probably gonna do be doing my job, right?" Like, huh? This shit sounds crazy, sad, self defeated. Like th- this shit is bad, dog. Like. I cannot believe they have anybody with this stature, this kind of, I hate to use it, but this dude's a fucking beta male leading this company. Oh. Like, <laughs> this dude's got no balls, no oh, fucking shit. ass. Like, like you, you expect to see dudes that are in charge of these major companies to act like fucking G's, to act like they're actually running these big ass companies. This dude act like he camping out at Best Buy with fucking Tim Dog. He's tapping it. He. Huh? All right. He's oh, already, how are you, how are you he's, trying to finish that? How you trying what? To finish that? No, I'll say he's tapping out. Yeah, he's man. Oh, tapping yeah. Ass. I thought it's you said he was tapping man. in that front. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's like, like I'm, I'm saying Bond killing this man. He's already dead. Like, ease up on him. Yeah, yeah man. He's already like, teasing it. What the fuck? You know, I, I want to keep ranting on Xbox and like, yeah, but yes. like. Please don't. At, at this, I'm, I'm about to end this, but at this point, it's like we're not even beating a dead horse. We're shooting it. We're running it over. We're fucking it. We're put like, it's, whoa, it's whoa. over dog. And, and here's the sad part. This isn't even bad just for the Xbox series X. I think at this point, the Xbox brand is irredeemable. It's over. Like mm-hmm. this is a, this is a brand to me that th- there's no coming back. It's done. As far as the gaming space goes, Sony is never going to be challenged on the home console front unless aliens fucking descend upon the earth and have some magical, crazy technology. Sony will not be defeated in the home console market. And hey, Nintendo's Bob. got the handheld market on lock. And you know what the crazy thing is before I, before I finish up? Think about the strategies that Microsoft has been utilizing to try to combat Nintendo and Sony. They've been trying to do everything but make games oh we're gonna have game pass oh we're gonna have it accessible oh we're gonna have the cloud oh you're gonna play everywhere they're literally trying to do everything to win gaming but actually make games and to me that's an insane strategy i'm done that's my rant who knows if there'll be another week? I know y'all came to see me. Y'all ain't come to see that lion fuck nigga. My <laughs> rant is over. I got a question, Bon. Um, when do you think was the last biggest brand blunder that you've seen? The Wii U. What? Mm, okay. But they well, redeemed us. So I'm talking about like a they, blunder where you haven't seen them re- that brand or company has never recovered since. Like a brand in general or a game in general? If you feel like Xbox has soiled their home console experience to where it almost is like the Battlefield franchise, like nobody even thinking about the next uh, rehashing of it, would it be 
I mean, Medal of Honor is gone. There, there's a lot of franchises that aren't around anymore. Man. Everybody's saying Sega in the comments. Yeah, that's, yeah. All I was, I, that's all I was. That's I was gonna say. Like, but Sega actually makes good games. They just ran out of money. If Sega had mm-hmm. Microsoft money, Sega would have never went under. I, I got a question. I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, they bring up the fact that you know Sony is the bigger brand, and they're they're in more territories, right? What is is there a reason like Xbox? I don't know because they're American and Sony's Japan that that Xbox can't um like I guess put their console in more territories or put them there fast like I don't understand that. It was their, a name recognition. Their, I feel like their product is just trash because Apple products sell very well in Japan and everywhere but, but, across the world. It's but not, people it's not people talk that. like they can't people talk like they can't put it there. Like not that it's what well, the thing is. It's kind of it's kind of who the fuck is that my house. Because well, I'm like, I understand well, I, it doesn't sell it sell much in, in other in, places. In Japan, but, in Japan, their games don't appeal to that market. Yeah, Europe, but I'm not, they, I, I know Jap- I know Japan, but pe- I'm talking about like even other territories. People act like like Xbox can't be there or something. You know what I'm saying? Well, BG, let me let, let me ask you, right? If if you were selling ten units a week in Japan, would you even bother putting your product in Japan? No. Yeah, they, but, stopped, they stopped selling three sixty. You had to import it during after a while. Yeah, yeah, but so like I, th- I think it's just a matter of people just generally not caring about the Xbox and other territories that they don't even waste their time providing the product for potential. It's the exact opposite of what a uh, Asian person would want. It's a big ass console with some games they don't want to play. Why would they buy it? Like, yeah, it's just that shit. when when no people JRPGs, talk about that, right. when people talk about that, they act like they make it sound like those countries sometimes just aren't allowing Xboxes to be sold. Like, oh, like you know, PlayStation is everywhere. I'm like, well, well, is is that? their fault like is why isn't xbox everywhere like you know what you I'm know saying? why like, you know why remember smooth used to say but why does worldwide matter mm. they I never mean, got a strong foothold in anywhere but america uh, they never uh, did it's, it's, it's xenophobia no oh my god <laughs> oh, now um, you know what that word mean okay yeah now he the, knows he got the, told. The, the problem with xbox has been uh, it was the same pro. Okay, it's the same problem that the Wii U had. The, the machine and the platform won't get better until the core diehard fan base gets to the point where they're going to demand change. It got the Wii U got so bad. You had people like Shokyo that just said, "Fuck it, I'm done." Like, think about all the Wii U guys, all the Nintendo guys around the Wii U era. They're gone. They don't make any content anymore. They left. Like all these dudes, like Triforce showing up to New York, you know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be at the uh, like all like it, it was done. So until like question. like like for example, like why would these dudes change their ways when they got dudes like Tim Dog literally willing to clean the shit out of their ass? Ew! Wow. You got got his kids drawing pictures on posted on the refrigerator of Phil Spent. Like like this shit is crazy, dog. Grown oh, ass men that can't like the the fact that he even tried to debate Alex the difference between like a Netflix or a Peacock shout out to the cock uh, yes, sir. digital movie subscription to Game Pass only to them later say well people buy consoles not for indie games they buy it for, for a big triple like it, it, it's just all I can't anymore dog like I I used to like crush on these consoles because you're like like. I have never talked about a more defeated platform ever. At least, like the Nintendo dudes would try to fight back, but these niggas are done. I, I want to so- ask y'all: um, Do y'all think you know? He's speaking on the digital uh, library and how important it was. Do y'all do y'all feel like to y'all? Because to me, it's not. Do y'all it's feel not. like y'all digital y'all digital library would keep you? From investing in like another another platform, like it would still nope. keep you there no matter what. The only, um, the, uh, yeah, the, the only digital platform and library that would matter in that situation is Steam's. The the problem with his argument with that specifically is he's referring to game ownership, and as we've seen and trends have shown, Xbox users do not typically care about owning their games. So I don't see how that's relevant to his argument. You know what I'm saying? Say, you got Game Pass. Like, you don't own them games. I was going to say back then, before they allowed all these games to have uh, secondary profiles, back then, niggas didn't switch their games over because their online profile, I'm not about to start over from level one on multiplayer. 
or I'm not about to, you know, get all my shit back. Fortnite, Call of Duty, Siege. Nowadays, you can just have a, a Ubisoft account or a Activision account, and that shit carries over. So, I mean, nowadays, it wouldn't be as bad. People yeah. don't even like investing it, like, going to other platforms just based off, like, trophies and achievements. So, I don't doubt that, you know, digital libraries play a part in it. No, no. Hold up, Andrew. Nintendo doesn't even have achievements. And look what they're doing. Yeah, I know that. But Nintendo, Nintendo, you know, they're kind of like a different... Like in a different sector compared to Microsoft and Sony. At this People point. like so to stay kinda... in, a, in an ecosystem they're comfortable with. Man. Yeah, That's where they got yeah. all their shit. That's where they want to stay in. To mm-hmm. me, like my digital library is honestly not that Im- important to me. Um, I, I, I could honestly lose all the games I bought last generation. I wouldn't really, I don't, I don't, I don't really play them like that. So it just doesn't determine. They, they, yo, I've literally sold, I don't know if I told people this, but I, I sold my, my original Steam account and they had mad games. I sold it to somebody. Uh, you te- technically, that's illegal, um, or they don't want you to do that. But I sold it. I'm like, eh. I, and I just started over and with with the games I wanted to buy in in, in the future. Why so did you sell it again? I remember you doing that. What was the point of that? I just, I, I didn't care. Like, I just like, I didn't care. I just like, eh, I'm starting. Somebody over. like offer but, you let, money. Let, for let me or? ask you. Let me ask you guys something then, right? Because Nintendo. If we want to admit it or not, they did get out consoled by Xbox and Sony as well. Sony got out handhelded by Nintendo, so they kind of went into their own lane, did their own successful thing. Me personally, I'm of the mind that no matter how many good games Microsoft has, their fan base has shown a propensity to not buy games. There's a reason they had to go to PC when, you know, Quantum Break was coming out. And ever since moving forward, they've been day one on PC. And there's a game pass to back it up because they just weren't buying their game. So they had to do something to get them interested. Do you think they just need to find a whole nother approach to gaming, period, but still provide gaming content to the consumers? Yes, Blanche, I told you. Get rid of the X, make a $200 console, wealth it up, game pass. I, I, I think game whatever pass. approach whatever approach you take, you, the games still have to be good. There's no approach you can take that like the quality of the games won't matter. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying like they, yeah. they should just make bad games or whatever. Hey man, yeah. 25 yeah. million subs, man. I don't give a fuck about the quality of them games, man. Yeah, I'm just saying like we've also had like history show that great games also don't sell a console no matter how many people praise it. Like when the, even when the Switch was coming out, you guys were like reminiscing about the GameCube and saying, why can't Nintendo just go back to that? But the consumer showed that no matter how many good games that it had, even if it didn't have the bulk of third party games that were on the PS2, it still had it still had a respectable amount of games that were worthy of picking up a GameCube. But well, well here's the problem also, Blandrew. You were basically competing with the the biggest juggernaut console of all time. I feel like if the Xbox or GameCube existed in any other generation outside of going up against the PS2, they would have both fared better. But Sony was just... And, like, real, really, if the PlayStation 3 didn't knock Sony down to Earth a little bit, I don't even think the Xbox exists right now. And, and my, even though um, the GameCube sold the least that generation, was anybody... I didn't see it. Was anybody, like, talking like the, like the GameCube was, like, this piece of dog shit console? No, like it's it's a very respectable console. But exactly. No, mat- that no, mat- is- false. That w- in school we would call that shit the GameCube. Well, that, that's that's. Huh? Yeah, well, you've been doing this since you was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, they have games though, man. But that was my point that I, I I made earlier. You can be in third place and be respectable. It, like no, it, I never saw nobody like insult the GameCube besides people at Bond School. That's what I, that's all I was saying earlier. Well, the biggest knock of the GameCube growing up was Kitty, Childish, GameCube. Same no thing GTA, is, same thing no, as always. No, but no GTA. I did knew knew like one kid that used to call it the lame cube, but outside of him, whew, did you kill him? Yeah. Bars. You went to no. school with Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to get out of here. Just, I just want to point out some other stuff. Um, oh, and, and one, one last thing. I, yeah, I do absolutely believe people want uh, Xbox to be the green PlayStation. We've been seeing this for like the past couple years now. Like when um X. Yeah, like when um even like when Spider Man got announced for PlayStation, the Xbox guys were like, "Well, where's our where's our game? Game? Yeah, we should get Black Panther. We should get the X Men. You know, X Men, Xbox. Get it, feels like get to work on it. Like no, Last of Us comes out. It's always brought back to Xbox. Uncharted comes out, God of War, Horizon. It's all Xbox. Always, it, it always goes. Back, it always, Blanchard always goes back to Rise. 
Yeah. So do yeah. do and not only that, it's like even like with the third party deals, like um, Forspoke and Final Fantasy VII remake, Final Fantasy XVI, <laughs> Stellar Blade. Like, there's always conversation. So do, like, do, why can't this be on Xbox? Do PlayStation fans want that, or do Xbox fans want that? It's Xbox, Xbox fans, guys. They're the ones making the most noise. It, it yep. was weird to me when Xbox guys were. It's a little bit of both. And it's a little bit of both, though. A lot of the reason why PlayStation and crying about Persona nice. coming it's to both. The Xbox. Reason why PlayStation fans shit on Xbox allegedly is because they don't have quality clear games. The game they don't. All right then. So it's the same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say this right. Um, I had no problem with the interview. It's the most human. I think I've ever seen Phil Spencer um, oh, be. Um, <laughs> no, I, I the bar is in hell. I hate when people say that. Though. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's some of you when I've seen him. Is that because you thought he was a juggernaut at first? No, I'm just saying. It was just like, it, it was a, a good interview. Got a lot of insight. I it have was. no problem with what was said. Um, you know what I mean? I, I understand people don't, uh, they think it's like him giving up or whatever. It, it's just recognized reality. That's all it is. It, are, oh, are they, oh, are oh, 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 they in fair place or not? Are they in fair place or not? Time out, smooth. Oh, this God. nigga Phil Spencer has only said what I've just been saying for the past 10 years, but now you appreciate what he said? Appreciate, yeah. appreciate and acknowledge me. Because I've been <laughs> saying what he should have been saying 10 years ago. Yo, mm. you're a hater. Oh, you're a hater. You know what you're talking about. But now that white honky says what I've been saying. Oh my God. And now wow. y'all believe him. That's racist. Bond, oh. you, Bond, you, gotta, you gotta get a fat head. This, so like, this is crazy. What the this, my, like, this, like, this is crazy. The problem I do have with Xbox fans say, saying that, honky. no, what, what... <laughs> The problem I have with Xbox fans saying that no, I absolutely believe that that Phil is right is what he's saying that the that the games won't won't change anything, and I'm like, bro, just the just the other day, y'all were all talking about how things were gonna change if y'all got Activision and and the market share was gonna change. They were literally just talking about that because they literally said Call Call of Duty is is so important and, and so big that people would. Uh, would uh, leave PlayStation and come to play Call of Duty on Xbox, even though it's still going to be on PlayStation, not just because it's cheaper. Y'all thought that that would happen, not because y'all would y'all was getting Call of Duty exclusively, but just because the game was cheaper. So now y'all telling telling me suddenly the the type of games you get don't matter, even though Call you know Call of Duty that that's more because of popularity than quality. You get my point. Like y'all can't suddenly tell me y'all. Y'all believe that the games don't matter. So what was the what was Activision seventy billion dollars for? Why did y'all have so much faith just the other day, and and now all of a sudden y'all believe Phil with this? Come on, man, y'all got to stop this. Y'all not lining up. It's not matching up with what y'all saying. What the worst part about this is Phil Spencer has done irreparable damage to the gaming industry right now, because again, Nintendo is in their own lane. They're not being pressured. Sony's in their own lane. They're not being pressured. The Japanese are not being pressured at all in the console space. I mean, it's not a coincidence to me that Sony is being laissez-faire with showing announcements, announcing things. Like, they don't need to do anything. Microsoft... <laughs> we need that showcase this month, though. We need to stop yeah, playing. For, Microsoft is racing an Olympian in a wheelchair. But, like, it ain't even fair, dog. Like, it, it, it's over, man. Like, it's it's it's... It's over. Okay. If you have an Xbox, just take it to GameSpot. They'll give you $99. Suck it up. Get the $99. Yo. Buy it. Put it towards a Switch. Put it towards a PlayStation. Like, dog. Put it towards it's two Switches. Over. It's over. It's okay. done. A, the X- a worry, dog. The, the Xbox <laughs> brand is done. I mean, if you don't believe me that the Xbox brand is done, bro, Halo is done. It's not a coincidence that they lost their their franchise, their best franchise, and their mascot, and then their console faltered and pretty much died out shortly after. Hey, Smooth, you heard this bullshit this dude talking about, bro? Uh, Damn it! Nope. And, and, yeah, and he, uh, Phil, Sp- Phil Spencer's the most human we've seen him, and Smooth liked the interview. I don't get what's the and he, what and all this extra shit. And here's my final point to close it out, BG. I can pretty much say any Nintendo fan would say, "Man, I would love to have some of those Sony games on my console." Probably um, those Sony fans would say, man, I would love to have some of those Nintendo games on PlayStation. Do you really think that the Nintendo and Sony guys are like, damn, I wish I had Redfall on my PlayStation. <laughs> Ain't nobody want Xbox games. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just I, a couple, I, about six weeks ago, people were complaining that, oh, oh yeah. Can't sue, can't sue, uh, the PlayStation version yeah, of so, Yeah, so what? So they didn't have no control over, but they told them to stop making the PlayStation version. I, we That was a point of contention. What's going on with this move? God. That's probably they, the only thing they told them. Wanna, wanna, wanna that's the only thing they told them. <laughs> that's that's why it don't make sense. We had no input on Redfall at all. Don't make this shit on PlayStation. That's all they went there. They didn't <laughs> see that game running the niggas lying on the ground like they were Michael Jackson. They didn't see that when they went there and told them that. Come oh, on, man. God. Somebody lying, bro. Um. Okay. Uh. The other two things I wanted to mention, just uh, news. Uh. So, I think b- before, b- yeah, but right before this podcast, I think it was Jez Corden. Um, he said that he's heard, and other people have said this, that Sony has landed a deal with Konami for to get exclusive. It could be timed. I don't know. Um, get the exclusive Metal Gear game, Silent Hill, and potentially uh, Castlevania exclusivity. And it was one other game too. I can't remember. It, it was a it, it was a game. That I don't think I don't think it was for, from Konami, but there was another game that's rumored Sony has like exclusive rights to. Uh, but yeah, th- this seems. Can you I, listen this, to JS Cord now, bro? No, but he's not the only one, and he's not the only one who said this. This Metal Gear game, whether it's exclusive or not, it definitely exists, and and that's that's absolutely true at this point. That this Metal Gear remake is is absolutely real, uh, and rumored gonna show up at this whenever this PlayStation event is. And uh, um, Herman Holst talked about you know the PlayStation Live service games. He just wanted to make it clear earlier in the week. He said he wanted to make it clear. Not all of these, all of these games are not going to be the same genre. They're not going to be the same like s- scale and size. They're not going to be triple A. They're not all, even all of them going to be first party. So he wanted to make that clear that they're all going to be very diverse and going to be released at very different time periods. Is Jazz Gordon credible? No. Uh, he's, he's been right. He's been wrong. going to be better than PUBG. He's, what do you think he's going to be Xbox's PUBG? What? He said yeah. a lot of dumb ass shit, bro. Yeah, he so he has he definitely has connections, but he makes some like predictions. Well, he, especially well, the only reason he has connections because he worked for Windows Central, though. Yeah, exactly. He in the media, yeah. Yeah, he has he does have some connections. So, so he's got connections to Phil Spencer's balls. Oh god, yeah, pretty much <laughs> this this guy. Uh, okay, I think we can. Oh yeah, uh, Nintendo issued a DMCA takedown for Switch homebrew pro- homebrew project. I don't know. Yeah, much of... yes, Let's... sir. Let's get, go. get him up out of here. Hey, I ain't trying to wait. I ain't trying to take too much time on this. We are, we already late, but yeah, uh, I already... yeah um, I a hundred percent agree with Nintendo on this. I mean, so, look real, real real quick, just to explain it. So so according uh, according to GBAtemp.net, the tool that Nintendo has issued a DMCA takedown is for is for lockpick, which is a tool that allows users to dump unique keys uh, from their Nintendo Switch console, allowing them to use various hacking-related programs and emulators. So that's what it's for. Fully support Nintendo in preventing these e-terrorists, these digital colonizers. Stay on the Mayflower. Don't get off the boat. Y'all have to recognize and realize Nintendo is not an American company. They are Japanese. They do not want y'all American. They don't want y'all fuck niggas fucking with their shit. Leave them alone. There you go, Bless Red being a terrorist in the comment section. Had you mean shit? Well, you know what? I uh, actually sent uh, messages from our Discord to Nintendo's, uh, you know, their legal department, so they'll deal with Bless Red later. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, I, no, I got, I got something for his ass. Wow. That stick? Y'all snitching? Pauls. Y'all snitching? <laughs> I would do it for a Nintendo coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> for the low low, not much, huh? It doesn't take, doesn't take much. Take I like much. that. I like that. Give me a Metroid pin. He's out of here. I mean, what Nintendo really should do is have a uh, like a snitching program. Like, snitch two, get one free game. They'll clean mm. shit up. But, you know, I really need Nintendo to do this. I need Nintendo to like get good in online gaming so Nintendo can start suing cheaters. I want cheaters in online gaming. I want them to lose a quarter of their wages for life. I want them to serve jail time. I want them behind bars for a minimum of five to ten years. Like <laughs> I need some company to Fine. do it. And I think Nintendo is the only one with the legal clout that could say, 
Oh man, I, just, I really just wish it. Cause like I, I cannot stand fucking cheaters. I wish Nintendo would just like jail them all. All right, um, I'm Jesus. gonna read these super chats so we can get the hell out of here. I saw the Mario movie, fantastic film. Mm. So that date went through. Yeah, yeah your girl, yeah. your girl show up. Oh, yeah, let's it go. Was, it was good. It was good. Uh, I, I knew it. I, I, I knew you could depend on that one. Did you clap? Oh, Bro, what is wrong with this guy? Oh, he mean at the no, movie. No, at the no, movie. At the movie. Oh, was it good? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I no. Green. Blanche, you should have said I gave a standing ovation. That would have been fire. <laughs> you said that. I don't know what snacks she get at the movies. What, what snack does she eat, Blanche? That's how you know if she a keeper or not, bro. Oh, we didn't get snacks. We oh, both fuck ate. you. Yeah. Fuck uh, you. Y'all went, you y'all went to eat before? Out. You don't get a girl's snacks at the movie. You go to dinner afterwards. Well, you know me, you can't have a snack. Hold on, what are we doing here? No, because oh, yeah, then, yeah, when, yeah. then when you take them out to dinner, they get full. And I spent my money on tickets. I spent my money on candy. Now we go out to dinner, I'm full. Hey, if you can, if, hey, if you full before we hit that dollar menu, bitch, that's on you. <laughs> that dollar menu. Those movie theater hot dogs taste a little bit different, don't they, Jack? Yes, yeah, sir. You see y'all that, right? Mm. Y'all are sick, man. If you eat <laughs> hot dog movie theaters... <laughs> nigga, hot dogs at the movies is fuego. No. no. And them hot dogs, are di- they got a little different weight to them. Like, they are... Huh? That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm they're telling you. They're like quarter different. pound joints it's almost, right? Oh, they thick, huh? It's, it's, yeah. it's not even yeah. a hot dog at that point. It's a link. It's a sausage. You almost want to oh, smack it. your lips <laughs> with that motherfucker like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. How'd you yeah. also do that? Get out my, get out my hair, bro. Yeah. Get out your what? Y'all, yo, y'all. All right, man. Y'all different. Y'all acting different tonight. Can y'all, can y'all relax? BJ, we fat. know you be double stuffing them fucking hot dogs when you go to the movie. I don't even yeah, like but... hot dogs, bro. You, I don't. You never heard, heard me talk about. Hot, I don't even like hot dogs. Did, 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 look, I'm gonna explode BG right now. The only reason he don't like hot dogs, he tried oh to put them in the wrong end. You gotta eat those. Bro. Oh, hey, Jack, here you go. You gotta eat them, bro. Put them in your ass, nigga. I'm a hamburger type of guy. He glide on the hot dogs across the movie floor. He's still on incline around. Nigga, I hit him with the wrong end. Freak ass. <sighs> Your imagination is impressive, Jack. He put it in his back pocket. Said, another one, please. This is <laughs> freak ass, nigga. Nigga bent over at the counter and said, fill me up. You a freak ass, nigga, boy. God damn. Look at the stuff you're coming up with and calling me the freak. Bro, we, we talking on rumors that we hear, bro. That's what we Yeah, okay. About. Rumors. Anyway. Uh, let me let me do, do these uh, super chats. Um, try to find where I was at last. Okay, I, I uh, need my cut this week. I got y'all, boys, man. Oh, you appreciate okay. it. Uh, Hola Mocha seventeen, Jack. What you think of Red Red Fails first clips? I mean, we all said it sucked, right? Yeah, it looks horrible. <laughs> I mean, I don't, yeah, man. Okay, B- Big Alabasta said, "Stop all the profanity." We apologize. <laughs> Yes, sir. I, I don't. You, you know who needs to apologize? Fucking Phil Spencer. He did, Bon. He did. No, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. See, there's a there's been an apology. Oh, Sa- saying sorry is not apologizing. Apologizing is rectifying your actions. Change behavior. Exactly. Okay, John the Black. I love the sound of a triggered Xbox. Okay. P K Ziggy. Someone give you nope. a mic, bro, been yelling through a traffic cone for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yo, his oh, mic hell. was peaking because he was yelling so hard. Yeah. I got pussy bondage, you, you coon. Oh, God. TJ, man's getting exposed in real time and started screaming in the mic, spitting and shit. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely sucking that mic off. Wow. Yeah. T- Tarek Ahmed. Ken Pachi loaned uh, his mic to Uni. Yeah, don't 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 come in After Dark if y'all got bad mics. B- bad mics are banned in After Dark. Hey, what y'all what you niggas did last week's After Dark? You should be in jail. What happened? I wasn't there. Uh, blame Fang. That's all I know. Fang is our number one suspect. Yeah. Um. Okay. Odd Odd Vidya said to be to be frank. Arcane Austin also made Prey, which many people love. They not a bad studio. Okay, that is a point. The last hero. So if I buy Redfall, do I get a special discount on the adaptive controller? Hashtag slow child. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Good point. Richard, at this point, if you're an Xbox fan, you just have you just have Stockholm syndrome. Xbox has been a failure for over a decade. Just stop defending it. You look crazy. Jesus. All right. I think Prey is like a strangely overrated game. I did not like it. 
I think it's very overrated. I didn't like it either. Um, it OBJ's, was like a uh, bootleg Bioshock. OBJ Jr. You gave Redfall a chance, but for Spoken got a pass. Mm. Talk well, to him. Well, I, I technically, I, it's not like I bought Redfall either. I didn't buy Redfall. I played it, but I didn't. I didn't buy it. I got a code. For you it. subscribed to Game Pass? No, they sent me a code. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. Wow. Well, they was well, you know what, you know what they, I would do if there was. I I would have I would have filed a complaint. You would have sent me a code for that trash ass game. What was crazy is I actually have two codes. They, they I don't know, bro. I got one from that website everybody uses, and I got I just got a random email of like another offer for it. Oh, like Jesus Christ! They just giving this shit away. I mean, are yep. you gonna? Uh, anybody in Weaponware that wants it, we'll give it to you. Balls? Question mark. Okay. No, I mean, if you want Redfall, it's free. <laughs> I have tech, the map. Tech, tech Man 771 How could one spend billions of dollars for a company and not oversee what they do? If I bought Bethesda, I would make sure that investment is worthwhile. Xbox got no structure. Mm-hmm. Bro, if I, if I had spent that kind of money, I would be out there with a, with a whip and treating these motherfuckers like yeah. slaves with cotton fields. Huh? All right. I, I'm in for real. I'd be I'd be walking through the offices with a whip. Hmm. <laughs> you freak ass nigga, bro. <laughs> Banger. <laughs> what the fuck? I said good week. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. You, you, you ever see that RD, you ever see that RDC World video where they're like, oh, we're done, we're finally done the anime. I'm like, oh, good news, guys. We got like eight other animes. He's like, but I want to see my kids. He's like, what do you mean? Yeah, He's like, hold on. He's like, let me make a call. He's like, your kid, uh, I don't even know, like 84, 78, Stormtrooper. Drive. Like, wait, wait, what? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, hold on, I gotta make a call. Like, yeah. He's like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll work. Like, that's what I thought. Bro. Like, that's, that's how I would be with Xbox Studios. Imagine waking up every day just knowing Bob gonna spank you on your ass when you come to work. Like, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. That's wild. Uh, okay. That's, what? that's wild shit. <laughs> I, 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 I would have that office linebacker dude up in the office. Wow. E- E-Rock 97, shout out to Alex Kick Push. This nigga Lupe? That's a deep cut right there. Uh, Jason Quaid, praise Jigga. Uh-huh, yes sir. Dr- True Virgil, Xbox Uni talk too much. He sounds like a wet quiff. A wet queef. Oh, excuse me. That's... <laughs> Come on, man. I, I'd expect you to call that man a queef. Um, blessed 011, it's funny when Phil mentioned that no one owns multiple consoles in the interview. You can see a white Nintendo Switch in the background. Sure, Phil. I don't know if he said that exactly. That's not what he said, that nobody owns multiple consoles. I get what you're saying. He, act, he acted like that. He didn't say that outright. But yeah, he acted like people just don't buy multiple consoles with that, with that comment he made. Uh, Blackout Y2K. Appreciate y'all. Great show. I appreciate the donation. Um, Titan, Titan said, uh, what's the, what's the point in making the world's most powerful console and you don't expect to outperform PlayStation? Also, I hope the rumors of Metal Gear Solid 3 coming to PS5 only is true. Mad nostalgia. Okay. A remake? Yes, indeed, sir. Yeah, somebody shot Hmm. that cat up. Uh, Kingdom Hearts... Uh, King Kiso said Kingdom Hearts gameplay on screen, so I'm showing love from that alone. Fire. Yes. Uh, Marius Ovidu, Ovidu, yo, Starfield will be great. Will be a great game. Trust me on that. All right, brother, I trust you. Mental you illness. Said, only because you said it. Titan. For all those who got gifted subs, make sure y'all renew it before the 30 days is up. If you ain't broke, that is. Oh, man. He put you on the spot. Shitting on him. Yeah. Vaughn Red 1. Vaughn said this rant would be under 10 minutes, but he went over it just like a preacher. That's what they be doing. Oh, my God. Maxwell Quavito. Black Bond going crazy. Out here spitting facts, and he also said, "Why is Kid Smooth so quiet right now?" He was letting Bond cook. Yeah, it was this was his rant was uninterrupted, right? Yeah. Yep. Appreciate uh, that respect. To- and that to- you weren't trying to suck your mic off. Oh wow. 
Tony Esquire. What's good, WWP? Another great show this week. Yo, Kid Smooth, did you remember to include those lost bets to Black Bond in your tax write-offs? <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a good one. He also said, um, for everyone who was rooting for the micro Microsoft Activision deal, what's happening with the reputation of Bethesda Blizzard could have been Call of Duty. Mm. He said, I don't get it. He said, for everyone who was rooting for the Microsoft Activision deal, what's happening with the reputation of Bethesda Blizzard could oh, have been said, Call okay. of Duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was one of the main fears, huh? Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, I got him. I, I, I had a real quick question. Did anybody start Jedi Survivor? Or are we still waiting for patches? I'm waiting for patches still. Same. Yeah. All right. Almost uh, almost done with the Super Chats. This part was four hours, bro. I, I know. Uh, listen, man. Y- y'all got a big payday coming tomorrow. Yes, y'all, sir. Y- y'all don't go to sleep anyway. Tally up, um, tally, up, tally up that super chat account. Uh, Miles, shout out to shout out to the pirates. Been playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom since last week. Oh wow. lord, who said that? <laughs> Miles, <laughs> about to get oh, the Nintendo Ninjas on. Quick. Nah, nah, you good. Uh, OBJ Junior. He said, "Somebody will never see live numbers like this. 1.1k. I don't want to. I don't want to read what do you the person. What are you talking about? I, I'm not reading. I, I can't see who who he's talking about. I got cataracts. Oh. I got cataracts in 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 my eyes, and that prevent me from reading that certain name. I'm not. I'm not having y'all. I'm, y'all not gonna put me in a position to have somebody say he was talking about me. No, no, no. Like I said, who voices like, 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 like that? Um, it's nobody's voice. It's just a generic voice. <laughs> it's like you don't want no parts of them. It's just a generic <laughs> voice. Like I said, I do not talk about Georgia. Okay, okay. I drink, do not. I do not. I do not. I do not, I do not. I do not. I do not think about this person. I do not talk about this person you ever. Y'all, y- y'all bring y'all bring this person up in After Dark and in super chats, and I never talk hey, about yo, the person. You never mention them. BG, you no lie, BG, you ever uh, you ever fell out of a boat? Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because you know what you wouldn't hit, right? Oh, water. Oh, <laughs> you oh, so so stupid. You, <laughs> you, stupid. BG, you wouldn't even cut your own birthday cake, chump. When your birthday, see, this, BG. this is not me. This, I just want you to see. This is not me. I do not think about this person. I do not talk about this person. It's everybody else. I'm just here. Why do you cross your arms? Well, we, we, we didn't. We just ain't nobody named me. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, okay. Uh, hey nuts. man, listen, part 62 dropping tonight, BG on that fuck shit. Oh, I can't wait. Y'all, I can't t- wait. y'all tap in. Y'all type in. Yes, sir. I said, I when, I, when I catch you, I'm going to throw you off a tower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tip your hat. I'm going to leave your face mixed and matched. Hey, BG, I put that song on replay a couple times. <laughs> hey, man. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Nothing about nothing. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, keep thinking. About it. Uh, nothing about nothing. Nuts on chin, smooth and crap are too far gone. Soulmates forever. <laughs> Yo, y'all I don't understand crazy. it. Y'all are crazy to Discord. Uh, because crap gamer has uh, he he's been on a a, de- a defense tour for Xbox, like going super hard. And Tim Dog has kind of lost his mind. He's having like a midlife crisis or something. No, I, I, can, I do got something real quick. BG. Yeah. When have since you've been knowing Tim Dog? What may. I'm trying to figure out when has he ever shown that he was mentally stable to where you're so worried about him now. I, I've I've never seen it. Th- I've never seen it this time. No, because been insane, bro. No, because yeah, look, he's okay, not- he he's always argued with people, you know, on Twitter and done the whole console war thing. That's no problem. That's normal. You know, a whole bunch of people do that. But yesterday and the day before, bro, he was res- he was like responding and like ha- he he made like a hundred tweets in one hour. Every every hour he had like a hundred tweets. He responding to everybody that tweeted him. I've never seen him do that before. And he, and he did it for like forty eight hours straight. Look go go look at his timeline. Literally a <laughs> hundred tweets in one hour, just responding to anybody who said anything bad about Xbox. 
He's Does never really he's never been sane. I don't know why you're so surprised about this. Yeah, he hey, stalked smooth. people at Best Buy. Hey, Kid oh, Smooth, does the, does the brand uh, respect Tim Dog or no? Um, I know Tim Dog knows, like, he speaks to, like, some of the higher-ups, like, you know, on Xbox Live parties and stuff like that, and he always, oh, every time there's an E3, he hangs, uh, he, you know, yeah, yeah, he got, yeah, he got, there's some sort of cloud respect there. Tim, yeah, Tim's the man, man. Yeah, he's, he's one of those people, like, you know, if you ever get in a conversation with him, he's like, they're like, yeah. I played a few matches with Phil the other night. They 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 love to mention that. They love to mention that shit. Yeah, I saw Phil playing. They love mentioning it. Like, like oh, yeah, Phil was uh, on live. Yeah, like, man, y'all love saying that man was on live or he's playing some game and y'all played a match with him. Like, what does that do for y'all? The man not still not giving y'all no games. But anyway. On. Uh, on top of that, do they be getting, like, information? In a, a Discord with Phil? I'm like, nigga, what about games? That nigga will get roasted every day. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, come to home base. We're gonna get you right, bro. But yeah, now nah, he made he he was he was like literally spiraling um the, the, the last few days. I was genuinely genuinely concerned. It it just didn't look it was even out of character for him. I think he was going through a midlife crisis and somebody needed to needed to take his phone. But no, uh, I think so. Nah, he passed midlife crisis. I'm saying Tim Dog. He uh you talking about Tim yeah. Dog, right? Yeah. Now nah, I seen a nigga waistline, he passed midlife crisis, bro. Oh brother. All right, Jojo said. Ten years now. Yeah. Jojo said, slobbering and slurping on that glizzy. Okay. Yep. Tony Esquire, the teams behind the PC version of The Last of Us, Star Wars, Survivor, and Cyberpunk gave Redfall a ten out of ten. All right. Interesting. Yeah. I think. Let me let me refresh. I think that's uh, we got one more, and then we're free. Chris Toussaint. Tell Jack, I said, come eat this meat up. Fine. Uh, Red Pig, if you don't get your freaky ass to fuck up. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about that though? <clears throat> Are we doing an after dark tonight? I think we we deserve a night off after this. I, I feel Ooh. that way too. This this show was like very good yeah. and like yeah. and it's late. And long. It was hey, very long. We're gonna holler at y'all boys next week, man. Nah, you know, salute. you know, you know, you know how I know this podcast is like crazy. Bond said something like extremely gay earlier, and none of us said pause. We just like like let the shit fly now. <laughs> but a nigga was talking for thirty five minutes straight. I might have missed it. Uh, BG, you got forty eight <laughs> Patreon questions, and you want to respond to all forty eight of them when they DM you saying, "Where's my After Dark?" Hey man, we are gonna be back with After Dark. Right. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you think you think they gonna impress me? If we don't do it, because oh, okay. we, we just we just won't take questions next week and then answer. Y'all taking y'all taking next week off, ain't it? Hey, Alex, what the fuck are you doing, brother? What? <laughs> well, we might as well tell him. Oh, yes, here? um, next week is Mother's Day, so we oh. are we we are planning to uh, not not be here. What? Wait, Tears of the Kingdom come out this week, right? Yeah, Blaine, did you yes, see what they try to do here? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not on purpose. <laughs> really, 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 bro? No, look, look. Okay, look. <laughs> yeah, I can like they love their mamas. Now. No, real talk, real talk. I, I actually don't mind. I don't have anything they planned. I'm, I'm probably going to buy something for my mother. I can I can do the show, but it's really up to y'all. I, we've been working hard. I saw I've been going to visit my grandmother, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. She's yeah, still see, kicking, it, right? Oh, if any, yeah, if any of y'all go, yeah, going to bro. see y'all, you, you know. The women in y'all lives, I think we should take it off. But if y'all not doing nothing, it's up to y'all. You know, you was hassling yeah. them for five dollars on your stream. I thought you got out the paint by now. Hey man, listen, it'd be like that. But ne- but the week after is when we'll talk about Tears of the Kingdom. But you know, I don't want to disrespect Nintendo either by not having a a podcast when oh, they're yeah. dropping cool. their biggest oh, game of the year. You right, treating so us like we Xbox or something. BG Blandrew and uh, Jazzy can do a deep dive on Tears of the Kingdom and Bond. <laughs> Come on now. Blandra, is there still any way to get the collector's edition or no? For Zelda? Yep. Um, I'll keep a lookout for it, but no, not as far as I can see. I mean, I really don't want it, but if I can get it, but if if I can't get it by day one, then it's all good. Yeah. I'll post the link yeah. if it's available. BG, y'all have a podcast, and then uh, make me mod in the chat. That way I can just show up and support somehow. <sighs> we'll see. We Chat, listen, we've been consistent. This whole year, I don't think I don't remember last time we didn't take you know we took a pot off. Y'all gotta let us live, man. We've been more consistent than Xbox. Actually, you know what? Uh, BG might be right because uh, a certain someone in his community has a Nintendo podcast, don't you? 
Oh, and I did you a single episode. Do. You ain't did one in three do. months. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been yeah, waiting for one. It, it, it's Wait. coming up this week. It's coming out this week. It probably won't be edited. Like it'll just be a thumbnail with you know commentary in the background. I'm having issues with Sony Vegas right now, but it'll be up. And then for the next week, it's not set in stone, but I'm gonna try and have Lady Pelvic on for the Zelda discussion. Yes, so, sir. Should be really good. That's All a right. terrible name. So she's a good, good JRPG Nintendo yeah. Zelda channel. So, yeah, on so the, when we come back, what's that, the 24th? That'll be the episode we talk about Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so, yeah, it'll be you all just, good. just pick up the game and give it a try. I, I didn't, no, I didn't he ain't like, like it. I didn't like Breath just, of the Wild. Just try it. I didn't He's like not gonna like it. You came in the Breath of the Wild. Oh, you'll try Red Fall, but not Tears of the Hey, yo, what the fuck? Listen, yeah, you I see it, Jack. I don't like games that don't have. Listen, I, I hate the games that are like, yo, you're you're in this world. Here you go. What you what you what you tell me earlier, BG? Why don't you just give it a shot, man? I think no, you really enjoy it. I don't. I don't like. I, I don't like games that don't have structure, bro. Like, listen, I like games that like it's very clear. You know what I'm saying? Like they they kind of like Bre Breath of the Wild. They literally drop you in a cave. You walk out the cave, and it's just like, here, nigga, do stuff. Like I don't like that shit. It's not dreams, bro. It has a point. Hey, that yeah, it seems like he's saying that like Redfall has some type of secret shush. Yeah, didn't, uh, didn't Elden shush? Ring basically no. do that thing? Secret shush. Oh yeah, Elden Ring. Yeah, BG. El Elden Ring did do that, but the point of uh, point of Souls games is very clear. Fight the bosses. The point is, Zelda, ain't you supposed to be trying to say that, bitch? With a wooden sword. You got big mouth, Jack. That's the second time this podcast. With a I'm wooden sorry, sword bro. and a loincloth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fire. Yeah. I bet you if it had a Sony logo, you would like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. But if it was a lesbian white woman, he would have bought it. I'm about to say, it. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I like it, man. I feel like that's a... Not my... Oh, man. The third time, let me fuck my father. What, what, what is Link's um, pronouns? He's a he, him. That's okay. Cap. He doesn't have any. He's from Japan. Mm. Link, like, you got a pussy, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That's One day they gonna do a reveal where Link is a girl. He gonna take that little cap off and it's gonna mm. be... Yeah. What a vagina on his head? I can the see hell? the play. I can see the play. <laughs> you say he gonna take yo, his hat yo, off. Like, BG, what is that gonna the... prove? BG, what you want, bro? Because you, you said Link is gonna take his hat off, and it's like I'm like, what is <laughs> taking his hat off gonna prove? <laughs> have a horse on top of his head. That's yeah, that's head. what I'm like, huh? <laughs> he, he starts in <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild off without a hat on. That's gonna give me a, give a whole new meaning to giving head. I tell you that much. Yeah, oh, wow. he comes out of like a hundred year coma. Right. In the podcast, man. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, we will catch y'all on the twenty fourth, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, much. We're not. We're not doing after dark, are we? No. I'm about to go lay down, cuz yeah. we can't hit the gym. Work off yeah. this. Uh... Oh wait. Wait, the twenty fourth is on a Wednesday. It is. So what am I talking about? When's when's yeah, the twenty first? Right. Can't wait to take off. Twenty first. Yeah, my bad. Twenty first. Yeah um after dark go. people sorry but we we went y'all y'all have to be understanding that we got to take this you know it's damn near 10 o'clock and y'all we gave y'all a fire podcast hella long and yeah y'all gotta understand please understand we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna answer some questions uh 21st yeah. man yeah please understand y'all niggas about to have a 80 questions by the next episode that's fine no, we cut we cut we cut it off we cut it off we're gonna answer them for oh, okay yeah please understand Shoot. uh we we have learned and we will do better moving forward. Had to use that Phil Spencer and that Iwata. Oh, Shit. fuck Phil Spencer. <laughs> Damn. All right. Um, let's do you these outro. He was vulnerable. Not many men can do that. The, the, bar, the bar is really in hell. Like, oh, he was he was candid and he was uh, he was open. He shouldn't have said like 50 percent of the shit he said. He should not have said that shit. If we being real. That did, but just because you being honest. And humility. Being honest is, is not always a good thing. Not when you're an executive. Being I'm gonna be real. As an executive, people be mad because executives be lying. I can understand why these niggas be lying. Bro. Like it, sometimes you gotta lie. Clearly, sometimes you, that, you gotta Jack? lie. So the next time, Jim Ryan, you know, you know what to do. Amen. Oh, oh, man. Brother. I appreciate Listen, the lie. I would, I would rather Jim Ryan lie to me than come out and say the shit Phil Spencer did. Nigga, nigga, keep lying to me. What, the, what is you talking about? I want that beady eyed motherfucker to tell the truth. Uh, I love yeah. him for it. All right, or Jack, outro. Uh, get awake. Uh, get out. There you go. Banger. Um, shout out to Uni. Smooth.
man good episode um unfortunately you know i really couldn't uh fight too much of a good fight it's been a rough week uh but like a rough three weeks for xbox it, it's been a rough yeah it's been a rough minute you know but uh <laughs> we'll uh you know we'll be back i'm i'm still confident in some things but well Hall, what are you confident in I'm good. The Xbox showcase. Let him know. Smooth. Oh, yeah. Blanche, let him talk. Blanche, let him talk. What are you confident in? Um, I, I'm confident that this was the the last straw, and and Phil Spencer's about ready to shut some of y'all up. Man, you know, he he seemed angry. Oh, 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 how's he gonna do that? Releasing some games. Oh, what showing games? us. Yeah. You said how, that doesn't change what, anything. But go ahead. What games and how? It, many? It's not gonna. I'm not gonna say they're gonna start out selling PlayStation and stuff like that. But you know what I mean. They're just gonna, you know, release some games. You know how many games they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna end of the year with. I'm gonna say they're gonna end the year with uh, three first party bangers. <laughs> three. Uh, three. I, I, I will, said three first party bangers. I, I will. I will take that bet. He made him bet out of a conversation. <laughs> He's three, not betting. Three, three first party bangers. I will take that. All right, for the rest of the year, yeah, three first. You know party that could be like just some small indie game. No, no, I'm saying three first party bangers. Okay. Like, oh, like I mean, I'm not talking uh, about no 2D bullshit. No, I'm saying like some uh, three first party bangers. Hold up, define bangers. You got to define what bangers. Yeah. Right. Bangers meaning like all right, eighty five and higher. BG, check That's what I was thinking. All right, yeah, yeah, 80, 80, 85 and higher. The oh next three, my god, the, Xbox next three first party releases. They will all be this year. For, uh, they're gonna be bangers. Oh, you, think, uh, you think they're gonna come out with three games in the next seven months, bro? Yeah, and, I mean, and they haven't been coming out with okay. Well, first, first, mean, party. They they first party, they, they think they uh, Nintendo uh, or something. I mean, he's got a point though, because I mean, we already they, they have forts already. That's gonna be one Starfield. That's going to be two. So they really gonna have to release one more. Smooth, are you a glutton for punishment? <laughs> Masochist, <laughs> not. <laughs> Something's got to end at some point. No, what? What type of logic is that? <laughs> yeah, your, no, your bank balance, my man. Smooth is <laughs> no, no. Smooth is right on this bet. They really only have to release one game because Starfield and Forza are already coming. This nigga, this nigga, Smooth is at the slot machines talking about nigga. I can't lose forever. Like, oh, you could. <laughs> now, if it, now, if you were to say three unannounced games so far, then yeah, he'd be wrong. Okay. Um, Alex. This is uh Phil Spencer's Newgrounds account. I uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Should be a movie guys pod next. I think we're moving to the weekends. You know, scheduling change and people got jobs and shit. So be on the lookout for that. All right, Blandrew. Good episode, everybody. I didn't get a chance to watch everything. I'm gonna go, you know, watch it when I hit the gym after this podcast. Um. I own Nintendo coming out later this week, probably on Thursday on when I get my day off. And Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I should have a video talking about our first week impressions, hopefully with Lady Pelvic coming out next week. So subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout. It's going to be fun time. Fire. Okay. Um, Jazzy? Yeah, good week and pretty much... Our uh, Xbox focus episode today, but that's fine. We'll get back up Tears of the Kingdom and hopefully get as much time as Xbox did today. Oh, God. I can predict that that will not happen. Only one <laughs> yeah, person on the podcast would have probably played the game. You want to take Absolutely. that bet, that's Bob? No, Blandrew and uh, Jazz. You, yeah, you know what's crazy? You, if, it, if, you take, if you take Redfall's Metacritic review score, right? And you flip it upside down, it's probably going to have the same score as Tears of the Kingdom. Well, they flipped upside Where's down. Where's it at right now? In 96. Ooh. Or 95. Yeah, I just, or I, I don't it's at a 59. 95. So, I don't oh, see it getting anything lower than 95. I think it's going to be higher than that. Really? Oh, yeah, the way these dudes are. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, most, of the the most of, most of yes, the industry sir. is pedophiles anyway, right? Isn't that right? Uh... Really hey, I dare, you, I dare you to tweet that out. I dare you to tweet out what you just said. You ain't going to do it. <laughs> you got you to say, say Zelda going to get over 95 because most of the industry pedal. I dare you to tweet that <laughs> out. No, 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 Smooth, don't, don't say nothing. Smooth, no, 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 tweet, no, that no. tweet that out. You tweet that out. Don't you dare. Tweet that out, bro. Just come up uh, from a guy playing Paw Patrol talking, you know. All right, um, Bond. Yeah. Oh, I'm just tired, guys. I, I got yeah. nothing left. Phil Spencer's a cocksucker. Get him the fuck up out of here. <laughs>
but All he's right. a vulnerable one. All but right. also my favorite type. Hey yo. No, my in the podcast, man. All right, man. Uh, everybody did the outro, right? Yep. All right, we see out. you in two weeks. Yep, see you in two weeks. Uh, y'all stay safe. Don't get shot. Um, Make sure you go to GameStop and trade in your fucking Xbox. Yeah. Or, or go on Twitter like me and get 600 for it. There you go. Hey, home awesome. base, I'm coming, baby. Pause. Yeah. Right. We out. Yeah. Appreciate Peace. the viewers. Thousand plus. Everybody came to see the Bond rant. <laughs> them Bond rants doing numbers. 10,000 on my channel. Go check them out. Mm. Hey, Jack. What's good, brother? I missed you, man. Miss you too, man. I appreciate it. I missed your podcast too, Blandrew. Oh, wait. It never came came out. Oh, yeah. Bond Bond don't. Yeah, Yeah, he did a couple episodes already, Bond. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying he never did. He hadn't made one in a while. This week, Thursday. It's coming. Oh, yeah. About to hit about that band of origins? Yes, sir. All right. You see how, how gleeful we are to talk about Game Smooth? I hope you get there one day, brother. <laughs> what are you talking about? I talk about games a lot. <laughs> yeah. Not happily. About it. Not in a happy way. I be, I be, I be talking games. I be, I be playing games. Sound like you been hit with a Great Depression or something, man. Uh, nah, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just here, like, you know, listen to everybody. I mean, next week should be interesting, right? You know, you know Zelda, I, I'm just curious to see what makes, you know, Tears of the Kingdom so great. You know, just to give you guys a warning, I mean, you ain't, you won't be hearing me talking shit about it. You know what I mean? That won't be that. I'm, I'm, but I am curious to see what makes this game a teardrop. We're going to have these grown ass men crying and shit. Uh, and like fucking uh, 22 frames per second. And fucking, <laughs> are, they, are they talking in this game? They, they talk, were talking it, in Breath of the Wild. Were they? Yeah. Oh, every yeah, they character? Were. Yes. Well, Except the, the, the story yeah. ones were. Okay, great, great. So I right, so this one's going to be a tearjerker. Absolutely. I mean, it probably won't make you cry as much as Xbox games. It's going to be all type yeah, of jerkers. Yeah. Paul, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be... the podcast going? Maybe. Oh. It's going to be all great. Right, great game. Right. Game of the year. Right, yeah. You want to do After Dark so bad, nigga. Go to sleep. No, I don't, nigga. I got a, I got a wife to get to. Come on. What are you talking about? Tick yeah, said it's here. a cop out and uh, that you hate, that you tripping. Tick said, what's a cop out? Never mind in the podcast. I'm about to go watch some uh, mm-hmm. WWE Network, you know, the honky tonk, man. Well, people under 5'7 shouldn't have opinions in public society, but. Hey, hey, easy. Put a name on that. You five six. Oh, you five six. Yeah, oh, yeah you same, sound about line, five Jesse. four though. I ain't gonna lie. You I sound short as hell. BG and the podcast. Wait, right. smooth. How tall are you? Uh, I'm taller than him. Don't I sound taller than that? I mean, I, like, no, I but how tall are you? Uh, I'm, a, I'm about like five ten, maybe. Yeah. Oh, nice. With the forehead. <laughs> With the forehead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice, Jack. Nice, Jack. Okay. No, 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 smooth shirts do sound like you got the pad in the shoulders, but Jazzy, we're the same height. We should get a, We should hug next time I see you. Hey, man, short kings stay winning, man. It is. You, you, you ever figure out your height, Jack? Oh, I'm, I'm a five eleven, sir. Five eleven. Oh, nice. nah, nah. Jack no, is like no, damn near Jack, six feet. Feet. <laughs> He's like he's like bro, six something. Like a Jack, Jack is six five. I met that nigga in person. Come on, bro. When's the uh? Fuck. What's I about to say? Zelda Tears of the Kingdom this Friday exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. When they got Treehouse on the day before my birthday too. Happy birthday, Jazzy! My Yuzu. Our Yuzu can't even run at sixty frames. Oh God! All right, everybody have a have a have a good one. Uh, Get the fuck up out of here! All right, we're at lick my nuts. Why well, Tarako only one in the after dark? Right. <laughs> Who gonna tell him? To talk to himself. Let me go try it in plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it. I'm beating them still. Bye. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon, a scoping. All black panel. You can never try playing us token. Nope. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at For all. Real. 
Oh wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies, Damn. got in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? How? So Kiss moved to body, you went Halo, then sing your family an angel emoji. Should've known, dog. You ain't got enough series Best X's. Blind got all the answers. No, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions. All the latest gaming news gotta be here to check it. Yeah. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. Woo. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. Woo. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. Nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, I'm here to correct plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Kid Smooth. We got Jack Move. We got Black Bond. I mean, Blandrew. I mean, what you. You can't off strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.